Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everyone this morning? We had a few issues then. We suddenly froze all of here. Is everybody working? Everybody all right? Good, 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 good. Got a fantastic day today. Oh, Hannah's not. What's the matter, Hannah? She's very tired because it's Christmas. You lost an hour of sleep, didn't we, last night? I know. Now, I wonder how many people, I was just saying, I wonder how many people didn't put their clocks forward. Anyway, right, before I do the early bird, I've got to tell you something. Have you got the slide there, Paul? Yep, here we go. Look, right? I'm telling you this now because for today, Sunday the 28th of March, you can save £5 when you spend £50. What you need to do is when you check out, oh, excuse me, just write the word spring with the number five after it. Spring five is to celebrate the clock's going forward, right? So now I need to explain to you, right? Don't buy something, check out, buy something, check out, buy something, check out. Wait till you've got £50 worth in your basket then check out. But, 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 I know I'm always saying, oh, be, please be careful, it might sell out, please be careful. I'll tell you, I, I, I've got a little trick in a minute. But anyway, let's do this first. This is the early bird. I'll tell you more about that. Just keep that in your mind, in the back of your mind at the moment. Here we go. Uh, we have got, and what Hannah's saying is because of that, we've got loads and loads and loads of the early birds, so don't feel you have to check out. Right, 7 99 it should be 9 99 this booklet. £9.99, our price £7.99, 20 quick and easy projects, we can take, now whenever we do Annie's books, like Annie's quilting, Annie's sewing, they always fly out, this is £2 off, right, for the early bird today, £2 off, I'm moving the cost, I'm going to go open the book now, say that again, Oh, already, we've got a review from Barbara who's bought this book on my bottom, so I've got to look over this way. Uh, great book, full of lots of fun things to make from Barbara in Lancashire. There you go. Thank you, Barbara. She's not listening now because that's the review. And what time was that? What time was that review? Seventh of July last year? Have we had it? Oh, I was, we weren't open. Oh, sure we were. Yes, we were. Yeah, we were. I wasn't here. I wasn't here. Uh, Sharon says good morning, Glennie says good morning, Anne says good morning, what time do you have to get today? Same time as usual, but it was just an hour earlier, wasn't it? Good morning, lovely John and team, says Marcia, Karen says good morning, Kate says good morning. Right, let's look at the book. It's the early bird, £2 off, it's £7.99. pence. Pop it in your basket, ready to, pop, you know, to put lots of things in your basket. I don't know, what, I don't know where that was going. Uh, Bob isn't in the basket. Right, flower, pocket cushion. Am I reading these right? Yes. So cosies. There's the pictures for those. Oh, hang on. Canning jars are great for storing small sewing supplies and these cute cosies are the perfect way to decorate them. I call that a jam jar but they're special jars aren't they? Anyway you can buy them. You can buy this. Sewing machine cover. Uh, sewing machine organizer pad. Oh, say, look. There we go. Ironing board caddy. Now, oh, yes, it goes over the other side. I was going to say, when you pick your iron up, doesn't it fall off? But look, it goes down the other side as well. All of these projects for $7.99. Thread spool pin cushion. That's nice, isn't it? That's so cute. I wonder how big it is. It looks big, doesn't it? <laughs> well, no. <coughs> compared to the spool, are they little spools of thread or are they a big pig cushion? Oh, we will because I'm going to say six by seven inches. Oh, where's my plumbing? Oh, got message. Is it a complaint? Message me a new customer. Where is it? There is, where is it? Oh, read it out then. Oh, it says, good morning, everyone. Who's it from? No name, no name. Right, so six by seven inches, right? So it's, so it's that big. Oh, it is quite big for a pin cushion, look. Is that about that big? You do need, you've got lots of pins. Oh, I've got a surprise coming up at the end of this first hour for you. Right, okay, let's carry on. Uh, Tricolour or tricolour table topper, daisy field table set, summer fun mug rugs. 
Do you want me to make that for you, Hannah? 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 I could make it in an afternoon, it says. Confident beginner. Oh, no, I can't do it this afternoon because I've got a Facebook Live this afternoon. Then I've got a delivery of a birthday cake and then I'm going for a walk. Right, block pot holders. I could do it tomorrow. I've, I, all I've got tomorrow is I've got, um, I can't remember his name now. The car wash man coming round. No, he's not called Bob. Pete, Pete, Peter. Oh, wasn't it Peter yesterday? Fresh bread bag. Uh, it was Pete, Pete the Polish man. Floral fabric baskets. That's because you've had a night's sleep and a walk with Reggie since, you see. Reggie's a dog by the way. So Tony gets a dog, so he goes out walking more and um, for his health, and then all that happens is all the neighbours take the dog for and he stays at home. That's a gorgeous book, isn't it? Seven pounds and 99 pence. Oh, hang on, there's loads of people with messages now. Uh, Kate says, good morning. Liz and Ian says, morning, John. Love the dress behind you. Is it on the show today? Yes, it is. Yes, it is indeed. <clears throat> morning, John and team from a windy South Devon. I tell you what, it was windy driving in this morning. My car was being, I wasn't cold where I was. It was just very, very windy. Uh, apparently, uh, tomorrow where I live and Tuesday, uh, hang on, yeah, Monday and Tuesday, it's going to be 20 degrees where I live. Oh, Tuesday, I mean here, I know, Tuesday. Uh, morning, John and team says Donna. Glenny says, uh, lovely book, I've got it already. Sheena says, morning, dear John and team. I moved the clocks before I went to bed and I've been awake since 3.30 anyway. I could have done your shift for you. You could have done, Gina. You could have done. Hannah says, could you please get here now and do hers for her? Uh, 7 99 for your early bird today. I felt like a market trader then. 7 99 ladies. Right, no, no, I'm not telling you not necessarily to check out because look, we've got this special spend and save just for today, Sunday the 28th of March. You save five pounds when you say spend 50 pounds, right? Spring five is the code you have to put in when you, uh, when you leave, when you check out. Goodbye, spring five, goodbye, goodbye, spring five. Um, but, 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 what I'm saying is you can't, Put this in, check out, put something else in, check out, and go, oh, I've got over 50 pounds in there now. It needs to be one transaction. So let me do this now. If you've got this in your basket, what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something I wouldn't normally do now. I'm gonna go straight to the website, straight to the website, right? And I'll show you, right? So if you go to the website, www.sangstreet.com, click on watch the live show, okay? And then, uh, apart from, you can send me a message to the right-hand side there, but we won't do that now. Scroll down the page. Now, in pre-order, all the, everything we've got from today's show is in pre-order already. So there's all the stuff from my 8 o'clock show. Okay, everything we've got, that's still all 8 o'clock. That's still all 8 o'clock. Then, then we go to leather work at 9 o'clock. I'll do the menu in a second, but this is, so what I'm saying is, why don't you have a scan through there, get yourself 50 pounds worth, put it in your basket, check out, and you'll save you five pounds when you put the code in. But look, we're still, we're still, we're still on nine o'clock. Right, now we're on 10 o'clock. No, no, hang on, they've jumped out of order. Yeah, that's 11 o'clock there. What's 10 o'clock? Oh yeah, 10 o'clock's my um, literary, uh, and there's, there, now there's 12 o'clock. Anyway, anyway, it doesn't matter what order it is. It doesn't matter what order it is. It's all there for you to go and have a look at. <clears throat> I know, I've got everything pulled. It's brilliant. So much stuff. And also, in the leather hour, if, you, if you're thinking, oh, I don't like leather, I've got faux leather as well. Really, really lovely faux leather bundle in there. But got, um, so all you need to do is, when you check out, I'll just show you again, write the word spring five, spend 50 pounds or over. Now, it doesn't include your P&P. So that 50 pounds can't include your P&P. Right, and if you if you're confused, just ring the call centre. They'll help you. They're, it's just around the corner. They're there waiting for your calls. Oh, oh yeah. Also, 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 what Hannah's saying is, if it doesn't have to be something that we've got on the show today, if you want a cutting board or a pair of scissors, something like that, what are you looking up? Fiskers, right? This is Hannah because this is what she wants. Oh yes, you could buy the rotary cutter ruler. I love. Are they in stock? I think there's only two left though, so if you want that, you have to be quick, quick, right? But you get five pounds off it, so it'd be 59.99 today. I know, you could get your five pounds off. You don't, it doesn't have to be something I've got on the telly, I know. 
Right, Hannah's now going through everything she wants that's over £50. Right, should we have a look at today's menu? Here's today's menu. Uh, books, well, uh, again, uh, that's a bit of a, it's called Books and Tools. I have no books whatsoever. I've got fleecy, I've got fabric, I've got, oh no, I've got three, I've got a couple of books, I've got to tell a lie. I've got, I've got to surprise, I've got not loads of books. Who said that? I've got three books. I've got patterns, I've got quilts, I've got Beth Studley's. I've got all sorts of stuff coming up in that hour. That's eight o'clock. Then at nine o'clock, leather work with Julie Kelly. Now you might have met Julie before. She's one of our great British Sew Off winners. Um, have a look at some of the things she's making. There's that. Cute, isn't it? Pencil case or a glasses case. Hannah's glasses. Oh, there's a little, and there's a little purse. We got, we've got kits for all of these. And there's a little purse. Who's that in there? Is that your library ticket? Oh, that's, you haven't got a driving licence. You haven't passed. Yeah, provisional driving licence. Uh, then back to the menu. We've got literary collection fabrics at... Oh, is this a different one that I had yesterday? Oh, there's something going on. No, 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 it's not different. It's a different noise. It's a sashing noise today. Literary collection fabric at 8 o'clock. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got the Esme tunic from that gorgeous book. Now, last time we had the book in stock, it sold out. So that, now that's another one. That, that's another one from the book. We're not demonstrating that one. We're just doing the Esme tunic, right? Then uh, at 12 o'clock, I've got a sewing machine. No overlockers. But I have got um, um, adjuster forms on split pay. And I've got a lovely little machine, the L320. And I've got, I've got some sewing room fabric. And I've got um, a tailor's all. No, that's not in that hour. No, not a tailor's all, a, a bodkin. That's in that hour, isn't it? A brand new bodkin. Right, so uh, there are three ways you can get in touch. The one way is by sending us an email. Studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. You can uh, send me a message on Facebook Live, which is the one I'm reading out here. Uh, good morning, I've done that one. Uh, morning, John from Laurie, dull day in Suffolk, so you can cheer us all up. Angie says, morning, John, so refreshing to watch your show. Oh, Angie, thank you so much. And then Anne says, morning, John, from a very windy Lincoln. I mean, windy outside. <laughs> That's a bit cheeky, Anne, for a Sunday morning. Margaret's messaged it. Not messaging. Margaret's watching as well. Uh, well, I'm glad to know you've all put your clocks forward. It's a bit of a shock. It could be the tonight when it's a shock to the system, won't it? Right. Okay. Let's go. Right. I'm going to start this show. Oh, okay. I'm going to start. Okay. So I'm going to start with. I've got these. The. Uh, in a minute. Right. I've got two Le Pink Fat Quarter bundles. Right. There are only two of each one left in stock, and because oh now. Right, okay, let's, let's just put, which one are we doing first? Peacock first, right? Right, have a look. Graphics coming in. 69.99 for a whole tulip pink uh, fat quarter bundle, right? But if you use the code, you'll get that for 64.99, won't you? All you need to do is check out on that straight away and you'll get your five pounds off. Spring five is what you have to do. It's to celebrate, it's to celebrate the clocks going forward. As if that's anything to celebrate, but there you go. Now, we will get more Tula. Obviously, we'll get more Tula. But at the moment, the, uh, what are you saying? These are the only Tulas we've got in stock. <coughs> no, no, we've got some line work somewhere, haven't we? They're only fat, they're only fat quarters we've got in stock. Hannah, are you miles away from your microphone? I, I'm, I'm, no, no, I'll, I'll turn you up. I'll turn you up. I'll turn you up. It's just I, I could only hear a mumble in the background. That's right. So, I'm not going to open it because there's only two left. Oh, there's only one left now. One left, that's Peacock. There's one left. Can I, have you got a picture of them open? Because I can't open this one, obviously. Here you go. So have a look. So you've got your uh, marquee, your tent stripes there. You've got your polka dots. You've got your flowers. Oh, I love that one with the swallows and the stars on and everything. Yeah, the pom-poms and the stripes. Oh, actually, she's put a Facebook, she's put a Facebook thing out about, she's just done a new collection of like, planes and pom-poms and stripes and everything yeah but because they all go together they all go together what was the message you said one left there's one left one left oh a review it's not a message love to the pink fabric it's fabulous from heather in shropshire now that one hasn't got a date on it 
Yes, oh no, they sometimes, because they did yesterday, didn't they? Because Paul, yeah, because Paul read it out and said, look, this was in January this year, January this year. Oh, we'll see, it's when, if it's in the last week, it'll come. We'll, we'll check during the day. We'll see what different ones, because Hannah loves her FIFO um, comments. I got, I ordered some flowers recently, and I got a FIFO um, a thing. Right, is this FIFO as well then? Oh, okay. Morning, John. Oh, no, obviously. Just ordered the early bird. Uh, clocks changing is not good. Oh. Jane from Castleford. Yeah, so if it's got the little bubble on, it's an immediate. And if it's got the FIFO sign, it's a, a, a thing that comes up, pops up. Just one left right now. If you don't want the peacock, how about goldfish? Yeah, Hannah and I were doing the checking out. You know, I have to put everything away. We were both using matching orange pen just today. We're so similar. Then I lost my night to move on to green. And Hannah took hers home with that. Now, have a look at this one. Now, there's only two of these as well. Okay, so she took the pen to have a shower with her for some reason. 69.99. Remember, if you use the code, spring five, you'll get five. You can only use it once, obviously, the code. You can only use it once. They're beautiful, aren't they? There, there it is. Just put spring five in when you check out and you'll get five pounds off. Any issues, give the call centre a ring. They're, they're waiting, they're here around the corner for me, waiting for your call. Good morning, John. Going to have a chilled day watching Sewing Street. Hope you didn't have any chocolate last night. No, I didn't, but I'm a bit, uh, it's not as bad this morning. But it's no fun getting old, is it? Oof, I am. Uh, well, I'm older than you two. Um, if you added you two, to, oh no. Oh yeah, hang on. If you added you two together, so you're, oh no, only, no. Oh, almost. Six to nine, nine, sorry. Six to nine, ninety nine, beautiful, 100% cotton, fat quarters. These are the only two pink fat quarters we've got. We've only got one of the peacock left and two of the uh, goldfish. No, I didn't, Paul. I didn't have a, I didn't have a, a breakdown at 30, 35. 35 was when I had a bit of a meltdown. Yeah. I was... F yeah. Oh, yeah, then you realise how happy you are, so you're fine after that. But when I was 35, it was suddenly like, oh, I'm old. And then I have to say, from 37 onwards, I've had such a lovely life. Yeah, 6 99 I wonder if it's the connection of my... Hang on a minute. It's a brand new connector, though. No, you see, it's not doing it now. I just keep getting sashing down, you know, like a taxi taxi company. Anyway. Anyway, at uh, 69 use your code, get £5 off. Only two of those. Yeah. Two of those. Right, OK, moving on. I'll keep you updated as the show goes on and what's gone and what's not gone. Scrap Crazy Ruler. Six inch Scrap Crazy Ruler. Okay, so this is the ruler. I've got certain little uh, mag uh, book of zines that go with it in a second. But this is 19 99 That seems very um, affordable for a creative grid. Doing so much with it because, um, look, Brilliant for st uh, stash busting. Now, normally when we do Scrap Crazy, Hannah's got lots of pictures to show. Oh, okay, she hasn't done the picture today because we've got the books. Oh, there you go. Actually, can we show that picture? There you get you. So you get your four pieces, but then look, it's the triangle divides into two, so it's actually five pieces. Mix and match all your different colours. It's just come back into stock. And also, but if you've got the Scrap Crazy 8-inch, it's a different formation, isn't it? So you, if you're thinking, oh, I've already got Scrap Crazy. If you've got the Scrap Crazy 8, it's different. They're more columns, aren't they, the Scrap Crazy 8? It's more. This is the only one that works with the books I'm about to show you. Okay, I've got Scrap Crazy 6-inch by Karen Montgomery. Includes seven projects from the Scrap Crazy 6-inch template sets from Creative Grid. So it's, it's been printed to go with 
This, right, obviously this was 1999. The rule, oh, there you go, the ruler's in the box on the side there. Right, let's have a look at what's in this book then. <gasps> Hang on, you can do that from Scrap Crazy. You can do that from Scrap Crazy. Are you sure? Right, let's have a look then. This is the only ruler that works for this book, so it's no point buying this book if you haven't got the ruler. Look. Hang on then, so what was the first one I did? Oh, there you go, semi-formal, that's that one. Then we've got Just Daffy, Drops of Jelly, Sawmill. Yeah, you, what you could do is you could photocopy that off, colour it in, if you wanted to, if you just use, oh, wow. What's that one then? Yeah. I don't know what that was. Sawmill, that one's called. Now, hang on. Hang on, though. That's not that, is it? Oh, sorry. That's drops of jelly. Sorry, drops of jelly. That's what's confused me. Then they started writing sawmill, which, yes, exactly. Then all things being equal, which they never are, are they? Look. So that's all things being equal. Then now, which one's Milky Way? Let's have a look at Milky Way. That must be Milky Way because it's the stars, isn't it? Then you've got Big Sky. Wasn't there a group called Big Fun? Oh, there was, wasn't there? Yeah, you're, you're too young to remember. Yeah, they, were, uh, they weren't quite as popular as... The, I have to say Big Fun weren't quite as popular as the Beatles, Paul. Big Sky. That one's called Big Sky. Oh, there we go. Oh, so here's all the different ones, right? So, so there's Big Sky... There's things, all things being equal. There's um, sawmill in a quilt and sawmill in a table runner. Milky Way, drop of jelly, Milky Way runner. That's your classic there. Your classic's crazy. And then that's your just daffy. So they give you colourful ideas, but then good that this is in black and white because then you can just, as Hannah was saying, just colour it in to suit your colourway. Shout, so hang on, that's 14 99 seven projects. That's what, just over two pounds a project. That's good, isn't it? Get the ruler, get the ruler, because you can only use those with the ruler, remember, with the template set. Then I've got this one, Crazy For More, again by Karen Montgomery. You need the ruler, you do need the scrap crazy ruler. We'll just double check, but it is the six. Oh, there, yeah, it is, look, there it is, there it is, it is this one, it is this one, look. Oh, well done, Paul. Right, add them up. So this was how much? Fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, I was talking about the. I was talking about, yeah, okay. So the last book was four. Oh, hang on. So one, two, three, three, seven. How much did it come to if you buy all three, Hannah? Nineteen ninety nine. So that's twenty plus seventeen is thirty seven. How much was the first book? Thirty seven, forty seven. Yeah. If you bought all three, that takes you to £50. So you get your £5 off. £51.97 it comes to. So if you bought all three, you get your... Well done, Paul. You get Well done for spotting that. If you buy all three, right, you get your £5 off. You've got to put the code in there. You've got to put the code in. Let's look at this book, though. Before you buy it, let's look at this book. I love that one there. Right, hang on. Look, hang on. Let me look. Yeah, look. So... Beach Balls, Spring Garden, United We Stand, and, oh, I love that one. Modern Argyle. No, I, that's my favourite, but then I love the Modern Argyle. Let's have a look at the back page now, because the other ones are on there. I Spy a Match. There's a thing about Ladybirds going on at the moment, isn't there? Fun Runner. No, no, we had Ladybird Buttons. <coughs> we saw a Ladybird Table Run, um, t Mug Rug. Not in real life, I don't mean in life. Uh, boo, Peppermint Twist, Lanterns, wow, uh, that's brilliant, isn't it? This one's sixteen ninety nine for some reason. It's just a more, I reckon this because it's a more modern book, this one. Is that the rain? Oh, <laughs> sounds like it's raining. Peppermint Twist, Fun Runner. There's the Beach Balls one. Oh, so you cut those and then chop them off. That's clever. I hadn't even thought about that. Oh, and also they've made them not central. 
Yeah. What sweets, Paul? Oh, look, there's even, oh, this one's got finishing, binding instructions as well in this one. Oh, look, that's gorgeous. That's the modern Argyle. Modern Argyle. And there's the Beach Balls one. Now, remember, if you buy all three, it comes to 51.90 something. You'll get, put the code in, put the code in, and you'll get five pounds off. Just because the clocks have gone forward. Spring five is the code. She's laying the ballet dancer, says, good morning, John. Was woken very early. The cat very kindly brought me a present. Oh, I hate it when they drop a dead mouse on you when you're in bed. Kate says, morning, petal. Cold, rainy day here in workshop. Oh, no. Paul's cold. Hearted. Right. The what? what? Yes, no, look at these. I'll just put them on the table, first of all. But yeah, Paul's used a product today on his belt. He's lost so much weight. You have, Paul. You're wasting away. Look. This is going to sell out today. Look, 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 look. They're called squizzers. Thread squizzers, they're called. Two, oh, they're only 2 99 Right, look. Hang on, look. Wait, so, so watch, 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 watch. Press. Open. Oh, no. I was about to go like that then, but I can't do that, can I? Look, little snippers. Gorgeous. If you bought 17 of these, you'd have spent your 50 pounds. Is that right? Oh, yeah, 17, yeah, 17 times three. It's buy 17, that's your 50 pounds, get five pounds off. Oh, you can't buy 17 because there's only five left now. Yeah, but the trouble is to put it in your basket. You see, this is where the, what I say contradicts everything I normally say. Because I'm normally saying, check out 1PMP, check out 1PMP. There's only five of those left, but if you are doing the thing where you, you might have already put 49 pounds in your basket and just want to top it up. With these little things. Oh, it's gone. Sorry, it's gone. Remember, I've got a treat coming up at the end of the hour. Ready? <laughs> got one treat at the end. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I've got a little zit coming on my upper lip. You know, you know when they're um, when they're just under skin, they're really sure. Anyway, I need, I need. Anna said I need a zip on my mouth. Thank you, Hannah. Right. Blue fleece. Oh, bunnies are sold out already. Right, so that's sold out. That's sold out. <clears throat> now, this is, if we're thinking you're doing a quilt for a child, it'd be nice to have fleece on the back, wouldn't it? Oh, lovely. Oh, this would make a lovely fleecy top as well. It's by the half a metre. It's, wow, how much? Two ninety nine for half a meter. That is. Just... Yeah, and the fact you told me I needed a zip on my mouth that had great effect on me. <laughs> I've just been to switch the aircon off, and switch the aircon off. I have to stand next to the glass for the gallery. I'm the animal in the zoo, apparently, and they were staring at me. Here we go, then. And also, I've realised that the secret life of the zoo is none at the weekends. <coughs> so I was a bit distraught when there was no one to watch us day. Well, I think it might have come to the end of the series, because normally it says, next time, it, it normally says, next time on Secret Life of the Zoo, Tamsin Greg says, next time, and there was no, there was no next time. Oh, I think I've watched them all. I think I've watched them all. Yes. There you go. Now, I don't want to live stream up the stories. Anyway, 2 99 It's lovely, isn't it? That beautiful. Right, there's five metres that left and that's all. Five metres left and that is all. Right, OK. Can we do Guess How Much I Love You after the plastic sheeting? OK, so basically we're doing the plastic sheeting next. Now, this is the most unglamorous product ever. Every time we bring it to the show, it just flies out. Now, I've got a funny little story about this. When Hannah first went to university, 
Most mums would like, oh, I've packed you some, you know, like some tinned food or a cake. Hannah's mum packed an undersheet so that in case she wet the bed while she went to university. Three pounds and 49 pence, it wasn't for that because it was because obviously hundreds and hundreds of people will have slept in that bed before and she didn't want her sleeping on a dirty mattress. Anyway, it's three pounds 49, don't want to be talking about that, hop us. Oh, what time is it? Oh, you changed the clock. I was going to say, well, oh, this clock's not right. Yeah, hop us there, yeah. Was that all it is? <laughs> There's only one, Paul. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> there's more than one of those. Right, £3.49. Oh, what else can you use it for? Look, 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 look. We'll do that in a minute. We'll do that in a minute. But if you're going to do a baby changing mat, be brilliant for that. Uh, I would, you know what I would be thinking? Yeah, like, like I'd do it like a quilt with this on the other side so that if you were changing the baby, you could just turn the quilt, so put the baby down on the quilt. Then when it needs to change it, take it off and put it back up. Um, you could, inside of makeup bags. This would be brilliant to line makeup bags, wouldn't it? It's £3.49. <clears throat> How wide is it? I'd say it was, oh, I'd say it was about 55 inches wide. Look, there you go. Oh, is this silver? Now, there's, this, yesterday when I held up one of those fabrics, there was a silver sticker, you know, the, the hexy uh, thing. When we came to pack away, could we find that sticker? And I kept saying, Hannah, it's definitely there. I saw it. I saw it, Hannah. And it wasn't there. That's. Oh, update from Alison. Here you go. Uh, panic not, John. Secret Life of the Zoo is back on next week. Oh, thank good. Oh, bang my microphone. I do apologise. I was panicking. I was. You see, I told you. Uh, what's it called? We call it white nursery sheeting. Quarter of the stock has gone already. No, it's still there, but yeah, that's fine. You couldn't. Oh, okay. Three pounds and 49 pence, half metre, and it comes joined together. So if you do want to make a cot lining or under, to go over the match or something like that, you can do. I know. Just leave that with you for a minute. Okay. Oh, idea for using it. Picnic quilt backing, brilliant. Collector in County Antrim, thank you very much indeed. Oh yeah, or tablecloth, like or on the floor when kids are doing craft. Yeah, exactly. Because you could wipe it down afterwards, couldn't you? Three pound forty nine. Actually, yeah, no, no, but you're right. If you if you've got kiddies, now that we're allowed, to, we can't go in houses, can we yet? I was trying to read it last night. But if you've got kids coming round and they're going to do playing with grandpa, you know, kind of doing colouring in and painting and everything, buy a couple of a metre, metre and a half fit, and then it could go over the whole table and then you don't have to worry about spillage or anything like that. The painting station in the garden, but it doesn't matter in the garden if the paint... Oh, you see my garden, it looks lovely now. Absolutely lovely. My rose garden's all planted up now and everything. Right, so I'm going to do now do the best studly pattern, am I? Did you say? Or how much I love you. Beth Studley Patton. Now I just had it here a minute ago, didn't I? Changing mat backing or bib backing. That's a good one, yeah. Bib backing. She was, wasn't she in, wasn't she in um, Pan's People? Anyway, here's the pattern for the baby. Do you not know who Pan's People are? They were the dancers on top of the pops. What needle, oh, good question, Anne. <clears throat> what needle would you use for sewing the sheeting? I would say just a normal, sharp, very sharp needle, but use a bigger stitch. But if you've got any answers for Anne, please let, oh, my hair flopped then, didn't it? Please let me know. Oh, no, April the 19th. I can't just, can't, I'm not like you, Paul. I can't cut mine. I've got to get someone else to cut mine. Anyway. Sheeting's on the other side, then this is the baby changer. Now, let me show you what this makes, because that's the pattern from Beth Studley there. £6.50. Oh, what, what? Oh, Jeanette, I had so many notes around the house saying clocks forward. And then, before I went to bed, I put all the clocks forward anyway, and then I just, and then I set three other alarms in case my digital one didn't go off. Well, your mum most obviously, obviously didn't do it. 
Right. Oh, maybe she thinks you've grown up enough now, Hannah. This would, this is what this, oh, you don't get this inside it, obviously. Oh. Oh. Nappies and nappy wipes. I, it was, it's come like, Beth Dudley's most, Beth Dudley's most probably looking for, where did I put those? Where did I put those? Because this is Beth's own. <laughs> right, isn't it beautiful? So obviously we don't do this fabric, but this is what you make. Because there's, there's that plastic sheeting. See, and then you can change the baby, put the baby there, change the nappy there, wipe its bum. No, that's changing the nappy. <laughs> well, in my day, it was a terry toweling nappy and um, a big safety pin. And the safety pin had a little blue end if it was a boy and a pink end if it was a girl. I only know that because I had twin brother and sister that were little for me. Well, we didn't have gender neutral back in the 60s. Anyway. That's the pattern, that's the pattern. You need some of, the, so this is the pattern, and that you need some of, where am I trying to point? <laughs> I was trying to point to that, but it's gone now. Right, now I'm doing How Much Do You Love Me? Oh, Hannah says very much. Paul just didn't answer. <laughs> Remember I got a treat at the end of the hour. Right. I know, I can't show you, I've got, Hannah thinks, that, Hannah, all she's talked about all morning are these, right? Right, okay, so now you're going to tell me which one or should I tell you which one? Okay, uh, YRYV06. Now, the thing is, right, I don't know this story. Guess how much I love you. Licensed by Walker's Books not to be used for manufacture of commercial product. Oh, that was on here, Sam McBranty and Anita Jaram, 2020. Well, yeah, it's Christmas, isn't it, this? Oh, oh, I see, so there's one book about, guess how much of it, and then there was a winter one, and this is based on the winter one. The same rabbits, different story. Morning, John and everyone. Went to bed early last night as too much grape juice. <laughs> I th no, she doesn't mean grape juice. She means wine. Uh, I think it made up for losing the hour. Ooh. <laughs> 7.49 for half a metre. Uh, this is fabric is obviously on the roll, on the bolt, so you can have as much or as little as you like. Oh, no, you can't because it's about to sell out. Oh, Elizabeth, the code isn't for, oh, here. Oh, no, no, the code, the code isn't for free postage. Look, 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 look. The code is for when you spend 50 pounds or more and you get five pounds off. Put the code SPRING5 in. You still pay your post and packaging. What I said earlier was you can't include your post and packaging in the 50 pounds. So don't spend 46 pounds or 47 pounds on goods thinking the 3.95 will take you over the 50 pounds because it doesn't. Right, so that's sold out. That one's sold out. I've got a big pile of sold outs here on this side. Right, now, next one is ending 70, CMYV70. How did you know that? No, it isn't. It's a completely different size to the last one. Oh, that's it, man. Yeah. No, no, they're the same rabbits, but the little, but there's little bird, little green bird. Yeah, feathers. Oh, that means lots of dead people have come to visit you, Hannah. Hannah's had a lot of robins in her backyard. The bird, she means, not boys called robin. Oh, oh dear, that's brought up a bad memory. A boy called robin. If you're watching, Robin, she's here. She's got a lovely friend called Robin as well. That's nice, isn't it? So it's the same sort of um, styly as the last one. It's a bigger print, this one. Look, I've put my hand in. It's a bigger print. Camera's broken down again. Oh, it's sold, 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 sold. Click, 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 click. These are all flying out. Right, now I've got one. Let me do another one on a blue 
Now, I'll do another one like that, but on a beige background now. So this is 18. Oh, it's on the, it was on the poll sheet yesterday. No. Oh, it sold out, sold out before we got to the show. Oh, okay. Right, now I've got stripes, I've got baby icons, and I've got plate. Right, okay, let's do the stripes in blue first. Oh, which one? I haven't got an 18. That's the one that didn't come, Hannah. Do you remember one when I unpacked it and said there's one missing? I've got 94 and I've got 16. 94. Paul says he feels 94 today. Okay, nursery sheeting has sold out. All the fleece has now sold out. What, what? The squeezes have sold out. Yeah. Oh, now I'm wondering if, you know, like little Paul suggested, if you bought all three, it goes to over £50. Eat exactly equal numbers of the ruler and both the books have sold. It was a very good suggestion, Paul. Well, it's not what you do normally, but there you go. Look. Now, I'm showing you like that because the stripes go, you know what I mean? They don't go across the fabric. They go down the fabric. Why are you giggling, Paul? <laughs> For what? Yeah, right. They're going this way, not that way. Okay. Oh, did you? Seven pounds and 49 pence. Oh my word, everything's flying out. That's only a metre that one left, sorry. Okay, now I've got another stripey one. Uh, yes, the other one, yeah, 16. So is that the same design, just in a different colourway? It is, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, hang on, let's just have a look. So the, the grey, how much this have I got? Lots of people coming in for that one. Okay, moving on. Oh. No, the sticker's back on. Oh, both those have sold out. Yeah, I've got a blue background and a green background. These ones, you mean? Which one do you want to do first? Blue first. Now, you wouldn't know necessarily. There's no rabbits on this one. There's the holly, the twigs, the mistletoe. Actually, this will make a lovely Christmas fabric. And then it's got the mottled background. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful blue. Hi, John. Good shirt again, dearie, says Margaret. Pat says, morning, John and team. Tell Hannah when Robins appear, your loved ones are near. That's what I'm saying. She's had loads in, those, in I think she had lots of dead people visiting. Carol says, morning, John. Oh, yes, I'll show you this, then I'll show you the code again. Right, here's the green version. Very pretty. 7.49 for half a metre. Right, okay, somebody's just asked to see the code again. Here it is. Right, so what, the, what it is, is you need to, I've got 50 pounds worth of goodies in your basket. Um, and you can't like buy the early bed, check out, buy something else, check out, buy something else, check out, buy something else. And then when it comes 50 pounds, you get your five pounds off. You need to put five, 50 pounds worth of stuff in your basket. So as we showed earlier, <clears throat> if you bought the Scrap Crazy ruler and the two books, that comes to just more than just 51.90, I think it was, wasn't it? So you get your five pounds off that. If you buy one of the Tula Pink um, Fat Quarter bundles, they were 69 pounds. Put the code in. You can only use it once. And it's only, as you can see, it's only for today. It was only for today, Sunday the 28th of March. Mojo Shine on Quilt. Oh, now this would be a good one for getting your money off.
Now, did I have this issue last time? Oh, here we go. Uh, I haven't got the finished quilt here today. Oh, in fact, they've sent me a whole new package, package, look. The fabric in here is beautiful. Now, how many of these have I got, Hannah? Okay, right. Very little. Look, 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 look. Split pay, 159.99. You pay three payments of 53.33. Right? No interest charge whatsoever. You've just, we've just, you don't have to, right now. If you're coming to buy this, right, for 159.99. Oh, actually it works both ways, doesn't it? So just come in and buy this, you'll get your five pounds off. I don't know how that works, but put the code in. I, but even if you've bought it on split pay, it's, you're still spending more than 50 pounds, aren't you? So you'll still get your five pounds off. Because it does say not in, not in any with any other conjunction, but I've never done one these days with split pay before, so I'm not quite sure. But you'll be, I'm sure you'll be fine. Any issues, just give the call centre a ring. <coughs> They're there, 0800 001 4433. They're there, ready to take your call. So in here, you get your instructions. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open this one. I know I shouldn't. Because... That's your background fabric there. Now, that will just look like white to you, but it is a white on white pattern, right? And it's Moda, remember, Moda quality. This is your border. This is your binding. I know, when we, when we launch this, I can't, sorry, that's going to, uh, that's going to strobe on your screen. It won't strobe in real life. Right. Okay, we did this on the, we launched it a week ago on the 20th. Oh, I see. So what happened on the day when we did this a week ago, they, I saw they're all gone because everybody put them in their baskets. Five people didn't check out. Five people did. So think of it, think of it. If you were thinking, if you were those five people who put it in your basket 10 days ago, whatever, or less than 10 days ago, you wouldn't have got the five pounds off. So today, you're getting the five pounds off. We had loads of quilts that day. Well, it was a quilting day, wasn't it? It was International Quilting Day, wasn't it? Then, look at all of these. So then you can decide which design you do in which colour. Oh, the reason we can't show this one is because we haven't, we haven't, made, we haven't got round to making it up. And then they all sold out, we thought, so we weren't going to make it up. But it's beautiful. Well, you can see here what it's going to look like. Oh, Paul's got an image to show you there. There you go. at all these I mean look at all of these these, uh, these are all fat eights right these are all fat eights there's loads of them I'm only one two two fifths through well only because it was put into five piles look 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 the, the fabric they're all motor fabrics that you can feel as you touch them you can feel how gorgeous they are Okay, please be careful if you've got them. One's checked out more in baskets, though. Maybe you get your five pounds off if you put the code in. Look, I haven't even... I haven't done, look, I'll show the code again very quickly. Just put in spring five when you check out yourself. You can only use it once. But if you bought this, if you buy this for 159.99, that's your five pounds off, isn't it? Oh, I'm still, I'm still going. I'm still getting a five off for no reason. It's fantastic, isn't it? Look. Still going. You get all of these fabrics. Look. There you go. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Shine on. On Harvey Moon up in the sky. Da, 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 da. January, February, June and July. They have no idea. They've got no idea what I'm singing about. Shine on Harvey Moon. Do you not know that song? It was also a TV program. You should remember that. Nicholas Lindhurst was in, I think, wasn't he? And it was it was one that kept. And he went back in time. Yeah, you all have been children. Yes, you do. Hannah. Hannah's just messing around. Oh, is it, is it Palm Sunday today? Oh, I didn't realise it was Palm Sunday today. Only watched till 9.45. Are you that? So you can go to church. Your church is open. Uh, morning. Busy day for you coming up. Hope you've got your lunch organised. I've got my hummus. I haven't brought any celery with me today, though. 
I've got my gluten-free crisps to dip in, dip in today. Shine on Harvey Moon. Yeah, but, but, but the song was around from the 1940s before that. It wasn't, the song wasn't written. Like Hannah thinks she's written White Cliffs of Dover. Um, yeah, she's convinced that she wrote White Cliffs of Dover. Mind you, last night I dreamt about, you know Hannah dreamt about an ex-work colleague of ours yesterday. I was called Goodnight. No, 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 no. There's, oh, that's the wrong programme then I'm thinking of. There is another one called Shine on Harvey Moon. But with the Goodnight Sweetheart was another programme as well. But maybe that's the one where they went back to the 1940s. Oh, uh, well, OK then. Right, OK. Uh, anyway, I dreamt about, we've got a rail the other side of this wall here of all the clothes that our demonstrators have made. And it was messy and I dreamt about it in my sleep. So when I came in this morning, I had to tidy, I had to tidy it up. It's all nice and tidy now. I had to tidy it up. But weird, isn't it? But very strangely, when I came in this morning, a car, I thought it's a Sunday morning, we were in this industrial estate. I was already a car coming in. And I was like, I wonder who that is. I don't recognise that car. And anyway, it drove around the car park really slowly. And then parked up outside our unit here. And I was like, oh, it's somebody coming into our unit. Then I parked up, came and unlocked and everything. And they suddenly moved their car to a different unit. Anyway, Hannah said it's got um, drip bags in it. You know, um, saline drips hanging in it. Anything. Right. Where, where am I going now then? Because the time's nearly up. Oh, it's time for the specials. Come do the do the music, Paul. Do the music. Yeah, you're going to be you're going to be all let down now, aren't you? When you're sort of going on about these, right? They do come in a box. They do come in three colours, but I've only got two here, right? Don't say anything. Don't put the graphics in. I'm just going to put them down like this. So you can now. What do you think these are? Ta da! Now, don't be thinking, that's your Sunday pill and that's your Wednesday pill. But they're this big. But this. Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but look, keep, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. They're brilliant. Look, 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 look how strong, look how strong, look how strong the magnets are. Look, look how strong those magnets are. Right, watch this, watch this, watch this. Like if you drop your box of pins. Look! That's left a few crumbs on the table. Look! Right, Hannah thinks they look like pills. Please, please, please don't try and swallow them. Right, so now I've got them in three colours, but wait till you see the price. Wait, oh no, before you do, before you do, before you do, look at the ridge here, right? Or I'll do it on the pink one, right? The ridge there, you think, what's that for? It makes it so easy to pick your pins up off there. Fantastic. Right, which colour are you doing first? Yellow first. Sunday, that's the Sunday pill. Guess how much? Two ninety nine. Two ninety. Now, let me show you, let me show you the size. Let me show you the size, because it's this big, right? That's how big it is. And they're heavy. Nice and heavy, and that magnet inside there is incredible. Yours will come in a box. Oh, I missed completely that. There you go. Yours will come in a box. I know we can't say that, Hannah. <laughs> so earlier, I said to Hannah, blimey, look how I was on this side of the desk, and Hannah was like over there, obviously, with our master. And anyway, she picked, it up, she picked it up like this. Now, I'm not, don't do this at home. Do not. She held it like that, away from her face. And I threw a pin and it went through the air like that and stuck to it. It was ever so good. Yeah, I can't say, mind your own. Oh, you've got glass on it. It'll be fine. Uh, 2 9 10 comes in yellow. Right? That's one colourway. It also comes in, uh, they call it magenta. Pink. It also comes in pink, which is that one. Hang on, I was going to show you the other colourway. Okay, there's the pink one. D that's your pink one, two ninety nine. Yours will come in a box, and I've got a picture of the purple one here in a minute for you to see. And then this is the purple one here. We haven't got it here, that's why I'm going to show you a picture. There, there's, there's the purple one. Oh, it could be a bar of soap. 
Obviously, you only get the one for your two ninety nine. Oh, Alice and Marion, did I somebody say that? Bar of soap, Hannah. Derek says, good morning, little Paul. Hannah and John, early start for you all this morning. Well, yes, it was a bit. It's the same time, just an hour earlier. Yeah, exactly. Fiona says, morning, John. Received my motor quilt kit this week. Oh, that's the one we just showed, the shine on one. Fiona's got hers already. Trudy said, it was called Goodnight Sweetheart, the show you're thinking of. Yeah, Paul just said, good morning, John. Love the singing. No, you don't. Right. <clears throat> Okay, so hang on. So the graphics are in for the purple one. And then change around because I've got the pink one. That's, that's the... It's a brilliant price, two ninety nine. Pink. Two ninety nine magnetic pin, pink. Pin dish, sorry. Pin dish, needle. Hang on, they're called... Oh, pin and needle. And uh, do you know what? Safety pins. You can do safety pins, drawing pins, paper clips. It doesn't have to just be for your sewing room. Yeah, so if you've been sewing and pinning and you leave all your pins out like that, and then just literally, are you ready? I oh know, isn't it brilliant? So that's the pink one. That's the pink one there. Okay, last but not least, the yellow one. Oh, that goes there, actually. Yellow. You're going to what? What's the matter? Two pounds and 99 pence. Okay, we're just showing you a price. It's not a direct comparison, not direct comparison, but this is a magnetic grab it magnetic pin holder. Ten pounds, that one. Ten pounds. Now, obviously, that's a, a, a branded one, Benina one. Grab it. Oh, hang on, there's another one. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, there's one here that's a different shape. Same principle, magnetic. You do get the red pins. With, you get those pins with that one. How much is it? £9.99. Ours is £2.99. And you can choose yellow, pink or purple. There you go. There's a round version there, four eighty. ORRP over £5. Okay. Okay, right, we have to go for a break. Right, Julie's up after the break. We are doing leather work. We are, can I, we're going to make a uh, little purse. And we're going to make a, there's also a third project if we get to it. But also, uh, we've got gorgeous leathers. We've got cow leather, goat leather. And for those of you who don't like leather, we've got um, um, synthetic, synthetic. And there's like snake skin, there's gorgeous colours and everything. Do not, oh, and we've got, well, We've got what I call in the old industry, it's called pony skin, right? It's called pony skin. It's not pony skin. I remember doing a feature about pony skin shoes on this morning and we never got so many letters going, how dare you kill ponies to make those shoes? It's not pony skin. It's, it's leather, but with the fur left on sort of thing. Anyway, we call it something different, like hairy leather or something like that. Anyway, we will see you. The what? Hair on hide. Well, we know what that means, don't we? We'll see you in three minutes. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. 
Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break, uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well and then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it so now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break, uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. 
And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. I got two Facebook messages over the break, right? One from Trudy saying, the early morning start is getting him slightly confused. I can't see these, Trudy, you know. <laughs> Mind you, Trudy was on yesterday. Wasn't, didn't Trudy want me sprawled all over her bed yesterday? Was that the day before? And then Patricia says, morning, John, have a great show. Patricia, have you done your clocks? We've been here for an hour. We've been here for an hour already. Have you put your clock forward? Because, yeah, because it's really eight o'clock. So if this was yesterday, it would be 8 o'clock, wouldn't it, in the morning? So I wonder how many people are now going to join us at 8 o'clock, thinking it's 8 o'clock. Anyway, we've got a fantastic hour, fantastic hour, fantastic hour. Um, oh, yes, now, I, I'll just remind you very quickly. If you spend £50 or over today, you can only use this once. You uh, save £5. What you need to do when you check out is write the word spring five. It's only to celebrate the clocks going forward, right? But now, what? Now you know normally I'm saying... Check out, check out, check out, check out, straight away, check out, straight away. I'm not saying that today. I'm saying basically get yourself £50 worth of stuff if you uh, want to take um, advantage of that offer. Um, and then and then um, put it all in, the because it, it won't work if you buy the early bird, check out, buy something else, check out, buy, and then you think, well, I've got £50 worth in there. It's only when you check out with £50 worth of stuff in your basket. It's not just from... My show today, you can go to the web. So if you've been thinking, I've always wanted that Fiskars, um, you know, the, um, I call it the guillotine. It's the cutter, the ruler and the cutter all in one. I think £64.99. Go to the website, get that. You'll get £5 off. You just put the code in and it's only today. It's only for today. Just to celebrate the clocks going forward. Right, now. So, I'm quite excited about this hour because we don't normally do hours like this. And I know whenever we've done like the leather scraps and things like that, they've absolutely flown out the door. I am going to show you everything that I've got for sale in this hour and then I'll introduce you to Julie and then we'll just get on with the, with, with the whole demonstration and everything. So here is the book. It is called Leather Craft. Inspirational projects for you and your home. Um, I don't know who it's by. It's got no name on it. That's funny, isn't it? Anyway, maybe the company's called Leathercraft. Bring it, maybe it's lots of different, like, maybe it's lots and lots of different. Uh, hang on, 9 99 I was just checking, is that right? 9 99 that's good value, isn't it? Right, here we go, very quickly. Ooh, here we go. Now, if there's, I, I know some people don't like leather. I have got synthetic leathers during this show as well as real leathers. So don't be put off if you're thinking, oh, I'm not going to watch because I don't do leather. Right, accessories. Friendship bracelets. Anna's going to make some of those this afternoon, she says. Luggage tag. We'll need one. But some of those soon. Daisy belt. Paul's belt's too big for him. Glam rock necklace, Paul. That's for Paul. Silk scarf belt. Oh, that's nice. Nice. Uh, flower necklace. Hannah. No, that's Hannah likes that one. Key fob. We need to do those for Hannah because she's always losing her keys. Always. Rose brooch. Well, it's really funny because I came to unlock here this morning. There's a pocket in my bag where I keep, and so everything's come off the key ring. It was really weird that both the keys have come off the key ring. I know, weird, isn't it? Anyway, leaf belt. I like that leaf belt. But then we go to bags and purses. Ha oh, that's stylish, isn't it? Um, here we go. Person wallet. Oh, oh, no, we're not doing that one. No, we're not doing that one. Oh, 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 drawstring patch. Oh, that's very medieval, isn't it? The amount of films. When I used to do film, no, no, it's later than, later than Game of Thrones, that. That's more like uh, Canterbury Tales, that one. Or what was the film I did with Robert Williams? Being Human. Being Human, that, we had those on Being Human. Right, OK, carrying on. Belt purse, that's the one we're making. Well, it's got a loop to go on your belt. Oh, Hannah doesn't want to, Hannah doesn't want to put it on her belt. Fringe bag, oh, that's nice, isn't it? Fringe bag. P pattern so that one look punch leather purse and Paul little balls used the punch this morning clutch bag I don't mean he's punched me but you know kind of coin purse studded tote 
for the home. Loads of good. Pe oh, pencil cases. Is that the one we've done? Hang on. Oh, yeah. No. Ours is different. Oh, no, it isn't. Turn it over. <gasps> oh. Okay. Uh, pencil cases. Uh, then we've got booklets. Writing set. These would be lovely, wouldn't they? iPad cover. Or tablet. That's funny that they've put iPad, isn't it? Yeah, controversial. Uh, jewelry basket. And, oh, look, they're cute, aren't they? Hannah's, Hannah's very excited because we get to use a hammer in this hour as well. Oh, wow. Well. Now, don't sit on that with no, no, anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I was going to go somewhere then. I thought, no. Log basket. Oh, no. Look, Hannah, this is like your house. <laughs> anyway, isn't that weird that they haven't put a name they haven't put a name on it? Oh, look, I see why. Because Emma designed the belt and the purse and the wallet. Paula designed the drawstring pouch. Pascal did the luggage tag. Jemima did something. Claire did something. And Jean did something. So they're all... Jean... Anyway, it's a gorgeous book for nine ninety nine. Right, so that's the book. Now let me let me just do then some of the kits that we've got for today. So this is for this is for now. I haven't got this one in pink, but I, I can show you how to do it later. It's a pencil case, right? I've got it in the tan, so you get the piece of leather and the snaps. You'll have more than enough snaps in there, so you can use those over again and again and again. Because there's how many in there? Fifth, uh, no, ten. Ten sets in there. And you'll only use four for the actual project. So that's your tan. Nineteen ninety-nine. Then I've got it in um, now. I don't know what colour they've called this. Turquoise. Yep, turquoise. There's your turquoise. Turquoise, I mean, turquoise. These are real leather. These two I'm showing here are real leather, just so you know. Okay, now I've got two synthetic leather ones now i wonder why the piece of synthetic leather is so much smaller but anyway so you get the, the this like what color have they called this pink opal they've called this one. Oh yeah there's enough there's enough there disco snake is what hannah this this isn't leather this is not leather look this is faux okay then wait till you see this one look at this what? That's more... I don't know what you call that one. Is that what it's called? Tangerine. <coughs> that was Disco Snake in Hannah's... L L and this is Nighttime, Nighttime Lizard. It's not. It's faux. It's faux. It's faux. It's faux. Okay. Okay, so that goes there, and that goes with the pencil case. We're going to show you how to make that one. Then, the little purse that goes on the belt. This is cute, isn't it? Look. Look. So. Right, so I've got it in shiny black, which is this one. So what you get is you get your... Ooh, now this is real leather. Ooh, that's lovely. It's very shiny, look, very shiny. You get a fat quarter of black cotton and a little zip. Gorgeous. How much is that one? $16.99. I also have that in tan. So you get your tan leather, real leather. You get your fat quarter of your, I think they call that tan, don't they? Because I was saying sand yesterday. And then your zip, $16.99. And then you also have one in pink, which for some reason has come rolled up, this one. Oof, that's a lovely colour. Oh, that's the same colour as that look. Okay. So, it is future. Buy it now. You'll get it in the future. Is that what little Paul would say if he was here? Fat quarter of pink. That's called future as well. Future, future, black. Okay. Right. Very quickly, very quickly, very quickly. Oh, the, the pink one's flown out. The single figures of the pink one now. Single figures of the pink one. Right, then I've also got for the jewellery bag. Now, we might not demonstrate this one because we might not have time to do that. But in this one, that's the turquoise again with the grad. 
is that Graniente fabric? It is fat quarter plus your studs. You don't get little Paul. Sadly. Oh, no one understands him. Right, and then, now this one's faux. Silver lizards. Do they just call it Sylvia? Silver with your cream um, fat quarter plus your studs if you want to make that with a cream lining. Right, very quickly, very quickly, we'll carry on. <coughs> right, I've also got leather machine needles, which you will need to sew this on your machine. Oh, we will ask, Julie, in a second, do we use these with the faux leather? Don't answer yet. 249 leather needles. Uh, now, I've got a bundle. Am I doing this now, sorry? Yeah, yeah. I've got a bundle of leathers. These are the real McCoy. These are real leather, real cow. These are cow. These are cow. Turquoise, tan. Black, the shiny black, the pink, they're the big squares, and then the smaller squares. Oh, no, they, for some reason, these got labels on them. Silver, I'd say that was elephant. These are the ones you get, these are the ones you get. Little squares of the, oh, gold. So where's the code of that one then, Paul? And then there's, what's that there? That's like, I um, don't know what colour that one is. Dirty, it's not even a dirty pink, is it? Terracotta. Italian wall, Italian wall that is. And then the brown. These are now obviously 84 99 considered purchase, but you get 11 pieces of cowhide. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep. Now, buy that, you'll get your five pounds off. Use the code, you'll get your five pounds off. Right, very quickly, I've got a bundle of faux leathers for those of you who don't want to use faux. Here we go. So in this one, you get the, 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 hang on, the nighttime lizard, you get the disco snake, you get the lovely gold. Oh, look, that's the, that's the rattlesnake, I'd call that one. That one's got a lovely texture to it, that one. Right, look at this one. That's like an embossed floral one, isn't it? Can you see that there, Paul? Then you've got the, <laughs> the pink one, the pink snake. Oh, hang on, I thought, I thought, I've shown that one once. I th yeah, there you go. Oh, that's right, that's what's happened, yeah. Now, look at that one. Right, and then you get these diddy ones here of the grey anthracite. And this one's called Ballard. I was going to call it um, Peacock, Peacock. Yeah, if you're down in the park and your mallard flies by like that, you be careful. Right, okay, very quickly, I've then got some goat skin. Three pieces of goat skin. This is really soft, really soft and beautiful. If you ever had a goat skin jacket, you'll know what this feels like. So you get that, you just get the three squares, 19.99. Beautiful, 19.99. Could you make a tassel with that? I'm not sure. It might be a bit softer a tassel. Paul could do pocket squares with those. Then, last but not least, then we will get on with some sewing, I promise. Um, now, I call this pony skin. We've called it something different. Hairy hide or something we've called it. <laughs> Hair on hide. Dalmatian. It's two pieces. So we've called it hair on hide bundle. You get two pieces, twenty-eight pounds and ninety-nine pence. Right. After all that, oh no, everyone's talking about me talking about sitting down in that chair with no pants on. Sorry, everybody. Oh, <coughs> right. Okay, okay, okay. New guest for me. It's only the first time, second time you've been on, isn't it, Julie? It is. Yep. And we're very pleased to uh, welcome you back. Thank you. Um, and we're very excited about this hour. But before we start. You are one of our, I always get this wrong, you're not a Bake Off, no. Sew Off, Great British Sew Off competition winners, weren't you? I was, yeah, back in November. And what did you, what did you, what did you have to do? Because I didn't work here then, what did you have to do? 
Um, it was a craft kit, so I put together a linen bread bag kit. Okay. So people could, for their sourdough. Oh, um, no, I've read, I, saw, I watched that last night, actually, then. <coughs> I didn't realise that was mm -hmm. your first show. Right, okay, and um, what's your history, then? What do you, what do you, are you a sewer by trade? Are you a sewer by fun, or what are you? Um, way back, uh, A-level, textiles and dress, um, but I did a random range of A-levels, so um, loved the textiles and dress, tailoring, made a winter coat from a blanket, oh, wow. and so really enjoyed that, but didn't do the chemistry bit, didn't do the art bit, so um, became a physio. Um, oh, okay. so, <laughs> so, uh, from a week's work experience, so I've been in the NHS for 30 years as a physio. Oh, Paul needs your help. He's got a lot. He's falling people. apart. Yeah. <laughs> bad people. knee, bad shoulder, bad back. Uh, oh, so you're a physiotherapist? This, yeah, in, in Oxford, the main John Radcliffe Hospital. So, oh, okay. Brilliant. So I look after the staff. So. so where does this where does this all fit into it then? So I work part time there. So uh, and uh, around the family and everything. And so I've got a little cabin in the garden. So um, sort of hobby, but becoming a bit more of a business. So with leather and the linen sort of work as well. So. But you, you also obviously do dressmaking. You do you do yes. a lovely um, yeah. one from the book that we're in the next hour. You're yeah. On, so and this, yeah. Oh, is that from there as well? No, this is no, it's not actually. But oh, okay. Swedish Swedish company. So oh, okay. um, yeah. It's nice. So, lovely. Oh, so that's um, one of you, you've made that. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. So I got into sewing a bit more last year with lockdown. I think a lot of people sort mm -hmm. of took it up as a yeah, as a hobby. So and sewed for my daughter for a. a film production um, undergrad um, so I got back into sewing sort of when she asked me to do a shirt so yeah oh, wow. so yeah and you got your mojo back and now that's yeah, it when, oh. and also I, I mean I, I think physiotherapy is a fantastic job anyway but when you get a job and it's not your job it's your hobby but you love it so mm. much it doesn't become like a job anymore does yeah. it it's no kind I mean, of it's like... my escape it's my sort of I say I switch off I just zone into making yeah. things. So I, I ended up making more and more things going, actually, I probably need to sell them now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 you can't just make them and keep them on the shelf. Just a pile of things. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and I like the sustainability bit. So I think it's my leather love came from finding some scraps in a scrap store. So I went, oh, what could I, what could I do with them? Oh. And then it was thin enough that I could use the sewing machine. So that's where it all sort of um, going. Oh, yeah, because yeah. people have this thing that they always say that I, I, yeah. I, I need a special machine yeah. or I need a special this, but actually you don't, no, do you at all? Bog basic, fairly basic machine, and with a, I mean the leather needles a bit of a. I have sewn without the leather needles. Oh, so question then: if you were doing, if you're sewing with the synthetic, yeah. would you still use a leather needle? I probably wouldn't need. To. No, I was going to say I would, and I just put a, a slightly thicker needle needling yeah. a universal yeah. but in a 14 to yeah. 16. I mean the main thing I think is and we, we can talk about that when we sew with the purse but is keeping the stitch longer yes so it doesn't perforate too exactly. many holes yeah because um, then as soon as you open your zip the whole thing's gonna fall yeah, apart yeah so it, it weakens it I think so you need to keep the stitch length longer than you would normally and I have used on some of my other things the top stitch thread to make it look a bit Thicker, so yes, looks, yes, because if you use a normal thread, it kind of looks a bit thin. Bit thin, yeah. yeah. So there's a few little quirks, but um, yeah, it, depending on the thickness of the leather, and there's lots of ranges, um, but definitely a lot of things I've sewn with a standard sewing machine. So if somebody at home has bought one of these bundles and they've never sewn with leather before, is there anything they need to look out for? Anything you say that? Well, we'll we'll see. Let's start it, and then you might think of oh, just be careful because this is different to stitching or yeah. Something. I mean. I have you. I mean, they they talk about using tissue paper because it can stick right. to the feed dogs. Yeah, I've not used that all the time. It really, again, it depends on what leather you're using. Really, so sometimes if you're thinking, oh, that's not going through, then you could use some tissue paper, either just underneath or on one or the other. But um, again, not not no, no. not necessary all the time. So you have to little. You know, it's best to have a little practice. I mean, I've bought a leather jacket from a charity shop as a scrap type you know you can pick something up yeah, yeah. and then have it as your you know this is actually a leather jacket um that i've used and cut it up so, oh because okay. you can find so leather that's upcycling at its best yeah isn't it, leather really? jacket yeah. in charity shops so my daughter wanted some weird holster um <laughs> let me send that so, <laughs> she said don't mention me um so that's a leather jacket that i've cut up and then i've hand block um, oh, wow. stamped to make it a bit more interesting so, so, so. so it's still a learning curve for you then yeah. it's like learning new things yeah. <clears throat> also i was going to say in the book there's actually tips. Though. So if you would say to do this booklet one, it has little tips on each on each project, everything. So you can uh, learn as you go along and everything. And I think for nine ninety nine, that's a brilliant, brilliant little book. Okay, let's start some sewing then. So what are we going to make first? 
So we're going to do the um, pencil case, although you, I say I've used it to put my glasses in. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So um, it could be a, yeah, for your sunglasses, now British summertime. Oh, yes. Uh, allegedly. Well, you <laughs> picked the wrong day to be on, didn't you? The one day you love the nights and hours sleep. Yeah, sleeping, that was a st struggle this morning. Oh, yes. so, um, so you do need to make templates. Right. So in the book, um, you have to zoom up. Um, there is a template um, that you have to... Um, what page are you on, sir? Uh, 86. For the okay, case. 86, right, pencil yeah. case. So where's the, where, oh, I see. So that's the um, template right. there, and it says you have to photocopy it at 200% 100%. for the actual size. Yeah, so that's okay. a little bit of playing around on the yeah. on your, if you can do that. And then I just made a card just to um, make a bit more of a sturdy template. Yeah. Um, so I say there's the, the sort of flesh side um, and the grain side. So I tend to mark things out on the, Backside. Now, so. now <clears throat> could you, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> could you, if you wanted to, with that, if you didn't want the shiny side, if you want the suede sort of side, could you use the other sides as well? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, they've all got, you know, if you're ever choosing leather, you're always trying to find the best bit to put your template on because there's yeah. always some natural flaw. flaw in the leather. So it's just having a look before you sort of go, right, where do I want it to sit? But they're quite generous pieces. Yes. Um, oh, yeah, very, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Oh, that could be why you get more of the leather leather than you do the faux, because the faux won't have any flaws in because it's been made True. by a machine. And True. maybe they've given you a bigger piece of the leather leather just in case you do need to move it yeah. around a bit. Yeah. And so you've got definitely leftovers for this yeah. project to do a key ring or a... Um, a tassel, yeah, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, a tassel, tassel, yeah. the tassels. So I say I tend to, um, I say, and it is a, I, I literally had this book as a beginner. So oh, it's, okay. it's a great start if you've never, and, um, you know, there's not a lot of masses of sewing. So there's things that if, you, if you're not keen on the sewing side, you can do, you can do other things in it. But um, there's a good range, I think, yes. to cover and have a little try. Um, so just getting your template and then I've, I just use a pencil, but some people, you can actually scratch it with your awl. Oh, okay. So, um, and you probably, but I say if you're feeling brave, you do that on the, on the yeah. flesh side. But I say you could use, I mean, well, no, they talk about using a pen. A pen. Yeah, yeah, if they talk yeah. about it, you just got to be, you know, nothing too thick that you're going to see. So, yeah. so I've, I've, I've partly cut this one out. So if, I don't know if you can see, I have marked... It's not that strong, yeah. but so I'm just so, and you then, as I say, in the book, it talks about using scissors. Uh, it's not great, but you can use scissors because it sometimes causes a bit of a, a shearing yes, sort of, yeah. yeah. So, but you could use scissors if you're so not. So it's a bit like when you cut um, fake fur, faux fur, you always cut that from the back with a knife. Oh, right. So you don't, so you're only cutting the kind of backing and you're not, uh, because if you the... cut with scissors from the right side, your fur so gets cut on the same off. thing. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So in a way, it's the same thing. You don't want to be cutting on an angle. Yeah, I, I have teeth. used scissors. Again, it, <coughs> and, we, and this is really thin. So I say there's diff definitely different thicknesses of leather, but this this with the packs is very thin. So you could definitely use scissors. But I tend to use I tend to use a knife. So okay, we have a um, Fiskars one on pre-order underneath us. Yeah. So it's just I say just taking your time. I say you might want to I say buy I say leather jackets uh, there's loads in the charity shop so if you want to have a little charity shops aren't open yet though true true nearly april 12th. <laughs> are, are they allowed to open on april the 12th then as well yeah i presume so yeah yeah so and you want to start you know you never want to run into um into the sort of body of the piece that you're making so you always start at sort of a corner edge and, and come out right. yeah just so you don't end up with any sort of over over slicing so as well, I'll try not to cut myself. So, and a rotary cutter, you could use that. Again, I don't know how you, you need to be accurate for your corners. Yeah. So, yeah. Also, you need to take a ruler if you're using a rotary cutter, wouldn't you, really? So you just need a nice, just try and do it in a single cut as well. And it's, this, isn't, this isn't too thick. Yeah. So, but some of the thicker leathers, it's, it can be a challenge. So, so I'm just going to finish trimming this end. And then there's a clever little trick. So I try not to shake and... I'll just finish off there. They're quite, it's, they're, they're quite simple shapes, aren't they? So you're not yeah. going to be cutting around anything awkward or anything. Yeah. Saying that, if you, oh. want, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. if you wanted to round your corners, so it's not. So on here, we've just, that, that's a bit sharp. And yes. Actually, in the book, um, they, do, they do curve their corners. Oh, okay. But freehand is quite tricky. So, yes. So I discovered, I mean, they use a penny sometimes, they mention, but actually it's easier with a bobbin. Right. So you just want to put this on the corner 
and then you've got something to hold. And okay, hang just... on, it's easy to move your head back. There Sorry. you go, there you go, there you go. Now, now you can put your head forward to cut it. <laughs> and, then it. That was all, yeah. and, then, and then just take... Ooh, Z. Now be very careful when you're doing this at home for the first time. But I'd say I'd use a bobbin, not a penny, because your fingers yes, are closer yes, to yes, the... Yes, so yes, I yes. actually went, oh, that's easier, because you've got something to grip onto. Yeah. So that's an easier way of just taking those corners off. Yeah. So it's fine. You can see, so... Without causing any... Blood. Oh, to be right. <laughs> right, so that's right. just, I mean, hopefully you can see that's just a nice, yeah, yeah, just smooth takes the edge. Just, yeah. It does make it look nicer, I think. So, so I'll just do last one there. So that's, I say, quite handy with a bobbin because it's got a bit of height. Yeah. So. Are you doing that on every corner? Uh, not, not the more... I say not quite. I've done it on the the flaps. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what you're going to sort of yeah. handle more. So yeah. Okay. I mean, actually, I've done it on those. I say it's up to you. You could not do it at all if you yes. don't want to. Well, so, if it's your first project, maybe not do it the yeah, first time. Yeah. So yeah. if you're a bit wary of the knife and yeah. yeah. So and I have I've done some of the holes already, which obviously you can use. A lot of people have the old um, hole punch. We've got that on pre-order underneath us. So that's quite handy for your leather work, yeah. um, but actually the. The Prestod pack um, does actually come with... Oh, okay. Oh, so you don't need, you don't you don't need, need to it. buy that. No, you don't need it if you... Because um, actually the Prestod pack comes with um, its own hole maker. Oh, okay. So this is where you get... Um, so So that comes in the bundle. In that, the bundle. bundle yeah. So just to go back, so you've had your template and yeah. you've got your dots. And so you might... So I use the all yeah, yeah. to create yeah. where that hole is. Yeah. So you just have a little bit of a... Make sure you've got a cutting mat underneath you don't go into your table so that's just to mark where you want so you haven't gone all the way through it's only it, marked it has well yeah it has really oh, okay just okay. yeah so you want to sort of see where it is but it's you could do it from so it doesn't really matter which side you make the yeah, hole yeah. some people say it's it's neater if you do from the, the right from side. the top yeah because then you've got any sort of fibers going through so it's just lining that up and then, so it's all inbuilt, and yep. then this is without hitting. Here we go, loud. <coughs> Ta -da. So you get a nice, neat hole that's the right size. Yeah. So obviously, because it's you have to play around. Oh here. yeah. So because it's in the kit, the hole is the right size. It's for the right those size islands. for the. Yeah. If you cut a hole that's too big for your eyelets, you're done yeah. for. There's yeah. Nothing that's you can do it. About yeah. It, there's so. no going back. So yeah. and then you just have to, I say, great instructions. You do need to have a look at those because there's a few more bits. Yeah. So. This is where I'll get confused. So, so putting the, I don't know what you call it, the, the button side. Yeah. Yep. So again, there's a picture. You want to follow that picture on page 86 of where you're putting your um, front and back pieces. Because yep. yep. So you've got different areas need different on the different side. If you see what I mean. So, what should we do that that one there? So. And again, you just sort of, it's all explained in the instructions that come yeah. with your, with your Prestod. And obviously if you've got Prestod's at home, different sizes, colours. I've never tried the plastic because I know. I, I would, I would mm, mm. I don't know if they're strong enough no. or, yeah. Or deep so, enough to go through the leather. Maybe. Yeah. <clears throat> so, and then, I say, hopefully this, so just another. So you give, give it a good wallop and it, and that's it. Yeah, oh, so easy as that. So okay, yeah. I so that's the, that's the the, the, the it's the smooth bit on the top on the outside, yeah, yeah. and then it's is it the female bit? And then bit you've got on your other inside. bit. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So it is. Say you do need to follow the instructions because yeah. it takes a little bit of, um, and I had a, a Preston thing that wasn't quite so complicated. So there are different. <laughs> there, are, <laughs> there are yeah. So there's different. You know that was that was my version. That's. Um, Bit smaller, yeah, yeah. and so let's see. But just read the instructions. Read the instructions, so but that's quite handy because yeah. it's got the hole puncher as well. So yeah, so and then it's a case of just you know um, putting them all together and then creating your. Oh, so it's literally it's if you open that, if I open this pink one out, it's just going to be the flat. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. So there you go. There's the finished thing. So yeah. that's the shape. That, that, that this is where you have to look at the, uh, the instructions because you need to get 
the males in the right place and then the females the in the right place as well. See yeah. what I mean? Otherwise, they're not going to fold. But that's it. There's no construction construction then. You construct no, that's it. that's an easy, book. quick, good good starter one, I think, if you're getting the book. So, you're that's not, brilliant. Yeah, you're not because saying anything. it's effective. It looks yeah. lovely. Yeah. And, and you haven't had to do any... If, if people are frightened about doing sewing for the yeah. first time... No sewing on that one. So that's that a good... That is brilliant. Yeah. Now, that, that's gorgeous. So um, and let me just remind you, we've got kits for those in the turquoise, the tan, which are real leather. And then we've got the pink opal and the snake and the, in the faux. Oh, okay, I've just got to show you the pink opal very quickly. Have you made one out of tangerine? So I've part, again, part, oh, okay. part made it, so that's quite, yeah. And it's got a, this sort of fleecy, it's quite a nice, yeah, yeah, smooth on the back, so. Okay, so this is the most popular of the kits here. This is the faux one, of which is the pink opal, plus your studs there, ten. Is that right, 10.49? Yep, 10.49. Yeah. So I think they make great glasses cases, actually. <laughs> so so this game. I think they make great glasses cases. Yeah, yeah. exactly, definitely. So. And as you can see, look, it does now. With uh, That fits perfectly there. So that's because there's, there'll be no flaws. Mm. When you, We haven't got this one in the pink, but if you buy it in the tan or the... Um, turquoise, you get, you get more of it. So just in case you need to avoid a, a cab spot or something like that. Uh, okay, let's just have a look at the orange so, one that you've got there, then. Yeah, so that's... Um, <coughs> it's called tangerine. So it's not finished, but that's quite... Yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be good, what I say. In your bag, easy to find for your oh, gla well, glasses. That's and, pro my glasses yeah. cases are both brown. Black, yeah. And the amount of times you root around yeah. looking for it, that's fantastic. So, but I think it is, I say, it's described as a pencil case, but I say, well, makeup you, brushes, you know, um, yeah, you could... Use of I think yeah. The only thing I'd be worried about pencil case, when you open it, Everything's going to f <laughs> fall out, isn't it? But anyway, so that's lovely. That's the first project. That's yep. really lovely. I'll, I'll, if you want me to um, recap any of these, just let me know. So, yes, are hey, we gonna... and, and dis different size oh, yes. Prestoids, you know. So I had smaller. Yeah. So I say, if you've got a stash of Prestoids, but that over. one there, you've made that. You've upcycled that one from yeah, an old. That was um, an old leather jacket. And then how did you get those flowers on the top? That was a, a wooden block print. Oh, yeah, bam. with acrylic paint. Yeah. So just to. Shush it, shush it up. And did yeah. you do that on your daughter's um, holster as well? <laughs> no, she just wanted it black. <laughs> yeah, oh. so. But right. I left leftover leather. So, okay, yeah. so that's that one. Now, what is the second one? Is this really cute little purse with a zip and a um, loop if you want to put it over your um, belt. I think that's just nice to hold on to as well. It's just a, a coin purse in your bag. You've got something to hold on to there, isn't it? Right, so, so remember we've got this in the shiny black, we've got it in the tan, we've got it in the pink. You do get the lining and you do get the zip in there. You don't need any studs with this one. This one doesn't have any studs in it. So. So this one, a little bit trickier. I oh, okay, say. I'll shut so, up on this one then. A little bit trickier, a bit more advanced from some of the other projects. Yeah. So, um, so again, you've got plenty of leather in your pieces. Um, so you do need a little metal zip. Yeah, yeah, got that. Um, and this does involve some stitching. So I've already stitched the strap, and this is longer than it. Yeah, than you yeah. need, but and that was the top stitching thread. Okay, yeah, so, so how did you? Is that is it? Is the back of it got lining on it, or is it just no, leather? No, that's on the just back? the that's just the flesh side of the leather. So yeah. you just cut it out and you've top stitched it. Top stitched it, and that's yeah. it. And that keeps it from because leather does stretch, mm -hmm. which if you've not used, you know, so it's a bit. Yeah, so, so that's another sort of um, tip. Don't, yeah, just be wary that it can sort of distort a little bit yes. if you're being a bit um, rough, with it. rough with it. So, um, and you just need a normal uh, thread on the bob on the bottom bobbin. Right. So it's just that top stitch. Okay. Threading the needle is the challenge with your yes. top stitch. <laughs> with your top but stitch. then if you, if you use a jean needle or a, a needle that's got the bigger eye in it, if you're going to put the jean, the, the, the jean, if you use a pair of jean needles, yeah. basically, you get some. Yeah, oh, no, hang on. Do you need, well, you to need use the leather. leather needle, though? Oh, okay. No, okay. You see, I don't, I don't possess jean needles, so I yeah. don't know if that, but I say, I've, no, 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 no. I've I, definitely I, stitched with normal sewing needles yeah. in the machine, so it's not life or death, yeah. um, but allegedly it's the, the um, triangular. Yes, it's got uh, the facets at the yeah. bottom. It's like a hand, a leather hand stitching needle's got like jeweled facets at the bottom, so it yeah. slides through yeah. the leather. Yeah. yeah. So I just um, did that ahead of time because I thought of trying to thread the needle. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And then it's just a normal, um, um, normal thread underneath. So, okay. and again, the longer stitch, and it's it looks nice as well. When you say longer, what size did you do? Um, a double to you know really big, yeah, top yeah. stitch. So it depends what machine. This is, yeah. 
a three on yeah, yeah but yeah. go go it does it does talk about that in front of the book actually so um just remember to up that you might yes. not remember at the start go oh i need to do a longer yeah. stitch so but then that's what your practice bits for anyway isn't it? yeah practice yeah so have yeah everything. if you've got a little bit of scrap that you can you know have a little go and, yeah. and just see what it feels like and if you can feed it through so the I say i've never really i thought oh, i'll have a go with tissue paper and then you just yeah. tear it off so it's not sticking i've but got a I, scrap bag coming up in a minute but not I say the tissue paper yeah if you've got some lying around then it might be handy to use but again it's not it's not always necessary mm -hmm. so so i just got ahead of time just to again that keeps it sort of in its shape the yep. stitching um and then we need to we've got we've cut out some fabric for the lining again so i've used surprise it's, it matches my top oh. so, <laughs> so there was leftovers from this so um i just made one and actually the pattern that's the size of the loop they talk about oh, okay whereas I didn't think that was long enough to go over your belt. No. So I thought I'd better make one the same as the book, but actually, that wouldn't go. That over wouldn't my go. Belt. No, that's no. too small. So, um, so it talks about this longer. So just make. You don't need that length, but um, that you've got a decent amount that's going to go inside. Yeah, yeah. And then you turn it through. So, and again, you don't pin leather. So just watch. So okay. that's a bit of a. Oh, how do I get it to stick together? Yeah. So um, I've got some. You've big, used bulldog big, clips. Bigger, We've got our <laughs> clips. Big ugly bulldog clips, but yeah. So just remember not to, because once the holes are in, that's it. Yes. Yeah. So, um, so again, that might put people off of it with the leather sort of side things. Right. I don't need that. So I'm, I, I'm just thinking back because um, I used to work in films and I did Tomb Raider and we had to have uh, motorbike outfits made for Angelina Jolie. So Stan the Leatherman in Hackney made them for us. But then if you're dressmaking, I wonder how you, if you're not allowed to pin it, if you're doing curved seams, I wonder how yeah. you do that. You can glue. Oh, maybe did there's, that. There's sort of, you could just use copy decks even. Yeah. yeah. So some of the hand sewing it yeah. talks about, which I've done, um, you actually do glue. I, I knew, I knew you, um, once you'd stitched, you, you glue the seams oh, the back and bang them with your hammer. flatten them. But, yeah. but just getting ready for a fitting, because obviously in a yeah. fitting, you have to then alter it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's sort of like, I don't know how we did it. Maybe I'll ask him. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Carry on. Yeah. Carry on. Carry on. I'd say I'm not sure I'd make anything no. <laughs> like clothes. Oh, no, no. There. We made so many <laughs> sets and I had to go and buy all the leather from Alma Leathers and I was buying like so many cow leathers sort of thing. But so again, um, the instructions are relatively clear. I did have a little um, play with, with doing the line, but if you're a bag maker, then this should be easy for you. you know, yeah. you're, you're used to putting zips yeah. in and things. So I say, the only thing is don't, don't pin anything. Um, so I've just, I have put a zipper foot on there. Um, just make sure it's, uh, so this is a leather needle okay. and it's just normal thread. It's cause I'm and not- And giving you the machine without a bobbin cover. It's got it. no cover. So, cover. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry about that. I say, I'm actually, so I say, let's try and hope this works. So. so now, have you got a zipper foot in? If there is a zipper foot. Zip, yeah, a zip yeah in, definitely yeah. zipper foot. Yeah. And then do the old stop, come out, yeah, to move the zipper. Yeah, so it's just, but, and, and I say you might wanna, it's quite a small, this is quite a small zip, but it's handy for, yeah, I say, you might use it for your face mask storage or something. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. so, um, and it could sit inside your bag. It doesn't have to be, you know. Uh, Barbara said, good morning, John and Julie. Great show this morning. Lots of great tips. That's Barbara, Barbara who was one of the winners, the same as you, ah. Mrs. McClay. Uh, and the book will be ideal to have with the leather scrap bag I bought. <laughs> Funny you should say that, Susan. We've got the scrap bag coming up in a minute. So I'm just doing the part so Move the zipper. So just get rid of the clips a minute. So, so everybody's aware of how to put a zip in, I would imagine, from this show. But yeah, so, 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 so the tissue paper just stops it sticking. So yes. yeah, so, so, so. You can tell the machine. I mean, they're brilliant. Our little five fifty five cents my centre, but you can definitely tell it's not sewn through cotton. It's sewn through yeah. leather and a zip yeah. sort of thing. So. So I'm not used to this machine, but okay. So, oh, well, it's done something weird underneath. Oh, that would be nice. Oh, look, I can see your bobbin thread. Is, is it all? Yeah. Yeah. I blame the machine. I'll get, you a, I'll get Hannah <laughs> to get you a cover for the next hour. And then you're gonna, so I say, do get that zip. So it's it's sort of um, gonna be, let's say do it that way around. Yeah. yeah. 
so it's going to be sewn on there as a tube as you I don't know, you can see in the in the book so um you end up with I say your stitched sort of tube of it yeah what um, page are you on sorry so page 58 so there's a nice picture there of of so I cut my threads off Oh yeah. Now, so you don't have to turn the leather over. You've just got the raw edge. Have you just got the raw edge yeah, of the yeah, leather? Yeah, you don't do any. That's the one good thing about working with leather. It doesn't yeah, fray or anything no like fraying. that. So you can yeah. just put the raw edge to the zip and yeah, do it. Yeah. So I say, and then you 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 just end up tearing off your tissue paper. Yeah. Now, so, when you say tissue paper, is it just like what wrapping? Wrap yeah, yeah, in? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing fancy. Yeah, yeah. just I say, um, you're just tearing that off. Um, so yeah, so. Say, Valerie, yeah. it's a longer stitch length, a stitch length three, but you can go t test it out on the leather you've got. But always, 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 when you do the top stitch, make it a bigger stitch. And then, say, you've, you've created that tube. Yeah. Um, and then you're going to add, say, your lining, um, so um, which you're, say, sewing on and then creating a, another pouch. Say, if you're a bag maker, this is, yeah, yeah. this this will come. Yeah. So you end up with two sort of... Um, you end up sort of with that. You end up looking like that, yeah. which I didn't the first time I had to go at this way. Okay. Going, I ended up wrapping the hook going, okay. So I did, get, right. I did get the unpicker out. So so you end up with a sort of that, and then you're sewing, you get your, you obviously you need to insert your belt. Um, yeah. So yeah. You need to and does that, that go in? And then you're putting that in. Inside, into yeah. one of the seams, yeah. yeah. So stitch down both your leather, say with your leather needle, and it do, you can sew your fabric with your leather needle. It doesn't, and then you're gonna stitch um, another side and then half and then turn it through. So it's, right. so leave it's, your zip open. Leave your zip open, otherwise you, yeah. And it's, I say Only because I've done that so many times. <laughs> you so, so, and then you're like, yeah. oh. And because it's a quite small, yeah. Yes. So it, I say it's a bit tight turning it all through because uh -huh. the leather's stiff. So you just have to be sort of patient and yeah. But it's, I say, slightly more complicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but that, if, that's say, what's good about the book. Is it's you, a chat, yeah. If you're starting off, do the pencil case because it's just a, yeah. it's just a piece. Yeah, with and that'll get on. you handling, cutting out. Yes. Um, you know, sort of. Oh, yeah. So getting a feel of, of sort of what you can do with it and have the thickness of it. I say there's so many different variations of thickness, but this is quite. This is really nice. Yeah, and thin. No, this is good quality. Yeah, yeah. Nice and thin. Yeah. So I say this is a little bit more tricky, and you, you, I say it boxes the corners. Whether that's, I'm not sure that's necessary, but it does. It does create a nice, you know. Well, I suppose it depends um, what you're going to put in it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So I say. I, I think the tag needs to be definitely longer from yeah. the description um, and then you can you know if I say great for scraps um, for and some people I know with zips do the fabric at the end so if you want if you're used That's to so doing, little though it's kind of like yeah so I say it's a, and I did shorten a leather a metal zip which I've never done before so um, oh yeah I didn't have a zip that was the right yeah so I had to shorten oh okay it. yeah I think the zips like, we've got I presume are the, the right, right length yeah yeah, yeah. They yeah, because I was going to say shortening a metal zip's no fun. No, I've never done that before. So oh, yeah, it's per <laughs> perfectly the right size. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Because I only there. had a chunk. Mine's quite chunky on this oh, one. Okay. That I, yeah. yeah. So I say, a little bit more complicated. Tissue paper, the leather needle, zipper foot. Yeah. Um, but you end up with, and it's quite, you know, once you've sort of read through, I say, um, make your tag a bit longer. I think if you did want to, so the idea is that you can hang it on you. Yeah. yeah. Can you, we haven't got time to demo the other one. Can you just talk us through the little jewellery? Um, yeah. So this, I think these are really cute. So what page would you know? Oh, you know? so these are uh, nearer the back, uh, 105. 105, there it is. They're cute, these aren't they? Little jewellery baskets, they're called. There they are. Yeah. So, so we, we just um, can just talk us through this one if you wouldn't mind. So I again a little practice run. So this is my version. So it, I did this with press studs, um, but I've used rivets. So if you've got any rivets, um, and then there's no, they're probably easier actually rivets because you're not. Um, but if you wanted, um, you could I say you could travel. You know, people use them as a travel somewhere to put yeah, your, yeah, your, yeah. your keys and your. So it literally is a square. Again, you've got a template, and you probably do need your hole puncher for this one. Yeah, you have to make it 125% uh, percent this yeah. one for actual size. Again, I did, so I did a dinky one. So I did, oh, wow. so, so I did a, so is that, that, is that's that, in that? the blue and that's in the turquoise. Yeah. And, and, but is that in that, is that the size as it was in the book? No, this, this is the size that's in the book. Yeah, so the, that's but, silver, so the silver one you've got. Yet, the, yeah. So that's that size. Yeah, yeah. You've done a bigger, the big one I went, you've got in your hand is the 125. I went, 
I think I did bigger. More? I think I okay. did, yeah. And then the blue ones, that you've taken it even taken yeah. it smaller. So you can Perfect. really have a play with that as long as you've got that middle, um, I say, base. Yeah. Um, so it's hole punches in each corners. And then, I say, um, so again, it's a template that you just, yeah. and then I've partly made this one up. So Bonder Web, your, so you do need your fabric. So again, Bonder Web, your fabric. Oh, you need Bonder Web on leather? Yep. Oh, yep. wow. Yeah. I didn't know yeah. that. Just watch with your iron. Yeah, but, of course. Yeah. yeah. But um, so that was a plain. So you use felt on this, but you could do fabric. But if you yeah. do fabric, you have a raw edge, don't you? Yeah. So yeah. I've, well, and in the book, it doesn't talk about folding under, but right. oh, Be too I, you'd always fold. No. Yeah. You'd always fold under. So, um, so, and then it's just following the pattern of where you want your punch holes, because yes. that, that then influences how you're going to fold it up. Okay. Yeah. So I've, again, I've, I've sort of, um, so I, this is with a the fabric they talk about. Then I had a, brainstorm and thought actually yeah. felt would work better yeah, we've got you, felt on the website because um, then you haven't got any sort of edges and actually for the one i i did originally i've actually done some stitching to make right. it to to really make sure that and have yeah. you are these press studs or these rivets that's a rivet oh, so don't try and open it then, yeah <laughs> yeah so and then it's you literally as a yeah press stud the and then they tuck in so it's quite oh so, uh, yeah, yeah. And that creates your your basket. Paul's riveted, he said. By your, um, I'm <laughs> sorry, everybody at home. Um, right, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Just need to recap the book very quickly. This is such good value. Inspirational projects for you and your home. I want to talk to you about, do you think, if we've got this scrap bag here, right, you could make quite a few of these projects. Yeah. If you didn't want to buy the bundles and you've got, you might already have press studs at home, you might already have zips at home, you might not want to buy our bundles. In the book is nine ninety nine. First of all, there it is. I've, they've gone out, right? Then this is two kilos, I think. Don't we sell it by the kilo? Now yours will be all different colours. But what I need to tell you is, I'm not going to open this one. You should see the sizes of some of these scraps. Don't be thinking, oh, it's only going to have little scrappy little ends of. If there are decent sizes. You can make wallets. You can make all sorts of things out of the pieces that are in here. I can't open the bag. The bag's sealed up. Yeah, loads there. You get two kilos of assorted... Now, you get all different colours as well. There's browns, there's blacks, there's white. But as I say, there's reds in this one, but I can't guarantee what you're going to get in yours. There's an image of one we opened, £34. But look at the size of the pieces. It's not scraps, as you're thinking, little ends of. There are decent, decent sizes in there. £34.99. Buy the book. That No, that doesn't take you up enough, Hannah. So Hannah's saying, get, buy this, get the book, and then maybe buy some leather needles or an awl or the whole, this, this, uh, this. It's an essential piece of any any sewer's kit. I, I have these, uh, th this morning, we used it to, to put another hole in Paul's belt because he's losing so much weight. So anything like that, build it up to your 50 pounds, then you can do your, um... okay, I've literally just shown you this and a quarter of the stock's gone already and had lots, lots. Yeah, the picture on the web, uh, do you know what? I'm not supposed to, but look, look at the size of these pieces. You're getting them. Yeah, zoom out a little Lovely. bit, Paul. Right, so obviously there are some that are scraps that you use. But look, look at the size of some of these pieces in here. Look. Well, that doesn't want to be working on that one. But look, you could easily get, you know what I mean? They're, they are decent sized pieces that you can get lots and lots out of. Let's go for the brown one there. You see what I mean? <laughs> look. Look, 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 look at the size of that piece there. The value, the value, 34 99 for two kilos. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, <laughs> buy me. Uh, Hannah's got something, they're on one today. They're, I do apologise, but they are on one today. I'll have to wrap that up properly in, when we pack up That's later. That's fantastic. Huh? That's fantastic. But for 34 99 yeah. and yeah. All the amount you could make. Yeah. All these, yeah. Um, remember the money off code. Get fifty pounds in your basket and check out. So what we're talking about. You save five pounds if you put spring five in your basket. Um, so if you bought this pack of leather and the book and then a few other bits and bobs, maybe the early birds and like that, make it up to fifty pounds. Can you do what? That was going to be my next question. Could you, if you wanted to, that that one's going to be big enough now. I've picked up. Oh no. Say you wanted to make that to that. Could you patch another piece of leather onto there? Mm. 
controversial. You're doubling your thick. What? How would you? Well, I, what, I, I this, in my brain, this is what mm. I would do. I'd butt two pieces of leather up together and I'd zigzag mm. over them. I wouldn't do a seam. Yeah. But so would that be a weak seeing... point if I did that? You have to do a tight, as long as you did a tight stitch. Yeah. 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 But yes, exactly. Also, yeah. a lot of the projects in this book, that's quite a big piece of leather, isn't it? A lot of the projects in this book, mm. only, if you think about this one here, look, you see that? You could easily cut that out of there, couldn't you? Beautiful. Yeah. Paul wants some leather disco pants when we can go <laughs> clubbing again. They'll be a bit sweaty, I think, Paul. Right. And all these are... Oh, look, there. yes, look, now this is now something else out of the book, very quickly, look. That was the scarf belt buckle that I said was lovely. Yeah. You could easily get that <clears throat> out of uh, scraps of yeah. leather, couldn't you? Yeah. And what else? We had a tassel, there? we had a tassel conversation. So yeah, tassel, So if anybody Hannah. loves their, yeah, their bags with a tassel. Okay, Susan just messaged mm -hmm. in very quickly. She said, you could lace two together. Oh, Susan. Oh, lacing, thought, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. What's that there? Uh, that's a little brooch. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah. Again, I say little wallets. So I've hand stitched some of credit these. Card wallets, yeah. And even gold, covered buttons. A covered leather button. If you've got really thin, like glove leather. Yeah. That's, that's so and they go in the little. They go in the normal. Yeah, in the yeah. Normal. I use the yeah, yeah gadget. And then I was sort of playing around. So braiding. So handles for yeah, bags or yeah. yeah or so. hairband for Hannah's hair to control all of Hannah's hair. And I did that. I brought that was my Christmas brooch. So that's leather. Um, origami. So uh, yeah, you can oh, get wow. you, yeah a little key rings oh, look, and they're gorgeous, yeah. yeah. So that was again some hand block printing I did and yeah. So but, fantastic. Uh, so yeah, for scraps. Yeah, yeah, the scraps do, come in do, really, really do, good value. Do lots. lots and lots yeah, of that. Yeah. Um, so you're back in an hour. <clears throat> now you're going to be doing dressmaking in now. Dressmaking. Yeah. It's here. I will show you a picture of it. There it is. Now before you say anything, look at the, the little satchel across the back. So you've made, that's one of the projects in the book as well. In the book. Well, but you've used the leather from this hour. Let's say you could use yep. leather to make a strap for the bag, which is also in the book. Now the book that that dress comes from, that shift comes from, sold out last time we had it. Flew out, flew out, flew out. It's a gorgeous book. So it's on pre-order if you want to go and have a look at it now, but we will have it in an hour's time. Oh, quarter of the stock of the, of, uh, la, la, quarter of the stock of the book has already gone on pre-order. Right, do you want me to do you want me to do any um, recapping? Everything is on the website. I've uh, got to go for a break. Uh, I'll be back after the after the break. Um, oh, I know, literary fabric, literary fabric. Well, it's a bit literal that. I'll see you in three. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hi, my name's Jules Mayouf and I'm really excited to be a guest designer on Sewing Street. Okay, I got into sewing through my grandma. I used to sit and watch her. Um, she was a dressmaker. And I started off making toys and then I was dressmaking myself. And from then I've done homeware and children's wear and all sorts of different things in between. Um, I would say my top tip is to be kind to yourself. It's only fabric at the end of the day. And if things do go wrong, then you've always got your quick on pick. My claim to fame is that in 2012, I was a VIP driver with the Olympics and I met some really interesting people who were very nice. And I'm hoping that I'll meet some very interesting and nice people on Sewing Street too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. 
For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Um, the break's over and I've got two really important questions I need to ask Hannah, but don't worry, doesn't matter. We'll get up, I'll get there when we get there. No, apart from the fact you love me, apart from that. Right, okay, uh, this, is, this hour is called Literary Fabric. I'm not 100% sure why. Oh, there you go. We did that. Yeah, I, see, I, I, thought, she, I thought she was saying Liberty. In my brain this morning, every time she said literary, I was trying to say, oh, she means liberty. I've got a new liberty range, got a new liberty range. It's called the literary range, but I thought she, it's literally called the literature, well, let's have a look. Literary range from Camelot Studios. I thought she kept saying you've got a new liberty range. Sorry, Hannah. So this is it, this is it, this is it. So I've also got, can I just point out, I've also got these coming up in this hour. I know. I've got these, and I've got playing cards, and I've got some. They're solids. Now, this is Habitat 1984, right? Let's go with the cards later on. But in, in Habitat in 1984, they used to sell furniture that was black wood with red and white, with red and white. Uh, I, know it's, I know it's a popular bundle, but it's very bachelor pad 1984. Ask me how I know. There it goes, goes with the man cave fabric of the deck of cards. Right, I'm just making a bit of space here, sorry. I'll be with you in a minute. Right, come on, let's do this new range of fabric. Mega bundle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
that right? Five meters, 69 pounds and 89 pounds. Oh, buy this if, you're not used to, if you've not used the code so far, buy this and get five pounds off. All you need to do is have 50 pounds worth of goodies in your basket or more. Put the code SPRING5 in and you'll get five pounds off just for today, just because we've had to miss an hour's sleep. Actually, 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 how do you turn on the, because how do I change this then? Because I've lost an hour, so what hour am I supposed to be, what? Oh, do you know it's 10 o'clock and I'm not even at nine o'clock yet? Oh, they spoke yesterday, Hannah, we, Hannah's still on 7 a.m. on hers. Right, okay, have a look at these, right? This is the mega bundle. You will be able to buy all of these by the half meter. So what have we got here? We have got books. We've got more books. We've got typewriters. We've got typewriters. Shush, I'm reading. Keep calm and read on. Oh, these are nice. Keep calm and read on. Oh, that's the same in the difficult. Oh, love that. Love, love, love that. Bookshelves in the t three different colours. So if you get the mega bundle, you get half a meter of each of the fabrics. We will be able to bring you all of these fabrics by the half meter in a minute. So if you buy two bundles, they don't come joined together. You get two halves, two halves, two halves, two halves, two halves. Do you know what I mean? So it's all... Oh yeah, and just think next time we'll have the five pound off. Mm hmm uh -huh. Just saying, just saying. Have a look at those, right? Have a quick look at those. Right, hang on. Hi, John. If I buy the two and a half tunic bundle, does the pattern come with it? No, I think in the next hour, to, that's in the next hour, Teresa, the book will be separate. So it's, it's either two, you buy the book and then the, 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 bun, the fabrics are in two and a half meter bundles or you can buy them by the half meter. So don't check out your book yet, uh, Teresa, in case you want to get the... Right, okay, that's the next hour though. That's my next hour. This, this is this hour. What was dramatic? Oh, Lorraine says, morning. Definitely missed that hour. I bet you did, John. Well, yeah. I think it'll hit me tomorrow because I was, you know, your adrenaline, you go to bed, you've got to get up for work and everything like that. I think it'll be tomorrow. And today, after I finish here, we've got to pack up. I've got to uh, collect, I've got to do my Facebook Live this afternoon, collect a birthday cake, deliver a birthday cake, and then, and then go for a walk with Dulcie. Because it'll be light till about 10 o'clock tonight, won't it? <coughs> Excuse me. Right, come on, let's do these by the half metre then. Typewriters first then, okay. Got them in the two, I've got them on the cream or on the grey. Cream first. It's a kind of... Um, I don't want to say dirty cream, that sounds not right. Do you know what I mean? It's not a... No. Met him at a party, but never worked with him. Right, here we go. So this is 6 99 for half a metre. This is literary correction, typewriters on cream. So the typewriter... It's making my eyes go a bit funny. And they're letters, you see. They're the, 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 the keys. Well, I couldn't decide if they were the keys or in the olden days when you're typewriter like that, when you pressed it, can I just do this? When you pressed the button, the thing went like that and it had the little letter on the end there, didn't it? There was no computer screen. And then you, just, you had to do this, right? You type like this, Hannah, and then you'd have to go back to the beginning. And then my mum had one of the first golf ball um, typewriters, so the, the carriage didn't move. There was a golf ball inside that went like that. And then you pressed a button and it just went like, like that. It was brilliant. It was, it was bright red. I remember it was bright red. Anyway, 6 dollars for half a meter. 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable. It's nice, isn't it? What are you going to make out of it? That's what I want to know. Paul says a bag. Now, um, I need to tell you, it's more like a poplin than it is a uh, quilting cotton. You can still quilt with it, you can still make things with it, but, but it's a slightly finer fabric. Notepad cover, Paul would make. Tablet cover, make it a bit retro, because tablets are retro, aren't they? Storage, Hannah says. Okay, then it comes with the black background.
Yeah, the one with black on the background has already been flying out on pre-order. Uh, yeah, I like that one. I like that one as well. I'd love to know what you're going to make, though. Let me know what you're going to make. Six ninety nine. So it's a black background, and you've got lilac and cherry blossom pink typewriters on this one. All talking about cherry. We've got um, we've got the cherry mannequin coming up in the last hour. Oh, that's nice. Six ninety nine. Gorgeous, isn't it? Right? Okay. Oh, message from Ruth. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got to lean forward. Uh, good morning, John. It meant you got really strong pinkies with the old manual typewriters. Thanks for another fun morning from Ruth. Oh, you're welcome, Ruth. Yeah, what, you, you didn't do the thing with your little finger, did you? Yeah, you used your little finger on your... Because you did that, didn't you? You didn't look at the keyboard. You just went like that. But in fact, at Brown to Chester... Now, um, <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, right? The, the, the main, when I first started working at Browns Chester, it was 1976, the main lady in the typing pool was called Kitty, and Kitty was completely blind. But she typed up all the letters. And the management used to, um, you know, record saying, oh, dear Mr. Scott, no, you can't have a job at Browns Chester. Kitty would type it up from the sound, and, that, and she was such a perfect touch typist that she didn't need to be able to look at it because she'd get it right every time. Sylvia, oh, about typewriters, uh, you brought a memory back. I had one of those golf ball typewriters from Sylvia in Cheshire. Sylvia, my mum was in Cheshire with hers at Brown to Chester. That's where she had hers at Brown to Chester, when, when she was Mr. Rossbottom's personal assistant. <laughs> That's his name, Alec Rossbottom. He, he got, okay, look up Brown to Chester, look up all the uh, managing directors and you'll see Alec Rossbottom there. You spell it Ross Botham. That's how you spell it. Uh, if you drop one of those golf ball heads, they used to shatter in all directions and you'd be picking up pizza typewriter face forever. Who's that one from? Mo! Oh, hello, Mo. How are you, my love? What do you know about typing? You're a champion ice skater. Right, which one do you want to go to next? What are you eating? What are you eating? She's already eaten all the chocolate, right? All the chocolate. We didn't get any chocolate this morning. She just came in, she went, I finished all the chocolate. Yeah, I was looking forward to my piece of chocolate today as well, but never mind. Because I didn't have any last night because I didn't want to have my gastric reflux, you see. Okay, watch, watch one. Oh, yeah, the bookshelves, we love these. Come in three colours. <coughs> got the white, the black and the blue. <coughs> Paul's got a favourite already. Paul's favourite is the blue. There's a very famous bookshelf quilt out there, isn't there? Design out there. Right. Oh, this is nice. This is lovely. That, that name definitely sounds like an episode of Are You Being Served, Not Browns, Chester. I just asked my 14-year-old if he knew what a typewriter was. I learned to touch type on a manual typewriter to the William Tell Overture. Blimey. I remember the black and fine red white stripes, but I can't remember the designer who made it popular. And I've got one of those typewriters in the loft in cream. I practiced on those when I was at legal secretary college. And then Anna saying that says the best thing about the golf ball typewriters was that you could change the fault by putting in a different ball. You could, you could. Anyway, look at this, look at this, look at this. Loads of this in baskets. Right, well, let's see what we've got on the shelves. Right, let's start here. Picture frame, books, cat, pineapple. Oh, no, vase. Where's the... You keep, Paul keeps saying there's a tank. Next to the timer. Timer there. Where's the tank? Where's the... Hang on. Timer. Where... That? There's the timer. It's books with a little cup on the top. 
Look, I love the, the sweetheart. I, I saw the camera there. There's the camera. <coughs> Keep looking at that. I'm just going to take a slurp of my water. Okay, that's done a couple of hours. <coughs> uh, how much has this gone, Hannity? A quarter of the stock has gone. Already it's brand new this morning. It's what? Nice border, yeah. Make a nice dress as well. I think you make that. If you're a school librarian, because the school librarians are also slightly quirky, aren't they? <coughs> right, black or white next. Fussy cutting, be good for fussy cutting. There you go. What are you eating, Paul? Oh, I thought you said this cheese. Or the tea. It's um, like a washed out black in the background. And then it's, oh, I love that the plant's a different colour on this one. Because it was black on the last one, you wouldn't see it, would you? Cat's the same colour. Yeah. Ish. No, it is, it is the same colour. Um, I tell you what about the black one, right? It looks like the picture's slightly like, like blurred. This is quite sharp on the blue, and it looks a little bit blurred on this one. Maybe? Oh, yeah, maybe, because they use grey as the outline, because it... Well, except the outline colour on that one is grey. No, they've used that grey on the other two, but because of the black background, I think that's what it is. My mum's got a really old typewriter. It was pre-war. I'd play on it as a kid. Oh, crikey, Lulu. Okay, moving on. So is next weekend Easter then? <coughs> Must be, mustn't it? Yeah, which day's chin? Because I've got to remember to bring my shirt. On the Sunday. I wonder what that noise was. Okay. Okay, it is on the white. Do we call it white? Hang on. Oh, multi. We call that one multi for some reason. No. Yeah, that vase does look like a pineapple. No, that doesn't look like a tank anymore, Paul, that one. It's just books on the side. Uh, great Sunday, fab buys and all our yesterdays chat with John. Loving it, Karen in Bristol. All our yesterdays. Oh, do you remember that? No, Tracy thinks I've lost it because the clock's changed. Oh, no. Well, yesterday, I pleased her because she wanted to be spread eagled over our bed yesterday, didn't she? Was that yesterday or the day before? Yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Hannah's asking for a white round and did it last night and she's gone off me now. No, because I can't go into people's houses. Yeah. At 6 99 for half a metre, you can buy as much as or little as you want, as long as it's in half metre increments. My mum bought me a second-hand typewriter for my sixth birthday. Needless to say, I didn't use it. <laughs> oh, I think this is lovely, this fabric. I'm with you on that one, Paul. <laughs> okay, icons. <laughs> You're not on here, Paul. Dark one first. You always bring magic into our lives, Paul, but we're not going to tell you that every week, are we? Oh, he's only here for four days. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it's, no, it's multi directional, just so you know. Uh, so many books, so little time. Books are magic. Uh, is, oh, hang on, is it multidirectional? I might take that back. No, I take it back, I take it back. It, why, hang on, these are the right way up. That's the right way up. Pardon? 
Oh, yeah, that's upside down. Reading is reality. That's an unusual one, isn't it? And then that one's just got flowers growing out of it. There's no tank on this one, Paul. What do we, what do we call this one? Uh, books are magic. On charcoal, they've called this one. My dad bought a typewriter in the 1960s. He's the fa he was the fastest two-finger typist in West Yorkshire. Aww. And Sharon says, my mum had a typewriter. Her dad bought her, and I used to love using it. There's something about old-fashioned typewriters, aren't there? There's something about them. Shouldn't you be packing boxes, Sharon? 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 <laughs> Shouldn't you be packing boxes? She's moving. She's moving. I don't know where she's moving to, but I'm sure it's still in Yorkshire. Sharon, where are you moving to? You don't have to give us the full address, obviously. It's not, and it's not, it's not Shazza, um, Hannah's mum, no. They don't need to tell you where they're moving to because you've got your own home now. She doesn't even know her mum and dad's address. Right, I've got the same fabric now. Work reading is magic in white. No, exactly. So that's not your house anymore. So if they moved, it wouldn't matter. 6 99 Well, no, you wouldn't ever have to... No, Hannah, because your dad always comes to collect you. She said, well, I have to go and visit them. No, he just... Come, well, oh, I'd like to come and visit you. Come and get me tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Um, yeah, but they still pick you up at the train station. Six ninety nine. Oh, hang on. Oh, she's going to Hemsworth in Wakefield. Nice. Now, at Hemsworth, why do I know that? Because you know I went to Bretton Hall College in West Bretton and Wakefield was our nearest... Well, we were halfway between Wakefield and Barnsley. Um, why does that remind... Well, oh, no, I'm thinking of... Is it El What's the one with the big tower with the red light on the top? Elm Elmsley. Elm... No, anyway... Six nine nine. Hannah knows Barnsley because she had a ro romantic liaison there. Yeah. Six ninety nine for half an hour. Half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to go and go to bed. It's not six ninety nine for <laughs> half an hour. <laughs> oh dear. Right, the blue shelves, over half the stock of that's gone. Not half an hour. Right, now this one, I've got this one in three different colourways, and they all look totally and utterly different. Look. Our director's just told us to shush. Oh, Emily Moore. That's what, hang on, am I reading that right? Emily Moore Mask, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Yeah, shush. Right, here we go. One with the black, oh, it'll be charcoal, because all the others have been charcoal, haven't they? Oh, this is multi now, this one. This one's called multi. So has this got directions? Hang on. Uh, no, because the plant pot's upside down, so it's multi-directional. Keep calm and read on. I'd rather be in Reading. No, that's not what it says. I'd, <laughs> I'd rather be, that's not in, it's a book. I'd rather be reading. Sorry, my, wake, my weekend is all booked. That's a clever one. Shush, I'm reading. Oh, okay, Hemsworth is on the Barnsley, West Yorkshire border. Maybe I passed through that on my bus when I used to go to Barnsley because when South Yorkshire buses used to be subsidised. So it was much cheaper to go to Barnsley than it was to Wakefield. What? Yeah. Paul has sent a message in. Hi, John. Just read all about you. Oh, and what a wonderful and exciting career you've had. What happened? No, she didn't say that. So thank you. Love company. So lucky to have you sharing it with us from Pauline. Oh, where are you? Where's Pauline from? She hasn't told where she's from. Oh, so, oh, where, where have you been reading it then? 
<laughs> to, say, to, say, to say career I had. <coughs> you're right there. Oh, you're so right there. If I'd known all those years ago, I'd have concentrated. Uh, you think, all right, do you mean Emily Moore? Yes, I do, Amanda. Samantha's saying that's a good price. Uh, the book material make a good tie for a teacher. Oh, yeah, you'd have to cut it on the bias, though, don't forget. Trudy says you're getting flustered, John. Yesterday is still on your mind. Mauritius, Paula. Paula, Jane in Mauritius. Right, when am I coming to visit? Oh, and where have you been reading? I want to know where you've been reading about me because different people say different things. The John Scott Museum. Or don't forget, don't forget, there's the very famous rugby player called John Scott. That's not me. There's the very famous organist who played at the Royal Wedding. That's not me. Just one. There's a John Scott Medical Centre in North London. That's not me, no. There's a, what, a cow farmer in... Oh, there's a cow farmer in Kansas called Hannah McCabe. And there's a country music artist called Paul Evans. That's nice. Right, which one next? Lilac. There you go. It's pretty, that one, isn't it? Tom Hanks collects old-fashioned typewriters and has written a whole book using them. Isn't that funny? Because earlier Hannah said to me, if I ever worked with Tom Hanks, and I haven't, I never worked with Tom Hanks, but how weird that you should say that and then someone else has just mentioned that. Maria. Oh, you said he collects typewriters. Oh, I didn't hear that bit. Oh, I didn't hear that bit. I was just reminiscing about the career that I had when I worked in films, when I had a lovely career. Obviously. I'm very big in Dubai as well, apparently. Well, only because, right, you know I do the, I, well, I did, we're finished now, the John Scott Show. Um, and it was a, well, no, hang on, no, no, we did it here. And it's an internet-only, it was an internet-only subscription-based show, right? But every week we'd get a, a, a printout, or not printout, a thing on the screen of who'd watched, right? And every week about 500 people in Dubai watched my show. They hadn't paid for it. Right? But, but basically, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> it could be that. But apparently what, they, what people do is they go around looking at the internet, pick up, and, and uh, it was on telly there. It was on normal telly. It was like, it's on normal telly in Dubai. Not on the internet. It was on telly in Dubai. At, yeah. Anyway, let's buy this. Oh, no. Is this gonna, am I going to walk off now? Oh, I could do a, what was he called? What's the GMB presenter? Piers Morgan. Am I going to do a Piers Morgan? I love it when you laugh and smile because you have a lucky gap between your teeth as I have. Right, I'm not offended by that at all. Hannah thought I'd be offended by that. Do you know what, right, when I was 13, because, oh, I, I will do the fabric in a second. My older brother and I didn't have milk teeth, right? So these two teeth at the front here are the only two that got replaced by a tooth fairy, right? That's all. All the rest are the ones I was born with. So, of course, when you get to the age of 10, your mouth is completely full of teeth, right? So this shows how precocious I was. I had to go to the dentist and I had to have four teeth taken out. And within days, I got the lucky gap, right? <laughs> right? And I went back to the dentist at like, as like a 12-year-old going, you've ruined my modelling career. <laughs> I wasn't a model or anything. I don't know where it kept. My mum was mortified. My mum was just like, what are you saying? <laughs> yeah, I know. Where did that come from? Where did that come from? Anyway, also, just I'll finish the story. These two teeth here came out back to front. So I had the back of the tooth facing that way. So I had to wear a brace that turned them round slowly like that. So at one point, they were facing sideways like that. And they carried on round like that, yeah. Well, who, who were we talking? Who was I talking to the other day whose child had three sets? Where was I? No, no, that's what I said. I said, well, they're a shark, right? But they had three sets, so they had to have the middle ones take. Oh, now, who was I talking to? Anyway, it doesn't matter. No, it wasn't in a dream. Uh, good morning, says Carol. Good morning, Carol. Yeah, good morning, all. Sorry. Oh, uh, oh Okay. Paul's feeling very sensitive today. 
This is multi, isn't it? Oh, this one's just called white. This one's called on white. Okay. Rather be reading on white. It's on all of them. That's been on all of them. Yeah. Oh, I did. I did see this one. Drink tea and read books. Oh, that's nice. A little cushion for your library corner of your house. Hannah doesn't read, she listens to audio books. Paul just looks at the pictures. Make a Kindle cover. I think, and now I think, you know what I think, is um, make a cushion, but have it so that, didn't we do a cushion, oh, it might have been at the same quarter, where it sat up and you could put your book on it and you could sit and read, so it could be a cushion, but you could also put your book on it and sit in your bed, when you're in bed, and sit with your book or your magazine on it. Like a grown-up version, like a game, because we all need it. Claire says, I had a brace for five years. The new teas were, were behind the wrong milk teas. Oh, no. Margaret said, Margaret says, I think it was Terry Thomas who had the same gap in his teeth. Yeah, his gap was enormous. He said he'd been told that he would always do well, but would have to work hard all his life and be popular, but would never have the stardom he desired. Oh, that's me. That's me all over, isn't it? I'd do well, but would have to work hard all my life. I'd be popular and would never have the stardom I desire. <laughs> yeah, Elliot will clip that bit now and put it in an advert. Anyway, I'll go back to the Mega Bundle because that's everything. Mega Bundle. Right, you need to be careful. If you're buying the, the bookshelf fabric, you need to be careful, especially if you're buying it in the blue. So that means once that's gone, we can't make this mega bundle again. Oh, hang on. Lorraine's saying you could make a children's book cushion. That's what I was saying, Lorraine, as well. Children's book cushion or a grown-up version. So this, 69 89 Now, what projects should we make at this? Because you know, yesterday we were doing, we were saying with the Riley Blake, what quilt shall we make? I'm not sure that it's going to be a quilt. I think it's more going to be more like homeware. Oh. Oh, yeah, very simple square patchwork. Do you have over your lap while you're reading your book? Yeah. Snuggle quilt. Oh, yeah, with fleece on the back. Yeah, that'd be nice. Not background, Annie. Don't want fleece background. <laughs> And if you buy it today, you get five pounds off. Just put the code in, spring five. It's only for today, only till midnight. Well, 11.59 if I'm precise tonight. Thank you, Paul. Right, now, now, now. Can I just say I adore, I adore these fabrics. Now, th this isn't a mega bundle, is it? Oh, is it? Oh, there is! Oh, buy this mega bundle. Yep. Yeah. 44.89 Ink Unleashed. Now, th that's what. Oh, look. I might. Well, Claudio Lugley's done a shirt a bit like that, hasn't it? In fact, somebody else has a shirt with all the Pantone numbers on it and everything. That's a bit like Cave Paint Pots, isn't it? Um, we had another one like that, didn't we? Squiggle. And look at this one. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so, three metres of fabric for 44 89 Now, what I would do is I'd buy that mega bundle and you just, you just need to spend, what is it, seven pounds more to take you over the 50 pounds, don't you? And then you'll get your five pounds off. Yeah, you get some wadding on the website, pair of scissors on the website. Um, what have I got coming up, uh, the book in the next hour. A 320 sewing machine. Right, now, what I need to say to you is Clive, you know Clive Dressmaker, he is on with a brand new book. Is it the week? Uh, must be next weekend. 
Is it Saturday? Is it on next Saturday? Where are we today? What date is it today? Right, Clive is on next Saturday. He's making a new dress from, a, a, a dress, sorry, a, making a lovely shift dress from a new book, brand new book. So you can't see the book until next Saturday, right? Right, now the scheduling department said to me, what fabric would you use? And one of the fabric ranges, I said, I'd never seen this range before. I said, oh, you've got to use something from Ink Unleashed, right? Now, is it here, the one he's using? Is it? That one, right, he's got this one, but I'm just thinking, I was, think, I was thinking of these, you see, these are the ones I was thinking of, the colourful ones here, they're the ones I was thinking of. It will be still stylish in the squiggle one, but write down the codes of these, unless they're gonna sell out. I mean, I've got all of these by the half metre. Obviously, don't buy the mega bundle for a dress. Do not buy the mega bundle if you're just making a dress, because you'll have patches, it'll be patched. Yeah, let's, uh, I'll put it back in order, so I'll do this one first. This is the one I really wanted them to pick to do the dress. I think this is lovely. Well, I'm seeing a shirt, but yeah, home interior things would be lovely, wouldn't they? Curtains, blind. Oh, what did you say? Yeah, beautiful colour. Well, it looks like you've, you've got bought those match pots or other, others are available and just tried all the different colours on your wall. There's some lovely colours in there. Oh, I've changed my mind about the orange front door. I'm having a berry, wild berry front door now, yeah, and back door. Right, so this is £7.49. It's called uh, Samples, this one's called. Oh no, this is gonna be fun. It's 44 inches wide. Oh, it's Michael Miller. It's Michael Miller, look, 44 inches wide. Michael Miller, I thought Ink Unleashed was the name of the company. I didn't realise that was the name of the, because uh, it doesn't say anywhere on the website that it's Michael Miller. That, what, what? Oh, Hannah calls it, oh, you know what it's actually called? Simple Brush. That's what it's called, Simple Brush. I'd call it Simple Brush Strokes. But can you imagine that, like, Karen in Wigan, um, look at that as a skirt. Oh, Paul's saying, make an apron, oh, decode it, it could be your art apron. Very nice, that's lovely, I love that. Very good. Also, Michael Miller fabrics are normally more expensive than that, aren't they? Uh, anyone else answer the telly and say, it's a Sunday? Why have you asked that, Anna, saying that? He's actually on Saturday, he's on Saturday. It's Sunday today, but Clive's on on a Saturday. Next Saturday. Right, next one. I'll do your favourite next. Well, that, no. Oh, uh-oh. Nothing. No, it's got, this, this one's got a label on. Uh, Hannah would make this at the backing of a quilt. Do you know what I'd do? I'd, I'd buy, like, a chartreuse and patch it. You know what I mean? Not just patch this. Hannah likes solid block colours on the fronts of quilts. Okay, now, so we've called this spots. It's called Beautiful Palette, this one. Lovely, isn't it? The thing is, it's not the most difficult fabric to design, is it? And yet it's so effective. Oh, yeah, Derek says these, all these fabrics are John Scott shirts, aren't they just? Well, Lowe bought me a shirt very much like this with squares on in different colours. I'll, oh, I'm not in tomorrow. I was going to say I'll wear it tomorrow. I'm not in tomorrow. Rebecca Reed's on your screens tomorrow. Lovely. Oh, that is lovely. I'll come back, I'll come back and re redo it. I'm just aware of the time, that's all. Right, what do you call this one? We've called it Offset Stripes. The designer has called it Candy. I want candy. I don't know who sang that. Was it um, the girl with the, um, 
shaved head and the ponytail. Anyway. Oh, hang on. Alison Marion, that says that fabric looks so sea salt. Yes, thank you, Alison. We can't say that. That's a different brand. Loving these Michael Miller fabrics, says Tim. Oh, no. I'm on with um, Alison Marion, Marion Lance and Mama Bebe on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, in the book we've got in the next hour. Oh, and I found the necklace earlier. I'll go and find it in the break. Right, the book that we've got in the next hour, Alice, Marion, Alice, and Alison Marion was on with it the first time. She's had it for years. She brought her whole wardrobe in. Do you remember everything from the book we had hanging on the set and everything? Seven pounds and 49 pence. Yeah, some of the, some of the patterns in there would look, and some of the, the dresses in there would look lovely in these fabrics. Oh, I thought you were going to... Oh, I thought... Anna's just gone, oh, just say no, John. Vix. And I was like, oh. and she's nearly done the puzzle. Oh, have you? Oh. You, you're not supposed to tell me that then. Because I'll then go, oh, she's got... There's a password that Vicky's going to message Paul or Hannah if she's going to have the baby. And that's the password to let us know, rather than me to messaging saying, I'm having my baby. We've got a, a password. Now, that might not be your first thought. When it starts arriving, Vic, so don't think you'll be thinking, oh, I must just text Hannah and Paul. Oh, no. They've cut this one off. I've got no name for this one. We'll go with that multi-stripes. That won't be it. It's lovely, isn't it? Annabelle, it was. Who said that? So it was Annabella. And, and she was a punk, wasn't she? She also did the other one. A bit shouty, but singy. No, that's not, no. And no, the one that, one that she did was before I Want Kenty, and it was like Run With The Wolves or something like that. You might be too young, you two, to know. Anyway. Problem. Oh, I love these fabrics. I love these fabrics. This is the one you now there won't be much of this one available today. This is the one they're making Clive's dress out of. They're all shirt, they're all perfect shirt fabrics, these. So, uh, <laughs> look what they've called this one. <laughs> Has Ebra never changed its spots? Has it? I'm sorry, a zebra spots. I've ne I watch. I watch the Secret Life of the Zoo. Even they have. They haven't got spotty zebras. There's nothing wrong. I'm not picking on spotty zebras. I just don't think they exist. Okay, shall I tell you what it's called? Mini squares. Yeah, very, I can see where they got muddled up. Yeah, I can see where they got muddled up. Go wild in the country. That was it. Thank you. Who just said that one? Christine, go wild in the country. Yeah, it was that one. Oh, you're brilliant, you lot. I wish I'd had you in my exams. That would have been handy. No, no, no. But it's not just pop music. Anyway, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. <laughs> I didn't have viewers when I was 16. I did it all by myself. <laughs> my mum degree had been critical. <laughs> Ruined. Ruined. I haven't got a name for this one, I'm afraid. What we called it, spots. <laughs> yeah, they said for spots. Frog spawn. I think that's what it is. No? Okay. Oh, they've got two lovely camels at the... um. Chester Zoo, and they're just so, they, they just love each other so much, it's just brilliant. Well, no, because they've got big eyeballs. I was thinking they've got big eyeballs, and they look at each other, don't they, go? Oh, we've not mentioned that bit. Apparently they have an extra eyelid to stop the sand going in their eyes. I know there are some, some um, underwater creatures have their eyelids to see through, aren't they, so they can shut their eyes while they swim. Oh, now this is, uh, Hannah's um, 
pearl of wisdom this morning. Take a camel on a route and it will remember that route. Seven pounds and 49 pence. No, that's a horse pull. <laughs> no, the saying isn't you can lead a camel to water, it's lead a horse to water. Okay, where am I going now? Go, going to the card fabric now. So this is called man cave fabric, this. There were, there were lots of them. There was billiards, there was... Uh, what were the other ones you had? It was... Um, it must have been a Monday because Rebecca Reed did them. Oh, Kat did it. Did she not pull? Oh, there we go. So this is the only one I've got available today. Um, deck of cards on black. But the, the actual fabric is called Man Cave. Man Cave in Cards. It hasn't got all the cards on there, surely. Let's see. King of Clubs, King of Diamonds, King of... No, there's no King of Hearts. Oh, well. They've got two kings there. Then they've got Queen of Spades. Must be another queen out here somewhere. They, oh, that's Queen of Spades. <laughs> there isn't one. No, Queen of Spades. Then we're going to Jack. <laughs> We call the male camel grumpy as he chases the donkeys in the same enclosure. Oh, I thought you had a camel then, Jackie. No, there's no male dunk, there's no male um, camel in there in Chester Zoo now. It's just two ladies. They're called Miley and oh, and they've just introduced a little uh, an 18 year old. No, not 18 year, 18 month old little girl into them. So it's three girls now. No boys. There's no boys there, um, Jackie. Unless I'm behind. I'm behind on the. Okay, let me move on. But they do live with the donkeys. You're right. They they live some sort of weird donkeys that pick on them. Because when the little girl arrived, they were all picking on them. And my Lee, who hadn't liked the other one, then started picking on the donkeys. Oh, I like the one with the red background best. Yeah. So I wonder what you're going to make out of this. Dress up for Alice in Wonderland. Because <laughs> most men, that's what most men want to do, isn't it, Hannah? Well, if you did a tie, you'd have to do it on the bias like that. Back of a waistcoat, Paul's saying. Back of a quilt. Now, there's a bundle that goes with this, which I called Habitat 1984. Very popular, though, this bundle. Red, white, and black. £10.49, half metre of each. <laughs> Deck of cards, fabric bundle. So you've got black and white. And what red's that one, then? Red, it's called red. Oh, he must have gone now. No little one when we went last year. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, well, I don't know when. The, no, actually, no, actually, um, we might be behind you because I don't know what date the, the show is that I'm watching. There might be a boy introduced because um, this week that I watched it, there's the two old late, the two old ladies who love each other. Then one of them was very poorly and it was so lovely to, that to, um, you know, make it, make it go to sleep, dart it and make it go to sleep. And they did an operation on it. And the other one was all stressing because she could see that her friend was being operated on. Anyway, they were fine and they had a nice time together. And then they introduced the young one. Yes, yes. No. <laughs> they, <coughs> they do that with the little animals and the big animals, they do it with the gun. I'd be good at that. <coughs> <laughs> right, Derek says that's definitely Habitat. There you go. Definitely Habitat 1980s. My, uh, shush, 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 my kitchen was wallpapered in those colours. And then card table, uh, card table cover 
for, pe for people who give games night, but I think it might confuse them. No, no, you, oh yes, you couldn't have, you'd have to have to be a cover that came off and you had your green bays underneath. <laughs> when Anna said, no, no, when she was working as a waitress in a cocktail bar, that much is true, even then, much by the place, either with or without you, she'd make a cocktail dress, I thought. Yeah. Or you could be the lady that's walking around with the... What's that? <laughs> what do you call it when they have a cardboard like that? They go, you can't call it that because it can be boys as well now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, can we move on? This is all get too much. Oh no, I've still got ten minutes. <laughs> Come on, calm, 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 calm. Also, Paul, don't shout because when you shout, everyone at home can hear you. <laughs> I do apologise. I do apologise. I do apologise. Oh, it's hot in here. <laughs> right, come on. <laughs> right, Susan says good morning. Good morning, Susan. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's still morning, Paul. It's morning on <laughs> Sunday. Right, calm, 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 calm. I'm just going to take them out of my ear because they're doing my head in now. I do apologise. Oh, dear me. Come on, come on, come on. Right. Right, okay, which one? This is from the Blues range. Now, I'm going to say that one isn't, yeah. These are from the Blues range. Oh, right, okay, so this is uh, sheet music, and these are minims and quavers and crotchets. So which, is this a mini bundle, or is it just on their own? On their own, okay. Oh, it's not black. This one's not black, Hannah. No, this is definitely, definitely blue, look. If you look at it next to my shirt, it's definitely blue, look. Because it's called the blues, isn't it? Yeah, that looks lovely with that fabric, doesn't it? Oh, it's called, it's, this is called Jazz It Up A Little. And then look at the girls, jazzing it up a little. Oh, Tim's crying with laughter. I do apologise, everybody. Oh, I so love you, John Scott. Thank you, Christine. I've just remembered we had a black duvet cover with fine red and white stripes. There you go, Sue. It was, oh, it was a Playboy one. It was in the 1980s and it was a single that decade. It was, that's exactly what it was. It was Playboy, Playboy did a whole range of bedwear. No, mine was, mine was Habitat. But everything, they sold all this, all the furniture was um, stained black. So you could buy a teak table or a sideboard. It was all, and they'd open it, and the drawers in, in the di in the sideboard would have red lining or white lining, and you'd get red, uh, red, black, and white cushions. And and oh, I know, we had a, we had a black futon with um with uh, the tassels were white and red on it. No, because that was 1980s, Paul. You don't want to be doing that now. Oh look, Wendy Orlando's messaging. She'll. Please don't stop being you. You're making me laugh. And I tell you, I don't laugh at, I don't even laugh at comedians. Oh, thank you, Wendy Orlando. Mind you, she's just crazy, isn't she? Mad as a bag of spanners, that one. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Oh, true. This is more than a ten a moment helps us, Trudy. Trudy, don't do it on the duvet when I'm still lying on it. Right, we're moving on anyway. Got it in the cream. They've called it white. It's definitely, definitely. Right, okay, so this is white, right? That's definitely cream. Look, that's white. We don't name them. No, we do. We do name them. Oh, my word. Yeah, I'm fine now. I'm fine now. I need some chocolate. I need some chocolate in the break. Oh, no, Hannah's eating it all. We can make a run to Greg's though, can't we, in the break? Oh! <laughs> Seven pounds and 49 pence for half a metre. Oh, look, what's this? 
Sally says, John, please never change. You're a real showman. Oh, thank you. Now, that, I couldn't breathe because I was laughing so much in that one. I felt awful. Yeah. Seven pounds of four chan pence for half a metre. <laughs> right. And then this is the last one for this ring. This one is your um, semi quavers, your quavers, your minims, and your crotchets. Oh, this is definitely not on white. Look at that. It's got a mottled lemon and cream, that one. It's nice. No, it's nice. No, it's lovely. Paul, we can't please everybody. This isn't Paul's favourite, everyone. Oh, you mean to get it then for me, Hannah? I've got one more fabric to show you in this range. Yeah, the one that doesn't go with those. It's got writing on it. Got, it's all to do with music, but it's not from the blues range, look. So it's got uh, melody, folk, instrument, trumpet, pop, rhythm, rock music, drums, jazz, sing, melody, guitar, instrumental. Melody comes up a lot. Blues, piano, saxophone, rhythm, drums, musical, violin, banjo. Paul used to play the guitar a little bit. Oh, oh, there's no, there's no, um, because he normally goes like this, doesn't he? He goes, John, John, I used to be a tap dancer, but I kept falling in the sink. John, John, I did ballet at university. I got a 2-2, two -two, right? Now he's saying, I used to play the drums. Oh, guitar. There's no, there's no punchline. There's no punchline. Have a look at the fabric. No, but... <laughs> Four nine oh this fabric's only four ninety nine Hannah script on white <laughs> yeah yes and so many people messaged me last night going what was Hannah's dancing like why was she dancing in the studio with a gold bra on and things like that I'm so sorry uh, Derek loves this fabric don't worry John you're on oh okay that's fine thank you we don't want that. John, you are totally ambidextrous, listening to an earpiece and talking at the same time. And then uh, still looking for fabric with drums for Stacey. Oh, yeah. It, this has got the word drum on it, Lorraine. Stacey's her son who plays drums in a band. Oh, we've got a review of this fabric. Let's have a quick look at it. Eh, oh, that's Derek. Derek has just messaged in. Excellent quality fabric with a unique design. 14 days ago, that one, Derek. I, I, bet he wears, I bet he wears a shirt or waistcoat made out of it on his singing on a Sunday. A good selection for my stash. Sure to add interest to any project from Crafter in Northumberland. Oh, it's funny that some say collectors and some say crafters. Uh, beautiful fabric, excellent quality from Sarah in Essex. One more. I have to read them like this because I've got a screen here to read. I have to turn like this way and say... Uh, different to the usual flowery fabric, perfect to add a different touch in linings from Leslie in Greater Manchester. Nice idea, Leslie in Greater Manchester. I'll just do this because I've just scratched my nose. Right, okay, very quickly now, I've just got to recap three items for you before we go for a break. One is the early bird. Remember, when we did the early bed at 8 o'clock, we said, don't check out straight away because we hadn't told you about the 50 of spending. Right, I need you to check out now, though. 7 99 this is. Weekend sewing. Uh, you're saving £2. It's from Annie's uh, Sewing, this one. All the lovely little projects in here. There's the Ladybird project I was talking about earlier. Uh, I was going to make it. Oh, that looks nice. Isn't that funny? I've just opened the book and it just came straight to that page. I can't make it today, Hannah. I'm too busy today. But, 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 what you need to do is uh, pop it in your basket, top it up to £50, you get £5 off. How do you do that, John? Well, you put this code in. That's how you do it. This code. Right, so when you check out, right, spring five, if you've got £50 worth of goodies in your basket or more, 
You put that code in, you will get five pounds off. Obviously, that does not include your three ninety-five posting packaging. So don't just buy forty-six pounds something. You need to hit the fifty-pound mark. So that's why we were saying earlier, don't check on this in case you find something else that you want to get to go with it. I know. Right, okay, then we also had these. Which colour first? Yellow first. Oh, I've got no pins over here. I'm sorry, I can't throw pins at it. No, it's fine. Stay where you are. No, I don't want to touch pins that you've touched. All right. It's a magnetic pin catcher uh, dish. Pin and needle dish. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Just put it on the table and I'll pick it up with those wipes that, and then pass me the wipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here now, Paul. It's fine. I'm here. Uh, just Hannah's just passed me some pins and I need to wipe the bowl before it... Oh. No, it's fine. I'm struggling. I'll, I'll do it with, with sanitizer. Here we go. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I've sanitized it now. Right. <laughs> it's all over the place now. But look, 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 look. You ready? Two ninety nine. These are. We have it in yellow. We also have it in pink. Right. Sorry, I've got sanitizer everywhere. The thing is, when you go into the shop, when I went to the dentist, right, and you have to go in, you have to text saying, John is in the car park, and you go in and everything. And I go to get the sanitizer, and she put the tiniest little drop, and I was like, because I go like this, I'm like, I just put way too much. Right, okay, it also comes in purple. I haven't got the purple on here, but it is a deep, deep purple colour. I haven't got a purple one to show you, but the graph, there's the graphics, there's the graphics. Right, after the break, now, oh, oh, Julie's there. Julie, no, no, Julie's not there yet. Anyway, Julie is uh, coming up after the break. We've got a book that we did, with, uh, we're making that, right? We've got a book, the dress underneath. It's a book that when we did with Alice and Marion, they all f absolutely flew out. And about a quarter of the stock, did you say, have gone already? Quarter of the stock of the book have gone already. So don't go anywhere. We will see you in about three minutes' time with Julie, and we will be making um, a dress. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters so you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hi, I'm Debbie Harris, and I'm so excited to be one of the new guest designers here on Sewing Street. I live and work in Melton Mowbray in Leicestershire, where I run my own knitting and sewing business called Mabel and Deb. I specialise in sewing and knitting and crocheting, 
and I've been doing all of those three things from being a little girl when my mum taught me all things knitting, crochet and sewing. Started off just crocheting little chain stitches and granny squares and then actually patchwork sewing little hexagons and they're still my favourite shape to sew now. I used to be a school teacher for over 20 years I was teaching in classrooms um, and just had the knitting and the crochet and sewing as a background hobby but now I get to do this as, as my job and I'm absolutely passionate about it and really want to share all that passion and excitement with you guys. Um, a, a tip that I think is worth sharing with you is always use quality materials so whether that's your fabrics or your threads or wool the difference in the quality of your materials can really make a difference to your finished project. And always use the right tools, so whether it's a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors that are specially made for that job, that too can make all the difference. My claim to fame in 2020 was winning, being one of the winners of the Great British Make-Off here on Sewing Street when I did my debut um, sewing demonstration in November last year. And it was just a wonderful experience and I'm so excited to be here on my sewing street journey with you all, bringing you lots of tips, techniques, and looking forward to doing lots of exciting projects with you throughout the year. So lovely to meet you, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. If you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. When we had this book last time with Alison, Marion, Marion, Alison, Mama, Bebe, um, it absolutely flew out. So we got it back in straight away. Now, we've got gremlins in the studio because when we unpacked the box yesterday, this book was in it, right? But now we've come to find it. We've got everything on the trolley and everything. Now we can't find it. Luckily, though, Julie's got a copy of it. So she's going to be my glamorous assistant. Here is the lovely book, 1699. You don't get the post-it notes in yours, right? And then if you could just slowly just flick through it because the patterns in there are absolutely beautiful. Um, they're really, really, they're kind of, what, how did you find it? It's kind of Scandi kind of. Yeah, she's in New York, but actually she's Swedish background. Uh -huh. So there's all her backstory of, yeah. And there's, I think it's 12 patterns. It's, yeah. So there's all sorts of varieties that you, short long pattern. but uh, Alison Marion has made absolutely everything in this book and she wears it as her uh, as her everyday clothes sort of thing it, they're very simple but they're very stylish aren't yeah. they I like the clean say sort of clean and then you can go jazzy with the fabrics or, yes yes yeah, exactly yeah. also she, there are things in there to make your own um necklaces and things like that there's all sorts of instructions how to make necklaces and bags and Four all bags, sorts of stuff yeah. in there yoga bag and yeah and i think she prints her own fabric the lady so oh okay um but that's her background yeah um but she's now definitely in new york but um, yeah, tunic, which you could do in summer weight or winter weight, which I think is nice. No, definitely. And also you could layer, everything that's in there can be layered. Look, you see they're very stylish, but nice simple shapes which are going to suit every single body shape. Now, uh, the, I don't know if you can look for it in there, but people will ask what size do the patterns go up to for me? So. And then what kind of patterns are there? Are there, are there actual... Um, is there a project section? So the envelope at the back has your paper. Yeah. Um, I think it's just two, two, two sheets, sheets, actually. And what's the biggest size that it goes up to? Uh, if you look on the pattern, it should say what the, um, you know, like how they have the different lines. Oh, yeah. So the... Oh, you got a size chart there. A, sorry, 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 yeah. I say I made the large, which I did sort of as a 12... Oh, hang on, yeah. 12, 14. Right, um, and then the extra large. There is an XL Has it got actual measurements there? Yeah, it's got your bust, waist and hips. Brilliant. doesn't have the finished 
size, but um, and I'd say it's quite, yeah, generous on, yeah. So it's, it's yeah. So now, um, is your top one of the patterns in there? It isn't, is it? No, 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 but that's one of your. Sorry, I've asked that before. <laughs> but the top Swedish. behind you. The top behind is one of the patterns from there, yeah. which we can see behind, sort of behind you. There it is, and the dress behind me, which is the one we're going to be talking about today. That's, I mean, it's gorgeous because they're just elegant in this. In the style. can we see the other projects? Do you mean projects, yeah. Hannah? Yeah, projects. Yeah. Can we see the other projects yeah. in the book? That so, are so the top. It's the top tunic and caftan is all one, like the one pattern piece. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Just, oh, I see. So, I see. So, yeah. you can make, from the same pattern piece, you can make the top, yeah. that, and a long version yeah. of it. Yeah. And then what, uh, is there a section that says projects so we can see what the different things are we can make so in there? So, the front of the book gives you your, and it's, she describes it as year round. So, there's like spring, summer, autumn, yeah. and so short, medium, long skirt. You've got a nice jacket that could be, yeah winter or summer yeah. shorts and pants tops and a dress so basically it's a ca whole capsule wardrobe isn't Definitely. it all in one yeah, yeah. and the tunic say top tunic caftan and the caftan looks so that's what we're we're doing that one today we're doing yeah, the, tunic. the tunic but you part. could so the one that you're you've you're we're making on the show today you can make it in the one you're going to demo in you can make it in the one behind you to make the short one or you could then turn it into a long caftan yeah, it was as well. a long caftan with a different neck with a v-neck okay Four bags, right. which is brilliant. So I say it's, it's a real sort of coffee table book to sort of... Half the stock's yeah. gone. I told you, I told you half the stock's gone. Now, can you turn, now turn to, say, the instructions to make what we're going to be doing today yeah. so people can see how the instructions are formed. So I'm sorry to make you do all this, but it's just we <laughs> it's don't right, know It's the a lovely, are. I mean, the, the pictures in it are just... Oh, I mean, the it's one, just... one of her standing, you just flick past it, there's one of her standing in a doorway of like a Ooh. barn. And I just think it's beautiful. It's just, they're all lovely. Oh, is it I mean, the front the, cover? Is that on the front cover? Yeah, the, yeah. the caftan. Oh, yeah, that, that I love yeah. that. Love that. And I love that yeah. fabric so as well. So that fabric is... Yeah. Okay, so turn to the page of the one that we're going to be making. So, I say, most of the book is the all the lovely pictures. Yes. And then we get to the back. So Brilliant. We've got, we've got the sewing instructions. I say, you've got your size um, chart. Yeah. Just check. Bit of um, sort of information on um, clipping, top stitching. Fewer than 20 um, of the books left. And then it goes into so each section. So you've got the skirt, the top, um, and then there's options within. So it's very thorough, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Also, they also look like patterns that are going to be easy to... So if you did want to go to a bigger size, it looks like it's not going to take a proper drafting job. Like, yeah. <clears throat> no. it, it's going to be an extension to make it longer or wider yeah. and thing. Yeah. What's the matter, Hannah? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're going to make them multiple. Well, that's what Alison Marion says. She's got, like, the top. She's got them in about 12 different colours and everything, hasn't she? Yeah. And you, each season, when you find a different fabric you love, if you know that's your style and that's your cup, capsule wardrobe, I mean, you can mix them with, like, jeans and corduroy skirts and things like that, but you could just get different fabrics every season and make your favourite pieces out of there. Yeah, so you could, you know, the tunic for some might be a bit short, you know, you might want to just lengthen the tunic a yes, little bit yes, or, yes. yeah, depending on your body length and, yeah. But so, some people would want to wear it with jeans underneath. Some yeah. people would wear it in winter, you could wear it with opaque yeah. tights under. Oh, how she She's got, got it on, tights right? there, yeah. so it's a bit of a stiffer, so that's quite a lightweight cotton yes. for a summery, um, you might want to go bare, you could just wear some leggings or, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so I think it'd be nice and a heavier for us. I think this winter. reminds me of holidays. This one behind me that you've made, I'm thinking holidays mm, yeah, for that one. Yeah, and know. it's a throw. It's got darts, so there's a bit of shape. Yeah, but it's. Yeah. Um, but and also that they they're not difficult to do, no, are they? No, they're they're no. all achievable. Everything in there is totally achievable, yeah. isn't it? And lovely, you know, and it's showing all different ages, and you know, it's really yeah. sort of inclusive. That it's you know, so there, and you can jazz. She's put some nice tape down the sides of the trousers, so she's sort of done some variety with it. So it's also yeah. customising them as yeah. well, then. Yeah. Yeah, and then just the whole wardrobe in one yeah. book. Yeah, well, it's really when I used to be on this morning, that was what I used to talk about all the time was the capsule wardrobe. And when I do, I do, or I did before lockdown, do this service where I go into people's houses, go through their wardrobe, try everything on and go, when do you wear this? What do you wear yeah. this with? Why is this here? Why is that? Because oh, nice. most of us only wear 20% of what our clothes there. And you clear out, you clear everything out, and then you go shopping or you make the yeah. things that are missing. And make a capsule wardrobe, you can go so far in a capsule wardrobe and yeah. everything. I say lovely ja simple jackets or you make a longer one it's not got any fasten you know it's just a nice sort of coverall mm -hmm. and then the I say jewel bit of jewelry yeah so yeah that, now yeah. somewhere because um, um Alison Marion's got this all this jewelry that she wears and she's left a necklace here which I just found earlier when I was tidying up and it's made from 
Do you remember uh, the car seats that they used to, that they were like beaded car seats, oh, yeah. big wooden yeah, yeah. beads? Yeah. She and her friend bought like a, a stash of, I think it was one or two of those, and they shared the beads out between oh, themselves. Wow. So they make they make the beaded, beads. Ne well, not beads, they're wooden beads, but then she also covers them with the fabric oh, and right, things cool. to create. It talks about bias, that... making your own bias, yes. finding out of, yeah, yeah. yeah. so I say just lovely, pom-pom, you know, pom-pom. Everything, pom -pom. it's such a brilliant book. <laughs> now, what are you saying about the quantity, Hannah? Fewer than 20, and, yeah. Oh, here we go. Excellent book, easy to follow, and the added bonus of having the patterns enclosed from Cherry in Devon. There you go, Cherry bought it when it was on for a month ago. A month ago when we sold that last and it sold a complete and it's going to do the same again today we, we, we haven't started it's only quarter past oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> there's how many single figures of the book and how many people got it in their basket okay we've got single figures of the books so that means when hannah says that she normally means nine right and there's 25 people got it in their basket so if you don't check out you could miss out again this time Right, shall we start? Mm. Oh, I've got to do fabrics, got to do fabrics. Right, <laughs> so the fabric, we've, what we've done is four of the fabrics we've done in two and a half metre bundles. Now, that two and a half metres is enough to make the largest size of this dress. However, you made both that and that out of the two and a half metres of your so fabric. So the, the yellow, you? whatever the name, yeah, uh, yeah was wide enough. So, because everything's on a fold. Yeah, so the, because the, the, look at this, right? This is two and a half metres. That's wrong. 18.99 right okay let me just show you let me just show you what you get for your two and a half meters right because first of all look at look at the width of the fabric it's 50 55 60 inches wide 55 inches wide i'd say then look oh the bundle's about to sell out be quick john no but look look masses of it look <laughs> No, it's my hair again, isn't it? Yes. Tracy, I'm on my way round to sprawl myself on your bed. I can't bear not having a haircut. I haven't got to do chill. I have Elnet hair hairspray on it today. <laughs> right, anyway, that's about to sell out. I'll just put that there and fold it later. And there is, although it's directional, the fabric, we, you've still what's, got... What's that although about? there's a up and down... Well... Direction. Uh, there is a... Yeah, direction yeah. to the yellow one. You could, you still got, yeah, you Plenty. can, yeah, yeah. Right, I've got that fabric by the half metres. It's the same price, don't worry. It's exactly the price. We just did the two and a half. Yeah, it looks different by the half metre. There you go. There you go. So it's, here it is, right, Three ninety nine. It is lovely. It is lovely. Let me just feel it. Oh, it's gorgeous quality as well. It's lighter than a quilting weight. It's verging towards the poplin, but perfect for like summer's dress out of this. It's called mustard floral. I'm sure that's not what it's called, but I love it. I love it. It's very spring-like, isn't it? Oh, that's it. Okay, sold out, sold out, sold out. Please check out your baskets. Right, now I've got three other bundles. Which one are you? Oh, now, this is where it gets... Right, I've got three other bundles. You're not going to see any of these made. Okay, so, this is nice. Do you want to know the number? This is called Rose by, uh, no it's not, it's called by Rose and Hubble. Hasn't got a name. Esme Tunic Fabric, this is called. Oh, that's about to go. That's a two and a half metre. I haven't even told you how wide that is. Okay, that's about to sell out as well. We've got that one now by the half metre. There it is. Okay, uh, by the half metre, four ninety nine. Silver cotton. It is a poplin, but I wouldn't call it silver. This is forty four inches wide. There you go. I can tell you how wide this is. Forty four inches wide. Four ninety nine. Yeah, normal width is it's forty four is your normal width of fabric. Look. So, you know, like all our quilting fabrics, this isn't a quilting weight fabric, this is a poplin, but all of our, you know, like if you buy any of the Rose and Hubble fabrics, they're all 44 inches wide. And the book is sold out. The yellow bundle sold out. The silver bundle sold out. The yellow is sold out by the half metre. Well, how are we on that one? All right on that one? So I'll leave that one there. 
Then I've got, I love this bundle. This reminds me of like kind of, I can just imagine all of the styles in this one because they're beautiful. Again, it's Rose and Hubble. No, I think they've gone a bit, anyway, I'm saying nothing. Oh, they've called it Delph. They've called it Delph. How fun. It was because I said it. On the web, it looks lilac. It's not. It's that gorgeous Wedgwood blue. Two and a half metres you get in there for eighteen ninety nine. Oh, on the website, ignore the website colour because it's completely wrong. Oh, no. I'll, I shall have a look later. $18.99. Uh, two of those left. And 20 people got that in their basket, so we're saying that's gone. By the half metre. There it is. Righty ho. Yeah, we can't make bundles, I'm afraid. So we just have to go. This is your half metre, four ninety nine. Two and a half metres is five units. It is blue, not purple. This is showing you that there's obviously been a mistake made with the bundle prices. So if you have got the bundles, congratulations. Four ninety nine is a fantastic price for a forty four inch wide cotton fabric. You know that, right? For half a metre. But I think the bundles have been priced wrongly because obviously the bundles should have been £25, shouldn't they? Okay. That's by the half me. Now, I've got lots of this. I'm all right. I've got lots of this. So if you want to have a think about it and wait to see the dress being made, you can't. Are you all right? I'm all right saying that, aren't I, Hannah? There's plenty of that one. Yeah, at the moment there are. I'll keep you updated during the hour. Then the last bundle. Now, what do we call this one? Oh, birds on silver. Of course, they're exactly the same colour. This is this is um, gum metal grey. I'd say eight. Now again, you see how much is this by the half metre? Well, have a look. Well, in my house, my house is called the Swallows. They're swallows, aren't they? Oh, it's about to sell out. Right, sell out, sell out, sell out. Okay. Right, by the half metre is four nine ten. This is where right, that was the last bundle. I've got no more bundles now. Of bundles. Oh yeah, there's a couple of bundles on the website. There's a couple of bundles. I'll see if oh, actually do you know what? When the demonstration starts, I'll see if I can get uh, they might be in. Oh, oh no, I'll ignore that, ignore that, ignore that. Right. Okay, this is by the half metre, four ninety nine. Gorgeous. It's just called Birds on Silver. I have got lots of fabrics to go through, so I'm going to move on. Um, right, now, the one that the demo is being done in is this gorgeous Liberty. Liberté. Sweet Marigold. So, because obviously you might not need two and a half metres to it. This is, seven, this is obviously Liberty fabric, £7.49 for half a metre. Yeah, so if you do want two and a half metres, it's five units, but you might not need... Oh, no, you will need two and a half because this is 44 inches wide. It's because the yellow was so wide, that's what you need for. You do, you do need two and a half metres of that one. Then I've got another Liberty one. It's called um, Harriet's Pansy, which is this one here. I love this fabric. I was only thinking of Harriet the other day, actually. We used to work with a girl called Harriet at Sewing Quarter. Because she and her boyfriend usually go to Cheltenham races and they really, really, really doll up. And she'd put a picture on Facebook going, we still got dolled up, but we had nowhere to go. But they had the races, didn't they? We were just not everybody watching. Yeah. 7.49. Okay. Then I've got another Liberty here. Now I've got this Liberty fabric in my stash cupboard at home. I have indeed. I, well, no, I, it, I didn't get it from here, sadly. I got this when I worked somewhere else. Yeah, you know the gap between mm -hmm. Saint Quarter and here. Anyway, seven forty nine. This is called Ricardo, like Ricky Ricardo from I Love Lucy. It's dreadful working with youngsters; they have no <laughs> idea what I'm talking about. Right, I love, I love, love, love this fabric. This is Norma Rose, and I don't know what it's called. Oh, kitchen bouquet. Oh, yes, he's got recipes on back. That's right. I just think that I think this fabric nice really match. suits these styles, doesn't it? There's now, if you don't like this colourway, 
If you don't like this colorway, we have got what, no, no, but I'm saying is, if this is too bright for you, we have this fabric and other Norma Rose fabrics on the website. So please go and look at uh, fabrics on the website. I think that's beautiful. That's my fave. Then, this is another of my faves here. Look at this one. Oh, Swallows theme of the day. This is Norma Rose again, this one. Songbirds on acid green, this one. Songbirds on acid Oh, I missed a Liberty one, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, Paul's colourblind. He doesn't like that one. Right, and then last but not least, oh, I've got two other things to show as well. Right, Liberty. This is called Piper's Peacock, this one. Oh, hang on. It's coming. Paul, you've still got a long time to go. Paul's saying it's been a long day. We've still got an hour and a half to go, Paul. And then all the packing away. Oh, yeah, the energy would have helped from the chocolate. Right, very quickly, when you're tracing off your patterns, you could do some tracing paper. First time we've had this on air. Now, we did have it in a show the other day, but we didn't show it because they put it in the, you know. three ninety nine. Oh, no, it's not iron on its facing. Sorry, it's not iron on its facing. It's definitely traced. That's Hannah. That's too much chocolate. See, Paul and I didn't get any... Did you get offered any chocolate? No. 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 Hannah ate it all. I think she'd finished it by the time <laughs> you arrived, actually. £2.49. £2.49. £2.49. That's tracing paper. That's, now, I think you get three sheets, don't you? Three large sheets, each by seven, three quarters of a metre by a metre. So nice big sheets to trace your patterns off on. Three sheets. Oh, yeah. Now, you're getting three of them. See, on the graphics, there's 76 by 102. You get three. Oh, OK. No, 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 it's fine. Yeah, because yeah, you, you wouldn't know that. You'd think you're getting one. Look. It's good quality as well for your pattern paper, this. It's not that flimsy tissue paper. Look, you get three that big. Uh, before you start drawing your pattern out, give it a quick iron, give it a quick press, and just get rid of those creases. I'll put it back in exactly <laughs> the right way that it was in. <laughs> Yeah, it's going, it's going to be filed in a new section, that one. And then uh, a quick and pick, just in case the, everyone's a sewer's best friend. We've got a brand new quick and pick stitch ripper from Core Bond. Well, I looked for the bodkin. I'm into, I couldn't see it. Anyway, very quickly, very quickly. Come on. Look at the time. Look at the time. One ninety nine. One ninety nine. Right. So we are making it out of the Liberty and we're making this shape. Was it quite a simple piece to put together? It was. So there's literally, you've got sleeves, patch pockets, and a front and a back. And oh, that's so, interesting. That, yeah. And no fastenings then? No fastenings. Oh, it goes over the head. It's a set in sleeve. Um, I did wonder whether you needed interfacing, but you don't, and it's a self-facing, so you sort of sew it back on itself. So, right. And I thought, uh, I've never done a facing without interfacing, but actually... No, no, no. It, 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 was, it, no. it was fine. So, because I was thinking, well, the fabric's not weighty but yeah. actually I thought I'll do it as the book says yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so a couple of darts sh shoulder seams set in sleeve I've tried to be clever and do some pattern matching with the pocket okay we'll <laughs> which, see how we'll see how <laughs> which may oh. may... <laughs> yeah lovely and uh, yeah and say in the bag which was out the same pattern book which um yeah so that was a, a bonus to make a bag out of the book as well yeah. but uh so okay so what so are we going to show now then so dart which everybody yeah everybody knows but I learned a lesson when I was starting my sewing journey again is to do a concave bit of a concave at right. the end which yeah. I hadn't really thought about so I've already sewn one dart so I'm just gonna sew another dart hopefully get the machine to work this time so. you don't have to worry Hannah I switched out the bobbin cover don't you do that to me
So say just doing that concave. So, that so, when you, so the, the dart is always drawn as a straight yeah, triangle. Yeah. And you're saying you do, so if you start at the top on the outside, yep. you just slightly curve you it. You curve it. You always go, I say, towards the point. So, um, but it's a, yeah, read recently, if you can do a bit of a concave oh, okay. sort of, yeah. I don't know if that helps with the, so it's the shaping. So, yeah. And obviously press that, you're going to press that downwards. Yeah. So. Simple darts, they always start from the outer and go to the point and then so, so Are they, are they literally just two darts here? Yeah, just um, two. Are, are there no body darts on it? No, nope, two bus oh. darts. So um, so that's an easy one. So, um, and then you just, yeah, you'll press it uh, for the seam downwards. Okay. Um, I've already, I say, I didn't know how much to make. So I've already okay. sewn the, so it's simple with the shoulder seams. So, um, so just a simple, get the front and back together. And I have, I don't possess an overlocker, so I've just used a, um, you can use zigzag or I say um, pink, and pink and shears, so it's just a little seam. What's the seam allowance on it? So it's a bit weird. It's one point two millimeters. One point two millimeters. One point two centimeters. One point two centimeters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was going to say yeah. one two millimeters <laughs> to be very small. Which one point two? I know. Does it? Does that equate to something? Because I'm an inch. I only do yeah. inches, but. So that was the only quirk I would say. So I'd, I've never come across a one point two centimeter. One point two centimeter. Yeah. yeah. I've got no oh. idea. Is it half an inch? inch? Yeah, half an inch. It's just, it's just half an inch, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if it's American there, because they're in inches more, aren't they? Yeah, the American, the American yeah. side is. But So that's your only quirk, especially if you've got your markings on your machine. It could, it could <laughs> so, be that she's, that she's done it in inches, and then the publishers have gone, oh, we'll swap this. And yeah, put, yeah, yeah. So that's so, and some of the, so the pocket, you're folding in like six millimetres. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, that, so it's just, you just I'm sure yeah. it's, it's not life or death, but that's, I thought, I better check what the seam allowance, because, and it's included in the pattern. Right. So oh, so you don't have to add seam allowances. Don't add seam allowances, because okay. that's always a pain. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, so shoulder seams, so to attach the front and back. And then, so the facing, so you don't get separate pieces, you, on the pattern, you just trace out the, it's already marked on okay. the main. So when you get your pattern out, don't be looking for a facing yeah. pattern. Yeah. You literally take the same neckline pattern, oh, you can show, yeah. on the dress, on the dress, on the dress. and then you just yeah. cut however many inches they yeah. say the facing so, um, well, that's, the, yeah, so there's the, I don't know if you can see that. So, yeah, yeah. so you just yeah. follow the, so you just, I ended up just cutting, yeah. Right. So I didn't make another pattern. But you, you could trace it off. Yeah, if you could trace. If you're going to make the dress lots, lots of times, you might as well trace yeah. off all the pieces. Yeah. You? yeah, I didn't do a, I just, I just cheeked it yeah. And, and yeah, without doing a new pattern piece, but yeah. And how did you finish the edge of your facing? Because obviously one's going to be in the seam, isn't it? But the one that's out. Yeah, so that I think I just, again, just see. No, actually it's all, it's enclosed though, isn't it? So. No, there's, there's the one around the neck's enclosed. Oh. What about the one that's hanging down? Inside so that's the folded yeah, yeah. and sewn onto itself. You right. See what I mean? Okay, so it's all yeah, it is yeah. all enclosed. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I've pinned that in place. Um, so I'm just going to sew that on, and then you fold it all inside. And you just you literally just going to fold the edge, right? And then sew that. So there is a line oh, of stitching. Oh, I see. I see. So has it got a posh name? Uh, no, I don't think it's got a posh name. <laughs> so basically, you're, you're going to sew around the neckline yeah, itself. Sew the neckline, and yeah. then you're going to fold it in, press it. But then you're not just going to leave it, because some people st put a few stitches through the shoulder seam to hold it in yeah. place. Yours actually, the bottom, you fold under, you do it. So actually what you should do before you stitch it around the neckline is press the yeah, definitely hem press in. at the edge. So when you've yeah. turned it over and pressed it down, you then stitch round, top stitch round, yeah. so that you've got a nice deep yeah. line going round like So that. I had pressed that, it's come undone a yeah. bit. So yeah, yeah, so you're six mil millimetres, so you do need to be quite accurate on that. Okay. Because you're going to end up, so, you, I mean, you could oh, do yeah, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, of course you do, because it, the line yeah, is going to wobble. you're going to be on your, I mean, you could do it as a feature. You could yeah. do a different colour, especially yeah. if you used a plainer fabric. So that but could if be. if you're and a top <laughs> yeah, stitch, yeah. you can do it in a matching colour. Yeah, and I actually did um, a top stitch on the edge as well. Yeah. Mm. So it didn't, no, so there was no edge, that. there was no edge stitching. Yeah. So I just did a, so I've got two lines of stitching. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but I've never done a self. If, if you self. don't like, if you if you got to, can you see that on there? I, I, oh, that's a steel. Let me get up and I'll look at the real thing. Can you come in on the real thing, Paul? So what what we've done is there's a line of stitching. Oh, hang on, try this. Just wait. So there's a line. I'll just tell you, explain. There's a line of top stitching around the neck to keep it here in place. Here it comes. Right. There's a line of top stitching there. 
and there's a line of top stitching there. If you don't want to do, if this one frightens you here, you don't need to do a line of top stitching there, but you will need to catch the facing into the shoulder seam. So it doesn't, there's nothing worse than seeing a dress with a lovely neckline and then the, the facing all sticking out. Don't you agree? Mm, yeah, yeah. So normally you've got a bit of an edge, haven't you? That, yeah, if it's, if it's interlined and... Yes. So I'm just trying to... So say... Can a beginner use this book, says Melanie? Definitely. Definitely, Definitely. Melanie. Sold out, sadly, though, Melanie, but you, yes. If you've got it, well done. Yeah. I say the fun will be choosing your fabrics to make. Yeah, yes, I think yeah. that's the, because it's, you know, I say it's quite a simple shape. Um, but if you've got a nice dramatic fabric, then. Yeah. I say I but yes, yes, so if you made it out of some of those fabrics, we had those ink, ink explosion fabrics I had in the last hour with like the daubs of, Ooh, could look really nice. lovely, yeah. And then different weights. So you could do a nice winter. Yeah, yeah you could yeah, do a yeah. nice winter. Um, Oh, yes, because you could do it in like a lovely, not wool worsted, but a lovely wool crepe for winter yeah. or something like that, couldn't you? So, so I won't sew over my pins. That's how I was taught. <laughs> you do or you don't sew over your pins? No. Well, Good. I don't on telly. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, well, sure, no, I'm sure we, I was taught not to sew over No, no, you there. see, we were taught to. Oh. When, when we went to the School of Art, where I went, we, we just, when we put special, we put sleeves in. We just carried on going regardless. Round. So you're just you're sewing it to the dress. The so this is just the facing onto the yeah. yeah. So you've matched your shoulder seams up and yeah. But because the because you've taken it from the actual dress pattern, it's going to fit perfectly. Yeah, isn't yeah. It? It's a sense of achievement. It all. And also no no worries about stopping and starting for a, a zip to go in or anything no, like that. No. So just. <laughs> it's not easy as it is with <laughs> somebody else's, else's machine. machine. So, so you've got your facing in there, and then you literally, and obviously some pressing is involved, yes. and you're going to literally fold that all the way in. Right. And I'll turn it, yeah. So I've never really done the self-facing, self I suppose it's called. Uh -huh. um, and then you've got your, I say, it was, I did press that up, and then you're going to... So what yeah. would you do normally on a, on a frock like that? If you're making a frock for yourself at home, not from this book, how well, would like you do Well, like for these, facing? I've got an, you know, you edge stitch and then, yeah, so it, yeah, stays yeah. in and this has got a, I ran out of material because I only had a metre of this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I only had a metre of liberty, yeah. so I use a different colour for the facing. But that's just got, and that's interlined with a, uh, over, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. So then I say, you've done a bit of pressing, get that, and I say, I did, I've done it both. I've top stitched that edge first and then did it yeah. and then did but, the other. Yeah. But the thing so, is, you could do it the way you've done yours and just literally do the first top stitching right round the edge yeah. and then leave the other one. And then if, yeah. you, if it's going to start popping out, you just do a couple yeah. little stitches. Yeah, yeah. There, so I just thought, oh, how's that going to stay? Because there was no edge stitching. But uh, as I say, if you're a bit wobbly on your, yeah, if you're not yeah. convinced with your top stitching. Well, so, especially if you're a beginner, the last thing you want to be doing is yeah, stop stitching around, your, around the neckline, yeah. isn't it? So I quite like the challenge of a top stitch <laughs> and keeping it. <laughs> So, oh no no exactly. <laughs> so that's so I say so it's there's no interfacing it is just folded over and so you, I say you do need to back it with your little turn up of six six yeah. millimeters so that's the facing and that's that's the collar done neck, okay. neck done so and then we've got oh should we have a go with the pocket right so so now uh, is there a marking on the pattern where the pockets have to go there is yeah and I'm old oh, well I've done a bit of old school and so I used to do tailor's tax for the, okay. yeah, so, because I'm not convinced about some pens that don't wash out or, yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone, <laughs> so, <laughs> everyone's entitled to their own, um, you know. So I think I did do pencil and, and a bit of um, tailor's tax. Right. So, so you get your, yeah, and again, you could do that in contrast. I think that'd be quite, oh, yeah. oh, quite yeah, nice totally. in, a, in a contrast. So, I don't know if you can see my, have I, oh, I haven't yeah. stitched I it yet, see, but yeah, I'm, I think I'm so. hoping I've um, pattern matched it. Um, and got me flowers the right way up and yeah. things so and you've got loads of fabric to play with in your two and a half meters to have a good yeah, yeah if you want to have a practice at pattern matching so i say i have got the iron on so i'll just and, I, and they don't i like mitered corners with patches oh, you with, got it yeah I didn't, I didn't see um it. so i like to miter a corner they, oh, okay. they don't talk about mitered corners but i quite like let's a, have a look then um so so they just say turn it under yeah the book, just but yeah you can, yeah 
So say you've got your six mil and they do a, I think it's three centimetre fold okay. down. And then you're going to stitch across the fold. Yeah, so you get a line of stitching on your oh, okay, pocket so that, there. That's yeah. going to match the neckline stitching yeah. then. For you. And I tend to, so, and then we're going to do another, Six I think it's... I can't remember now. Might be, might be the one point two actually. Oh, right, the full yeah, one on the yeah. Again, I don't like that being at the top, so I would do a fold in and over. Right. Yeah, so you don't get a raw. Yes. Raw oh, edge no, I don't, I don't like that when you when you somebody's overlocked an edge and they just turn it in at the top yeah. of the pocket. You've got yeah, all the so spare you can sort of, bits of fabric. Yeah, you can sort of see it. So it's like, oh, so just say it doesn't talk about mitered corners, but this is how I would. Beth, and you need two and a half meters of the fabric to make the dress. Two and a half metres. So, say so you just fold that corner in and do a nice, so that's how I would do, yeah. Then. Okay, now, if you don't like doing mitered corners, uh, uh, this is something I do, but it doesn't <laughs> always work, because sometimes it might be too heavy, is, yeah. and if I've got enough fabric, what I do is I cut two of the pocket flaps out, and then I bag them out. Oh, right. So, already you've got a completely finished edge. Okay. Or and then you, then you stitch it on, so when you put your hand into the pocket, there's absolutely no raw it's, edges at all yeah, yeah. because it's all enclosed. But sometimes if your fabric is a bit heavier, sometimes that makes your pocket front a bit too heavy oh, for right. the dress. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so I just like, yeah, and there's, there's no finishing off of the edges. No, 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 no. So, but I say just to neaten, so I say neaten your top corners yeah. by folding in. Oh, yeah, definitely. Fold, just folding down. Yep. So, so say, so that just neatens those corners a little bit. So, yeah. so I have say. Now you've had to match this pocket. Tailor well. tacked. Oh yeah, okay. I'm sorry, Mrs. Mason, be proud of me. Hopefully, my A level. <laughs> A level. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, so let's see if we I can I can yeah that works once I've stitched it on. So. So now, what, you, what, what we always say as well is uh, work out where the designer has put the pockets because what project we were working on the other day and the pocket... Oh, I know, um, um, Catherine Harrison's apron. No, Harrison? No, I don't mean Catherine Harrison. Catherine, Catherine Wright. Who's Catherine? Ha Catherine Harrison's an act. She's an actress. Oh, yes, I've mixed, missed up Rebecca and Catherine. Catherine. Catherine did pockets on her apron, and she literally said, it depends where you want your pockets to go, because you don't want them too low, but then also you don't want them too high, so just check where your pockets are going to go. Yeah, right. You all right? Yeah, I'd say it's so difficult to see where they're. Right. So. It's quite fun pattern matching. I've never really, uh, never really done it that much. So. Uh, there you not. No. I tend There's to do play. Well, actually, I did manage somehow. Even though I, this shouldn't, I should have cut it on the fold, shouldn't I? But I did. Oh, <laughs> but right. yeah. oh, that's, that's <laughs> the same minute. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, why did I? Why did I cut? Yeah. You know, a bit of a slave to the pattern. It's like, why did I do that without on the fold? I say I only had a meter to play with. So. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. Sometimes though, <laughs> I quite like it if the pattern is completely off. You've either got to match or make it so completely off that it's met, it looks like a deliberate, I am not going to pattern match this fabric, yeah. do you know what I mean? Because if you just get slightly off, then it looks, doesn't look too yeah. good. Yeah, I mean, I didn't try with the yellow. I didn't, no. It's like, yeah. But I realised, my daughter corrected me, because that does have a direction of the flowers, the yellow. Oh, OK. <laughs> so, so I nearly had them upside down. But... Uh, so she finished her degree course now then? Yep, she, yep, she finished last summer, <gasps> so uh, she's just... Best time to finish a degree, isn't it, and try and start a career? Yeah, trying to, she just did a, a video, sh music video shoot yesterday, helped Is that, what, what does what she want to do then? Um, anything in film, yeah, okay. sort of production side, yeah. My um, my dad worked in the drama department um, of a university and did all the set building and things, oh, okay. so, yeah. yeah. So I lived, had summers in the wardrobe department of a, yeah. Of oh, a, lovely. Yeah. Where was that then? Whole university. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, with the wardrobe mistress and, yeah, yeah so, uh, but my mum sewed, so I sort of grew up with my mum sort of uh, sewing. So your dad? Well, no, Sarah Green. She, she did. He did. 
Yeah. Because uh, she's one of my best friends. Oh. Um, and she and she did drama at Hull. She did. University. I think I probably met, I probably met her when I was yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to say yeah. not the right not the right yeah. age. And Anthony, you, Anthony, Anthony, Anthony Mangella was the other um, alumni, so he right. was yeah. So uh, yeah. So I used to we used to do tours and yeah all yeah all sorts of productions and things with the students. So uh, yeah. So I've hopefully I'm not saying that all the way around. So um, yeah. So I think turn that around. So hopefully that's yeah, not gorgeous. too bad as pat matching. Yeah. So two patch pockets and then the sleeve. So right. Does the sleeve go in? Flat or does the sleeve go in as an inset? Do you sew, sew the side seams first or do you? No, you sew the, put the head of the sleeve in. You see, I never um, learned how, really, when I trained, I never learned how to do this. Like, we always inset a sleeve. Well, they, these are called setting sleeves, um, they, you know, I don't know if I'm using the right thing. So literally you, you'd sew the side seam and so you'd have your arm oh, right, hole, yeah, the hole and then you make your sleeve yeah. and then you put one into the yeah. other. No, this is definitely sew the head of the sleeve yeah. and then sew the whole side seam with. And yeah. is there much ease in it or is it a flat straight? There's a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. You do need to do some basting. Right. I'm saying the pins are, um, but not if you get a gather, you get a gather, you know, yeah. it's, it's not. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. no, it's that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, it's got a bit. Oh, yeah, it's got a little bit of fullness, but not a full on. Yeah. So, the, yeah, you do just do a couple of lines of basting, stitching around the top. Yeah, so I've done. So, so it's a bit of a gather, but not. Yeah, it's, yeah. there's not much of a. Um, so you literally are just easing the head yeah, to the sleeve. Yeah. In. Now, does she tell you where to? Does she tell you where to put the uh, easing stitching in, or do you just? Yeah, there's marks. There's some, oh, dot, okay. there's some dots, and it's again, it's like six millimeters and two two centimeters. Yeah. The, yeah. So um, yeah, so just lengthen your stitch, and then you. Yeah, but again, it's it's nice if you. That's quite a nice thing as a beginner to you know. It's it's sort of a, a good, good way. And to, is there a definite right and left sleeve? There is because there's notches. So there's okay, a double fine, and a, fine. there's a no, double. No, because we had a pattern the other day, and I thought it was the first time I've ever seen it. The front and the back of the sleeve were exactly the same, uh, and right. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. No, there's definitely because I say I'm old school and do notches, but some yeah. people cut into the. No, I don't. No, I don't. So it's like, ooh. Um, so yeah, so you just get your. So you find your, you've marked your centre of your sleeve head. So you're just going to work that round yeah. and pin it in, and it does fit. Yeah, and then do do your little pull of your of your basting stitches yeah. to gather that in. But say there's there's just on the other one. There's a yeah. So you just need to play around with that a little bit. Yes, not, yeah, exactly. Yeah. As long as the head of the sleeve's in the centre of it, so it yeah. Hangs and right. you, you've got your notches and your dots, so you just line them up. Just take yeah. a bit of time to get those mm -hmm. lined up. So you've sewn your um, sleeve on. And then, yeah, then you literally sew the whole thing together in one go. So okay. the top, I did French seams. Oh, I'm okay. Because I'm a bit of a... Because no, no, I've no, got no, an no, overlocker. No, if, you, if you're yeah. slightly more advanced and you can do a French seam. Yeah. Um, is, that, is that one on the little top, is there a little cap, tiny so, little yeah, cap sleeve just on it? A, yeah, it is just a cap sleeve. Yeah. Oh, there's, so, oh, we've got a still yeah. image of it. I couldn't yeah. see if it was. So yeah. it's it's a it's another one that you add on. It's not on, or is it on the pattern? It's on the pattern. You just there's a different line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. And funnily enough, I ended up cutting out the cap. I cut out the front with the cap sleeve and the back without start with, and didn't and it didn't match up with the shoulder seams. No, so, no, no, because, so, because obviously so you wouldn't like, be able to put a sleeve, a sleeve like, in that yeah, yeah. extended shoulder yeah. seam. So again, right. just just take a note when you're cutting out. So yeah. luckily, I did it that way around and not the other way around. Yeah, exactly. So uh, yeah, but. Uh, so on the pattern, it's actually got a line for a, the dress armhole and a line yeah. for the top yes. armhole. Yes, where is it? Yeah. Uh, let's say you just have to work out where you are. Yeah, on one of them. Yeah. yeah. Is. Oh, there it is. So. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Get Paul's, there you go. Paul, so, can you see that? Come in here, we're just mm -hmm. zooming in with a camera that goes out of focus every two seconds. Right, okay, so. So you've got your cutting line for your set in, yeah. which is further in, and that's your cap sleeve. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, so. So it's the same bodice top. Yep. But just follow. So when you first start on this, just please read it properly. And also, this is why it's important not to cut up the pattern that's in the book 
because you never know. Next time you might want to do the cat sleeves. This time you want to do it. Yeah. And does it have different length sleeves? Because these are quite long on this one. Has it got in the sleeve pattern? Does it have a short sleeve and a long sleeve pattern, or do you just? I don't cut? think it did actually. Yeah, there isn't any. I don't think there's any lines to do short or length. Okay. So yeah. But I say, having grown up with just the four basic patterns that you cut your size out, yes. this is, yeah, it's like, oh, you can do, yeah, you've got one pattern, you can do all sorts yeah, of different, yeah, totally. yeah, so, yeah, so, uh, but I say, you just, it's just, that's the time that takes to, to get your, yeah, yeah. so is that the sleeve? Well, I think sleeve. The, the, the longest time of this, make if you make this, the, the thing that's going to take the most time is tracing the pattern off, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because the sewing together is very simple. Yeah, getting your folded fabric sorted. Yeah. I say the yellow, I managed to squeeze out, so I think the pattern said just do one fold down one length, yes. I managed to do. Which you, would, which you would do if it's 44 inches wide. Yeah, yeah. But as yours was 55, you could yeah. do them both yeah, folding into the middle. Yeah, I did a double, yeah. It was like, oh, I can make another, yeah. yeah. So then got the top out, which was which Perfect. was a bonus. Um, so, um, so hang on, so you're gonna sew, now you're going to sew down. We've got, still got a few minutes. Got sew sew yeah. down. So you put your, your sleeve head is in. Yeah. Do you sew from the end of the sleeve up to the armhole and down the dress, or do you go from the hem up and then down the arm? Did I confuse you? <laughs> yeah, do you sew from here, that, that way, yeah. or do you uh, sew from the hem and which, then upwards? I'm trying to think what I did. I think I did hem of the sleeve. Yes. To the, yeah. Yeah. Does it make any? Does it yeah, make, sorry, no, 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 yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah, sure yeah, it makes yeah. any difference, but. Um, uh, the, well, the only, the only thing is if it, well, this is just me, oh, sometimes the, if it, it moves. True. If you start at the hem, you don't want it to move under the arm or under the end yes. of the sleeve there. You want so, it to move. yeah. But hopefully, I say it's that magic moment when everything... Yeah, or, or every not. You suddenly <laughs> yeah. think, why have I got three inches extra? Why is it on, on the hem? Yeah, why is the front longer than the back? Yeah. You just do a little, yeah, little trim, Okay, so you so. sewed down there so and matching the underarm seams. Yeah, so you literally... How did you hem the sleeves and how did you hem the dress? So the sleeve was literally a fold and a fold. Yeah, so a right. fold, six mil again, and then, yeah, another little, and then stitch. So a bit more top stitching. I quite like that she does that because I don't really like it when they just overlock an edge and just turn oh, it up. Were, yeah. I like no, the role. A, I think that because that's what because my, my course was in period costume, you know, Wimbledon right. School of Art. So everything had to be finished to, to, to the T. Yeah. So I, we never had raw edges yeah. or anything like that. And so. you've got a bit of a shape at the bottom of the cuff. Right. So it... it helps when you turn, turn it, it turn it perfect, perfect yeah perfect. yeah so it's the same and the hem uh I think and how much does she give you for, for the hem i'm gonna say where's the hem it does say on the pattern actually okay uh, well, I can look. hem press up six millimeters you and see then, i like a deeper hem yeah that's a new i like inch. a nice two inch hem yeah. Uh, yeah two inch hem on it this, so now if you wanted to make this longer but you didn't want to go as long oh i suppose you just Follow the line of the caftan yeah, the one caftan until the length you get. So you don't even yeah. have to concentrate yeah. on, do I need to, this yeah. line to go here? Where you can so I would add a good measure of you going, right, yes. where do I want it to sit? And then, yeah, yeah and because that, that's, a, for me, I must be long in the trunk or, yeah. Bottom. Bit, <laughs> in my physio term, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no ergonomics would um, um, Because what I would do, you see, is, is make a calico one of the caftan right and then work out from the pattern where i want it so then you could then work out how long you wanted yeah, your dress yeah. for and work your pattern from there yeah. sort of thing couldn't you see i've never made a twirl have you never no i just oh. go i just go <laughs> you just go for it you're yeah. patient like most dress makers. oh no no we because we, depends we on the cost it. of the fabric yes exactly oh no no because we used to always have to make it in calico first right. fit it on the actor that's yeah. how it worked in yeah. theater and, and film and everything you'd make it as calico fit it on the actor then that would become your pattern piece yeah. to then do your alterations because yeah. if you like when i did seven brides seven brothers each girl had to have five dresses each would be the same basic bodies yeah. but in so different fabric your... so if i've fitted the calico twirl you know, i've then fits. got that's your there, that's her, my basic yeah. block for yeah. every dress i make for that yeah. girl yeah. And yeah. Like that. fantastic mm. um right okay do you want to uh, thank you very much for that uh, it was a lovely demonstration and the um there's the final dress. And remember that little bag that's with that one uh, is actually in the book. We weren't doing it today. So it's used, you used your own fabric for that. We didn't did, send you yes. the fabric for that, yeah. did we? Yeah. Uh, and then you've got the leather, leather from earlier to, to make the straps. We're just having a quick look at the book there. So is that the... Um, he says uh, all sorts in there, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. So the... Yeah, the... Yeah, we definitely have to get it again. We'll get them to order it again. Yeah. So it's a lovely... Yeah, there's the... Oh, cloth, there's, the there's, the bag. there's the bag. Yeah. So it's zipped lined and the strap is just riveted but again yeah. it's very simple it's a very simple yeah. shape isn't it but very yeah. stylish yeah that's what's lovely about those scandi-esque styles yeah. isn't it they're very yeah. lovely
and she looks yeah great in the yeah. sort of and as you say there's pictures in the book in the book of every different age range so it's not yeah. just heading yeah. for youngsters yeah. or young at heart or anything yeah. like that it's for everybody isn't yeah. it? do i need to up do i need to um okay we're gonna go because we've got so much to get ready for the next hour Thank you so much for coming in okay, and uh, doing demonstrations. And no doubt we'll see you again very soon. Congratulations, we're like a sellout hour. I've got anything to recap. Uh, don't go anywhere because after the break, I've got the 320 sewing machine. I've got the um, two of the mannequins. I haven't got this, oh, that one over there. I've got the cherry and the sapphire mannequin. I've got the 320 sewing machine. I've got the brand new bodkin. That's a big one that Hannah's chosen for the hour. And I've got some sewing room fabrics. I'm trying to see the, the trolley over there. I didn't unpack this out, so I don't know what's in it. Anyway, I'll see you straight after this break. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hi, I'm Debbie Harris and I'm so excited to be one of the new guest designers here on Sewing Street. I live and work in Melton Mowbray in Leicestershire where I run my own knitting and sewing business called Mabel and Deb. I specialise in sewing and knitting and crocheting and I've been doing all of those three things from being a little girl when my mum taught me all things knitting, crochet and sewing. Started off just crocheting little chain stitches and granny squares and then actually patchwork sewing little hexagons and they're still my favourite shape to sew now. I used to be a school teacher for over 20 years I was teaching in classrooms um, I just had the knitting and the crochet and sewing as a background hobby but now I get to do this as, as my job and I'm absolutely passionate about it and really want to share all that passion and excitement with you guys. Um, a, a tip that I think I've, is worth sharing with you is always use quality materials so whether that's your fabrics or your threads or wool the difference in the quality of your materials can really make a difference to your finished project and always use the right tools so whether it's a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors that are specially made for that job, that too can make all the difference. My claim to fame in 2020 was winning, being one of the winners of the Great British Make Off here on Sewing Street when I did my debut um, sewing demonstration in November last year. And it was just a wonderful experience and I'm so excited to be here on my Sewing Street journey with you all, bringing you lots of tips, techniques, and looking forward to doing lots of exciting projects with you throughout the year. So lovely to meet you and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click join group. It's that simple. 
Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break, uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well and then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it so now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon, thank you. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. That was a bit of a fast turnaround then, wasn't it? It was indeed. Right, so this hour I've got the sewing machine, I've got mannequins, I've got fabric, I've got the um, bodkin that Hannah's so excited about, and then I'll do a bit of recap of things we've had earlier. Uh, there was something else I've got as well that I was going to tell you about. Anyway, I'm thinking, oh, if you're looking for the sew panel, that's sold out already. That's gone already. So, Let's start with this, right? Oh, now remember, 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 it's a special deal on today. Until midnight tonight, which is Sunday the 28th. Uh, if you spend £50 or more, look, you get £5 off. Now, you can only use it once. There needs to be more than 50, £50 or more than £50 in your basket. Don't You can't check out something for £7 and something for £3 and something whatever, and add it all together. It has to be in one transaction. Spring 5 is what you need to use. Spring 5 is the code to get your £5 off. And also your £50 cannot include your post and packaging, right? So, 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 if you've got somebody in the family who's just starting sewing, if you've got, now we can, now, also, 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 we can start going to our, our um, caravans and our static homes and things soon, can't we? So if you like, if you, I haven't bought my static home yet. No, but I know where I'm getting it now. I'm going to... 
Clevedon, I'm going to get it. Clevedon. It's an old Victorian town. I haven't seen any there yet. This is just appeals to me. It's an old Victorian town. It's only an hour and a half, hour and a half max from my house. So it's perfect. Uh, d d d and it's an old seaside, Victorian seaside town. And there's a fabric shop at the end of the pier. Not that end of the pier, this end of the pier. This end of the pier. Anyway, anyway, anyway. But what I'm saying is you leave your big machine at home, take this machine with you to, or have it already set up. Because the thing I want with my static caravan or what static lodge or whatever they're called, is I want it all set up so that I can just leave my house I can just leave my house, right? Don't need to pack anything at all. Stop at Waitrose to get some food on the way. Get there. I've got my clothes, my shorts, my T-shirt. The bed's made. If I want my sewing to do some sewing there, there's a sewing machine there and everything. Everything's all set up. And then when I leave, I'll just wash up, put any food that's left over. There won't be any food left over. Put any food that's left over in the bag. Drive up. No, it's a bag. Not in my sleeve. No, <laughs> I put, that's my tote bag. That was my non-potato tote bag. When do we do that one? Yesterday. Did we do that? Was it yesterday? Anyway, so this is the perfect machine for that. That's what I'm saying, right? Now, what you see here is what it does. What I love. Now, first of all, let's look at the price, right? So £249, you automatically, if you put the code in, will get £5 off that. Now, I know you think it was £5, but that could be £5 towards fabric, towards fabric. But look, you can get this in three split pays of £83. So today, if you buy this for £83, Get your five pounds knocked off. So for today, that would be what? 78, 78 pounds plus your P&P. It will be sent out to you in the next week, in the next five to seven working. Oh, I don't know what days we're working to actually. No, no, these come straight from Elna. These come straight from Elna, so it's nothing to do with our warehouse. So they'll be with you in five to seven working days. So you could be sewn on this with, after Easter. Uh, yeah, after, I'd say after Easter now, because it's Easter Sunday next Sunday, isn't it? And you most probably got a bit too much going on. And you can't go anywhere over Easter anyway, so that's fine. So let me show you about this gorgeous little machine, right? Um, it is obviously Elna. So it comes with all of the Elna two-year warranties. It does come with all the Elna expertise from over the year, uh, over the years. But it is such a simple... It, it's it's not going to be uh, be all and end all quilting machine, but it's lovely as a little... And as I say, if somebody's just starting sewing in your household... Maybe a student going away to university. Where are we now? What month are we in? Oh, yeah, I suppose we're going after the summer, weren't they? Or in anything like that. Or for you, just for you to have a little bit of pleasure on. It's such a lovely little sewing machine. It's £249, three split pays of £83 with a two-year warranty. You still only pay £3.95 post. So, so let me just say, if you bought, say you bought something from us, say you bought the early bird earlier, or say you bought the magnetised dish, right? You've paid your £3.95 poster packaging. You don't pay any more for this. Or if you've only just bought this, you pay £3.95 poster packaging for this. Doesn't matter how heavy it is, how big the box is, you pay three. It's like, that almost is like a contribution towards the poster packaging because I'm sure to send a sewing machine like this must cost us more than £3.95. Well, yeah, imagine going to see Vicky. Oh, she's, she's not in there at the moment. Vicky at the postmistress in my village going, oh, send this. I've only got £3.95. Oh, actually, no, let's be silly. Right, okay. Right, <laughs> I'm being silly, right? So if I was going to send this, these two half metres of fabric to Hannah, say, in Birmingham, first class, no, 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 that would be £3.85. First class, that's £3.85, because that's a small parcel, small package, £3.85, right? So to, to be sending you this for £3.95, oh, Paul, I'd send you something very special. <laughs> Right, here we go. Let me show you. Let me show you. Now, on these more affordable machines, normally the bobbin is an underneath, you know, the old fashioned, not here, not here. Look, you've got that lovely, really lovely uh, top loading bobbin there with the see through little case that you get on all the Elna machines. So there's that to start with. Then you see all of this here. These are all the stitches that are incorporated in built, whatever the word is you want. They are all inbuilt into the sewing machine. Let me twist that around for you. There you go. So you can see you've got straight stitch, you've got zigzag stitch, you've got stretch stitch, you've got satin stitches, you've got decorative stitches, all that. Oh, you've even got a, um, um, I wouldn't say a blanket stitch, but you know, a, a, a slightly angled satin stitch. Right. And then uh, what you've got here, these are the dials here. This is choosing your stitches, right? Now, you're, you can see there's two lots of numbers, right? So if you want one to nine, you just leave this dial 
anywhere on the dial. You just leave it anywhere on the dial. If you want 10 to 18, you turn that all the way around to SS. Just turn that around to SS, and that literally will do your 10 to your um, 18. This here is your reverse button. That's your reverse button there. This here is your stitch width. Oh, sorry. That's your stitch width button there. And then, so, so you've got everything. And then that this here is your stitch length button. So want, you don't need your stitch length button for those. So you only need your stitch length button for your one to nine. So you can just turn that round as you need to. So it's the simple, simple, simple machine. Now, you do this always this always throws me. You get a soft cover with this one, don't you, Hannah? She said that with so little conviction. Right, so look, you get a free arm, first of all. There is a it is a free arm machine. Oh, you get a hard cover. I've never seen the hard cover. I, I'm gonna check, I'll check in the thing. Right, now. The, the toolbox is in here, the, the, the um, feet, your goodies book, 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 but it doesn't open like others, and I always have trouble with this one. It slides out like that. There you go, there it is. It slides out the bottom. Can you see that? Oh, you're going, going overhead. So that slides out, and that's where you can keep all your feet. Now, I'm going to open the brochure to tell you which feet you get with this. But it's, what, what would you call it then? Instruction manual. Okay, so. I'll just go through this. I don't know if... I, I have to, to move this here. Put that there. There you go. Where's my yellow mark? There. Okay. Right. So, th I mean, the thing is, you're getting as good a brochure with this as you would do with one of the top-end machines. Oh, it's a hard case. So where is it? We've never seen that. Never seen a hard case. I've always told you you get a soft case with this one. Oh, right, okay, so uh, here we go. So here's everything that you get. With This is the actual machine itself. Then let's go on here. So it says here, right, you get all of the, right, you don't get the first one because that's the 340 and ours is the 320. You get a zipper foot. Oh, actually, they're all here, look. You get a zipper foot, E. You get a satin stitch foot, which is the one that's on the machine. You get a buttonhole foot, you get your basic foot that it come, the machine comes with. You get needles. You get a, a quick unpick. You get bobbins. And then you get your, um, and then you get your screwdriver. And what's this one here? This is G. Blind 10 foot. You get a blind 10 foot with that as well. You also get seam ripper, quilt, uh, you don't get the quilt, but the spool holder, additional pull pin, and a felt cushion for the end of your thing. Um... I, I'm just a bit worried because uh, Hannah's saying it definitely comes with a hard case. Okay. There is a hard case. Hannah's saying there is a hard case. So if you don't get one, just message in and say, Hannah, it's not here. It's on the details. Oh, don't get exasperated. I'm just going through everything you get on here and it doesn't mention it. So. Right. There you go. So everything that you get with that. And the extension table, how you get the drawer out there with all your stuff in. You get your foot pedal. Oh, now with this one, I need to point this out. The foot pedal. Yeah, I'm just turning it back round here. So here, your, your plug is all in one. So your foot and your elect electricity, your power cable are all in one there. And you've just got your simple on-off switch there. See the light turning on and off? Look, I posted a book the other day. Uh, one to two kilos cost £4.20. So Sewing Street postage is awesome. Right. Hang on, I'm just into a long message I had a certain Oh, yes, right. Yes, 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 yes. I know that. I know that. I know. Who's just messaging then? How do you spell it? Trina. There's no D in there. Where are you getting the D from? Trina. Trina. She said, there's, but why on the website is it £219? The, there's one. There's one. And it's because the box is damaged. 
There's nothing wrong with the machine, it's because the box is damaged. So there's one that Elner has offered us, this exact machine, the damaged box is £219, right? The box isn't £219, you get the sewing machine as well. But that's why there's one on the website saying £219 damaged box, right? This one, if you want it completely pristine, pristine box and everything like that, it's £249. So if one of you, if you don't mind about the box being damaged, buy one for £219. Uh, you definitely got a hard case. I bought it during the birthday week. Thank you, Suzanne. Thank you. It's not that I didn't trust. It's not that I didn't trust Anna uh, because she looked it up. But it's not mentioned. At... Oh, well, now she said, "Look, it looked like." You. Should we have this out now, then, Hannah? Shall we? It looked like you didn't trust me. No, it wasn't that. It was just that it, in the others, it tells you in the book that you get a hard cover or the semi. And... Yes, thank you. Right, I've got a message. Here. Uh, we're not fighting, by the way. This is like. I was going to say mother and daughter. Yeah. Oh, it's from Gay Lee. How are you, my love? Oh, no, it's not. It's from Gail. It's from Gail. No, no, but there used to be a lady that made Welsh cakes. Oh, no, it was Gainey, wasn't it? Gainey. Hi, John. I've just had this machine at my caravan. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Look, I have this machine at my caravan in Burnham on Sea. We are not far from Clevedon, which is such a beautiful place. Gail. Sorry she called you gaily, she said. It's because, no, 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 I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why she did it. Because we used to have a lady who used to come in, bring us Welsh cakes, she'd bring her daughter and her granddaughter and everything like that. And she was called Gaily. So that's why Hannah thought it was that lady, you see. So sorry, Gail. Sorry, Gail. She did call Trina Trender. Where the D came from, I don't know, but never mind. We won't pick on her. We won't pick on her today. Right, shall we do some sewing? <laughs> are you sure? There are, there, no, no, there, you can go and look up there. There are price comparisons, other places. This is not a huge amount of difference, but 20, 25 pounds difference. Right, let's put it in way. When we've done what? <laughs> it's going to be one of those, doesn't it? Hang on, I'm just going to put all these on. I'm just putting everything away. I do apologise, everybody. <laughs> right, you're not coming to my static caravan. Thank you very much indeed, Hannah. Right, which stitch would you like to? No, she thought I was going to put my caravan in front of her house. I've got the wrong foot on, but never mind. Let's just do this. So what stitch? Let's just do a straight stitch then. So you go, we're going to number one, first of all, which is just a straightforward straight stitch. You can alter the size of it from a one which is Diddy, to, oh, you wanted me to do it that way around, didn't you? No, no, there you go, there you go, there you go. Paul, you're the director, you're meant to follow me. So that's just, and then you can literally lengthen it up to a four, nice long stitch four for your gathering or for your basting. Can't see it because it's come, all right, we'll turn it around that way then, let's do it that way. There you go. There's your lovely straight stitch. Go for your different sizes there. Right, so then watch. Let's do number four now. There we go. Number four. Oh, hang on. I need to turn my fabric around. Oh, it's not moving anywhere now. There you go. Look. Oh, it's casualty. Do, 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 do. Right, where else are we going? We've got number nine. Let's do stitch number nine now. Um, hang on. Number nine. That's... Right. Oh, I'm going to take the needle out. That's why I can't turn it. Right, to round to number nine. This will be a satin stitch. Oh, no, actually, hang on. I need to put that closer together. Sorry for a satin stitch. Well done if you've checked this out already. Hang on, where's the foot? There it is. Okay, look. Right, hang on a sec. What am I doing that? Yeah. Right, let's have a look. So I'm on stitch number nine. And I'll do the width. There you go. There's the width. There you go. I'll just go around like this. Off we go. It would help if I was making something. Hang on, that's... Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Nothing. I, it's different. I thought it was a close-by satin stitch. What it is, it's a lovely wavy... It's, it's, 
uh, zigzag stitch. But then let's go to exactly when you make a little stitch book when you get it home the first time. Let's have a look at stitch. It's a bit messy now, this piece of fabric. Uh, let's do number 12, shall we? <laughs> oh, oh, now it's done exactly what it did last time. I went too fast and it's now... Oh, no, there you go. There you go. It's cat watching. She's so overwhelmed with my display. of so. Oh, now wait till you see this one. Look, 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 Paul. You've got a close-up of that coming through. Look. That's lovely, isn't it? What number is that? It's number 12. So then we can... Let's go to... Yeah, like a deoxyribonucleic nucleic acid, that, wasn't it? Let's go to number 15. You see, uh, for a basic machine, it's got so many different stitches. You're going to love it. Right, you ready? Right, you ready? Looking at this stitch. Is it coming through yet? Look at that. It's got so many different stitches. Reverse button, everything you need. So make sure you check out on that. Anything else you want to ask me? Oh, it's got the bobbin fill at the top, obviously, there. You just fill the bobbin, put it across. You fill your bobbin there. Twist it around there. It's very easy. It's very, I'm going to move it around. Very, very easy to thread up. Your very basic sewing machine. Round there, down, up, down, through the needle. Couldn't be simpler. It's even got a needle threader. It's got a needle threader. You wouldn't expect one of those on a... a, a, a I don't want to call it basic because it's not basic, but you know what I mean, a, a, like a starter machine. I know, £249. £83 first payment. Okay. She's only watching. She's not um, doing. Do you know what I mean? Following. She's only following. She's not doing it. Because she's learning to do it. Right. Let's do... Should we do... Oh, sorry. You got a message, sorry. Thank you, Maggie. Yes, it does come with a hardcover. I'd love to know where it is then, Hannah. Uh, right, okay. So at the weekend, right, if we any of us make a mistake, Hannah goes, I'm in charge. I'm the producer. I'm in charge of this whole building, right? Now, she said, how am I supposed to know where it is? I'm not in charge. Make your mind up. Claire says it's very, it's very quiet. It is very quiet. It's a lovely little machine. And you get a hardcover. And also, look, so that comes through your little, on your hardcover, you've got a little handle to carry it on. I'd say it was about six kilos, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll get Paul to look it up for me. Paul can look it up for me now. She can. Yeah, but you could help her. It says it'll be in here somewhere. I'll find it. I'm saying six kilos. It's got, I tell you what, it's got a brilliant, um, if things go wrong, what's that called? Um, troubleshooting, troubleshooting guide at the back. It, I mean, this is completely, look at all, I mean, it's so thorough. It's in three languages as well, just in case. Oh, and it's got a buttonhole. I forgot, I've got completely forgot to show you the buttonhole. Now, it's not an automatic buttonhole where you put the button in and it does it for you. You do have to do the bar at the top, down one side, bar at the bottom, back up and finish off at the top. But it's got the buttonhole foot and everything that you need. I know. Right, I've got to do some fabric while I'm here now. Switch that off, save electricity. Uh, which fabric? This one? Michael Miller Fabrics. I just sort it out into its design. So you've got buttons made of flowers. No, that's the wrong way around. Flowers made out of buttons. Right, so let's do the big one first. Well, it feels really weird standing up now. Look, so this one comes in two different colourways. Creamy ecru background and the blue background. Do the creamy ecru one first. Beige, they've called it. Born to sew, this is. Designed by Jacqueline Patton for Michael Miller, and this is called Something Background Bouquet. We've called it Sewing Floral. It's nice though, isn't it? It's got lovely depth to it. 
Oh, that, well, 6.3 key. I should do one of those guess the way to the sewing machine competition, shouldn't I? It's called background bouquet, this one. I wouldn't have got it wrong. I was nearest, six, I said six kilos. Exactly, so you were way off. Half of me, oh, it's gone, we're moving on. The blue one now. <laughs> yeah, it's, I think the hour, Lack of sleep has taken its toll on all of us today. If, because if we'd had some chocolate to eat this morning, that might have helped. Oh, this one's about to sell out. This is the blue one. I like the, the um, mottled background. Gone, 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 gone. Now I've got the ones that made flowers with buttons in them. Hannah loves this one. She gets very excited that it's um, a pattern that's buttons included. You don't get any buttons, obviously. We've got some lovely wooden buttons on the website. Right, purple first. This has got the mottled background, like the blue, but this is in the purple. And this one is called Button Bouquet. Oh, we called it Plum. Not quite sure what they've called it, but it's called Button Bouquet. 749, half meter, you don't get that. Well, you do, but it's on the bag on the outside. Yeah, but not stuck on your fabrics on the bag outside. Lovely, gorgeous. Got the other one with the creamy background. Again, got the mottled background. Oh, no, it's not called, not called button bouquet. It's called button buds. I do apologise. We called it sew buttons on beige. I wonder what colour Michael Miller will have called it. Nice though, isn't it? 7.49 for half a metre. It's cute though, isn't it? I wonder if Jacqueline Paton is a sewer then. She might just love buttons. Oh, you see, my friend Simon would hate this fabric. He's got a phobia. He's got a phobia about buttons. Yeah. He'll be all right with this next one. Oh, everyone's telling Hannah now that it's a hard cover. Yeah, she was right. I was wrong. I'll take. I take it. I know I was wrong. Seven pounds and forty-nine pounds. Now, what's this one called then? Oh, it's called Sew Needles. They've called it Marks the Spot. Uh, they're not needles. I'm not. I'm not going into a fight. If Hannah says they're needles, they're needles. Yeah. Why would you think they were needles? They're little cross stitches. Which ones have got ends on them? Oh, those. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Oh, those things. Oh, gosh, that's brought back memories. Where you throw them like that. You throw the ball up and then you try and pick one up and then catch the ball. Then you throw it up and then you pick two up like that. What's that? Jacks. Jacks. Oh, what fun we had as a child. Do you remember clackers? Do you remember clackers? Da, 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 da. Do you remember those? I don't think they were called clackers, and then they got made illegal, didn't they? Because too many kids... Well, yeah. No, they were, Paul. Banned. Yeah, but you couldn't be out in the street playing with them. Right, this is called patchwork piecing squares. Paul will get the camera to focus in a minute. Just amongst yourselves. That's in focus if you haven't got your glasses on. Sewing basket, sew. Oh, look! That's like that shape on the other fabric. Maybe it's meant to be bobby. Look. Yeah. As sewn by. 
A, B, C, X, Y, Z. This was stitched for you by me. <laughs> button box, patchwork, cotton, button box. Sewing basket, patchwork, cotton, sewing machine. Oh, it's such a shame that the panel sold out because the panels, yeah, the panel's got a gorgeous, I can't, I'm showing you, but it's sold out. But this is, this is for, if you bought this, right? If you bought <laughs> this one, <laughs> I don't know why I'm giggling, but if you got that one, this one goes beautifully with it. Yeah, very colourful. Right, okay, I haven't got any more. Uh, before Bodkin, I've got two flamingo fabrics. Alison Marion said, what, checkers were heck on your knuckles if you got your timing wrong. Oh, yes, weren't they? See, Alison Marion remembers. I remember clackers banned because, yes, they did more than break the wrist, didn't they? They did all sorts of things because you did that. Clack, 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 clack. Da, 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 da. But then people started doing it like this, didn't they? Flamingos. I've got, I've got flamingos in a straight line and flamingos at a party. Oh, these were birthday fabrics. And they didn't arrive in time. I'll show you them both in case you want to see the difference. It's cotton poplin. This is in straight lines. This is having a party. Or inside Paul's brain, inside Hannah's brain. Which one's? Oh, scattered and fun first. We're going to Hannah's party first. So this should have been here for the birthday. It's just arrived. It's cotton poplin, this one. So it's slightly lighter weight than your um, quilting cotton. But it's still 100% cotton. It's still 44 inches wide. Still machine washable. From Rose and Hubble. 4 99 for half a metre. Hannah's wrist just clacked. Oh, Sue says, can anyone remember playing kick the can? Or was that just a local game? Oh, I don't know. I've never heard of that. Have you heard of kick the can? Never. <laughs> yeah, it does. It doesn't work that way around, though. <laughs> anyway look this is uh, flamingos in a straight line 4.99 flamingos in a straight line this one should have been here brand new this is brand new should have been here for the birthday <clears throat> Okay, moving on. Right now, Hannah wants me to show you this because it's brand new in stock. Oh, is cotton popping good for dress making? Uh, yes, you can make it. You can make dresses out of it. Remember, it can be very lightweight summer dresses. Uh, you can still use it. It's still lovely, stable fabric to sew with and everything like that. Beautiful for a summer dress. But remember, it's just that little bit finer. So if you think of your Liberty fabrics or your Rose and Hubble plain colours, that's, a, that's a, what I call quilting weight. Poplin's just a little bit lighter weight than that, but beautiful for summer. You can make that, the, oh, that dress that we made in the last hour, or this would look gorgeous in a poplin. Anyway, here we go. Can't, just, can't stop this. But yeah, you get two. You get two. There's two bits to this. I'll show you. Don't do what? What, out of the flamingo? Oh, don't sell out. The, right, let's sell out to the bodkin. She's demoing this on Tuesday. It was meant to be for her show on Tuesday. And Hannah's, Hannah's nicked it for today. Look, 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 you get two, you get two. Now I've got, I've cleared the surface 
so that Julie had space to put all her boxes and now I've got nothing to... Right, let's sell out, let's sell out, One ninety nine. Right, so this one, you can either thread your ribbon, your elastic or your wool through there and then it's not got a, a pointy end, it's got an easy, so you can, this is really good when you're putting elastic or lace through something. If you've got a piece of fabric and you're going to weave lace through it, very much like a lot of the, oh, I wonder what she's doing then, Alice Mann, because she, she could be making one of her, um, you know, her cushions or whatever, when she has a cushion and she's got lace and then she puts some um, ribbon through it like that. That's a really, really easy way to do it. Right, so that's the first bodkin. This one here is excellent. What you do is you loosen that off, you close it too, you loosen it off so you can open it out like that. You can then, I don't know how I'm going to show this now. Hang on, let me do it with this. Right, so pretend this is your ribbon. Well, that's a bit wide for a ribbon now. Okay, so maybe you want to feed that through something. What you do is you've opened it up, you put that on there like that, so it shuts, then you push the little ring that you push downwards right the way up, so it then engages and holds the ribbon through there. And then you can feed it through like that. So if you're doing, oh, sorry, I've taken that shot. Feed it through your elastic, or that, say this is elastic, feed it through, but you've, you're holding it in there, and then when you get to the other end, you just loosen it off again, and it releases the elastic. Sorry, I haven't got any elastic. Oh, actually, oh, there's a piece of elastic down there. I could have done it with that now. Never mind. Anyway, £1.99. Don't worry, Alice and Mary, never sold out. I've said that. We've read that one out already. That's all right. You were too busy chatting to hear. Yeah. Well, what's Christine saying now then? Oh, yes, kick the can is like hide and seek. If you were caught, you'd be kept in the den. But if someone came and kicked the can before they were caught, they'd free everyone. Oh, Lorraine Marshall used to play Kirby with football and my brother. I don't know what Kirby is. Those are the days. You're showing your ages now. Yeah, Paul, you are nearly 40. I was teaching Kirby to kids at school a while ago. Some of them looked so confused. Oh, Oh, so that's interesting. Right, let's move. Oh, no, I'm finished. I'm finished this side. Got large universal scissors here. I haven't got to go and do the mannequins in a minute. Here you go. Large universal scissors. Perfect to have around for everything. These sell, uh, these cut really well, sorry. Is that them? Yes, it is. Piece of fabric. Right, you ready? Ready for this, Paul? How brilliant! Look at look at the way they just slide. And how many layers of fabric am I going through there? I'm making confetti. I'm going to do some confetti quilting. I'll give that Delphine what's it a run for her money. I will. I'll send them in an envelope to her. I know where she lives. <laughs> Is Sean next week? What day is Sean next week? Sean with me? Oh, Paul. Don't be saying things like that. Look. Anyway, I'm not going to make more confetti. That's Delphine's confetti then. Is she in next week then? No. Okay. And the, the week after, or the week after, or the week after. So that's over a week away then. Nearly two weeks away. Mannequins! Yep. Right, now, I just need to point something out. We have two mannequins. We have the grey mannequin. These are the only two mannequins I've got available at the moment. This is cherry, which is exactly the same as the grey one, just in a different colour. And this is the sapphire. Now, before you buy anything, before you do anything at all, if you're just going to make dresses or coats or skirts or anything like that, and you're not going to make trousers, this one is fantastic. This one here, they're all the same price, so it doesn't matter. This one here has a, an, a leg that you can move from the min middle to the side. So if you're doing trousers, oh, it's, it's on the side one at the moment, you can see. Can you see there? The post, the post, it's down the side, so you can put trousers on there. So which one are we doing first? The sapphire. 
Yeah, this is this here. Right. We've got a still, Paul, of the pitch of, where, of how you change it from one to the other. Right, see that, see that this one here, we've got it in size A, B and C. Now look at the, in the picture in the circle, you can see that you can put the post either in the middle or you can move it to the side to make it in, and then that way if you're making trousers, you don't have to split the crotch, you can literally put it up through one of the trouser legs and then tr test the trousers on the mannequin. Also, you've got this cutout here, which you haven't got on cherry. See here, there's a, cu there's a cutout here. So that means you can get trousers onto it really easy because they're going to sit better. Because the red one, the cherry one, doesn't have that. Okay, there it is. Right, okay, let me talk to you about this one. Right, th th this is the size B, which I'll go through the size in a minute. Let me take you through the whole mannequin first of all. So up here, you've got a dial. That if you push it down and turn, you can make the neck to the size that you want it. Each of these mannequins that are just formed have 12 different stations with a cog in, which means you can add fullness to the bust, to the waist, and to the hips, to the lower hips, not the high hips. The high hips are three inches down from your waist. The, the, big, uh, the, the, the lower hips are eight inches down from your waist. That's always the biggest measurement there. Um, and also, it means, because you've got your four different dials at each separate station, so there's 12 in total, if you need more fullness on the bust, you put it here. If you need more fullness in the back, you do it here. If you need more fullness under the arms, you do it here. You see what I mean? So you can do all of that. Uh, you can pin through this. This is a, a, an acrylic. Now, they have a two-year warranty. Oh, is it one-year warranty? Not wear and tear. It's one year. It's um, just in case anything breaks. Um, <clears throat> you do get a tripod um, that it sits on so that you've got nice stability down there. And you also get... So while I'm there, there's your tripod, but you also get one of these, which is a hem marker, which is the one... Uh, with pins. Yeah, the one with pins, because the grey one comes with the one with the powder puff thing. Actually, that's the difference between cherry and blueberry, is cherry comes with also comes with the pin one, whereas blueberry, which we haven't got today, comes with the, the chalky one. Okay, let me show you the size chart for the sapphire. It's not called sapphire, it's called um, Adjust to Form Supervit Deluxe, that's what it's called. Uh, leg form, deluxe leg form. So if you want size A, the bust will go from a 33 to 41. The waist will go from a 26 to a 33 and a half. If you've got hips 36 to 44, then perfect. Now the back length, you can change the back length from a 14 and a half to a 16 and a half. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Size B, 39 to 47 bust, 32 to 40 inch waist, 41 to 49 hip. And again, the back, naked back waist is 15 to 17. Size C, is a 45 to 53 bust, 38 to 46 waist, and 47 to 54 hip. Uh, again, the, well, they've said it's 16 to 18. I thought it was, um, yeah, six, uh, 16 to 18. So actually, you can lengthen the back by more than two inches on that one. I thought it was just a two inch long. And I'll just show you where that is. So literally, I can't do it on the outside from this one. You have to go inside and you can unscrew something here and that's the natural waistline of it. You can make it two, I thought it was two inches longer, but it must be more than two inches on this one. But you can just drop that down and fix it to where you need your, because your date back waist when you're, when you're dressmaking is really, really important. Because Julie just said, didn't she, that if she makes a dress, sometimes it's a bit too short for it. It's not because she's tall, it's because she calls it a trunk being a um, physiotherapist. But your nape to back waist is very, very important when you come to come to pattern making now i need to say something very important split pay so you can have this on three it's a three one isn't it 53 33 pay today 53 33 pay in a month's time and 53 33 pay in another month's time then it's done for then it's done you pay your pmp now these don't come from us they come direct from adjust the form and they're still only three pound 95 post and packaging even though it comes in quite a big box it won't come in a box this tall what happens is you have to have to put the leg and the stand together and just put it in uh, hannah did it in the dark she says and it was fine that was the day it fall to, fell, fell to pieces on us wasn't it they're 159.99 and yours will be this colour. Yours will be this sapphire blue. Okay. Now, if we can, I'll just bring in the red one, cherry. You're going to show up. No, I don't do measurements yet. Do what, what hand? 
Always go smaller, always go smaller than your actual size. So if you're, if two of the measurements are right and then the waist is too big, you don't want any of the measurements to be bigger than you because you can always uh, uh, either pad it up or open it up to the size that you want. If any of the, so if, if say, say you went for one and the waist on it was bigger than yours, then you're never ever going to get that waist to your size. So you need to go to the smaller mannequin and then make the bust and the hips bigger and keep the waist to the size you want to. What I have here now is that we call these, uh, they call small, medium and large on this one. Yeah, full figure. Small, medium and full figure, I think. Anyway, this is the cherry one. Same price, same price. Here you go. Here's the measurements on this one. So, uh, you've got the small, which is 33 to 41 bust, 24 to 32 waist, 34 to 42 hip. Then you've got the medium, which is 39 to 47 bust, 29 to 37 waist and 40 to 48 hip. Then you've got the full figure which I'm glad they put that rather than large, 45 to 53 bust, 38 to 46 waist, 47 to 55 uh, hip. Now again, they're 159.99, the, um, the, um, there you go, 53.33 is all you pay today, and then there's two more payments of 53.33. Also, if you haven't bought anything else today, you will be charged your PMP of 3.95. Oh, get your five pounds off. Get your, I didn't even thought about that, get your five pounds off. So look, all you do is when you check out, put in spring five. It's only for today, only till midnight tonight. Put in spring five when you check out and you'll automatically get five pounds off. And that can't be sneered at really, can it? This one's slightly different. You can change the neck size on this one again, but you've got a little pin cushion at the top here. There you go, there's a little pin cushion at the top there. Again, you've got all of your um, dials and everything, exactly the same. Now, this one also comes on a tripod. And you also do get the pin hem on this one. Um, it looks like this. It'll be in the box, so don't throw it away. It'll be in the box. This is what it looks like. And you just attach it at the bottom there. And it literally, and what you do is you, you mark it to where you want it on the, front, above the floor. And then you turn it round. And then where that mark is, you just put a pin line around the bottom of the skirt. No, 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 exactly. If you haven't got a mannequin in these times, you can't get a friend to do it, can you? Also, because you'd keep doing that, wouldn't you? you keep bending down, that would change it. So this way you get a really, really, really perfect hem length. I know, it's fantastic, isn't it? On split pay, and there's your tripod uh, legs and everything. And you can make it, right, at the moment, she's quite short. You can make it much taller. You can make her much taller. I think that your top's not that high, eh? You're not that tall. Oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, you don't, oh, and the other thing about split pay is you don't have to take split pay if you don't want. You can um, pay for it in one go if you want to. It's just an option that we offer you. Right, okay, I need to do a few recaps. Well, I'll go straight here now, won't I, because... Why not? Why can't I go here? Oh, okay, I've got to go over here. Got to go over here. I'll do the pink cushions. Pink cushions. Yeah, but... I, okay. Yep, yep, pink cushions. Why, why, oh, it doesn't matter. Two ninety nine. which colour have you got in first? Pink, 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 pink. Here you go. Oh, but you can't cut to it. Hang on. There you go, Two ninety nine. Uh, yes, where Hannah is now, I'm going over there. So you need to leave it on that shot while I do this. So two ninety nine magnetic pin and needle dish in the pink. Uh, look at the magnet in here is so strong. Look at this. Oh, even better if you've got them if, on, if you've dropped them all. Right, you ready? Over half the pink ones have gone. Brand new today. I've also got it in yellow. Got it in yellow. We've also got it in purple, which we haven't got here today. So if you've entered a purple one, this is the yellow one. Are the purple one graphics on the website? Yeah, yeah, you can get the purple one on the website. Also, if you've got any questions, very quickly, because we're going in 10 minutes, but if you've got any questions about this machine, lots of you got it in your basket. So if you need to ask anything before you check out, I'll take my iPad with me, or you can message Hannah. Oh, very, very quickly, look, here it is. It's a lovely little machine. Why don't you get one of the, get your five pounds off? First of all, get your five pounds off. And why don't you get one? No, 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 but why don't you get one? If you, if you have got somebody in the family just starting, if you have got a caravan that you go to, a static home that you go to, or you go away on holiday and you want to do a bit of sewing, because uh, actually, if you're in Wales, 
you can go on holiday in Wales at the moment. You can't. We can't come over and stay. But you, if you're not, if you're in, if you live in Wales, you want to go to Anglesey or go to Llandudno or something. You can do. And very soon, uh, is it April the twelfth? Is it or is it May that we can come? April the twelfth to the shops open. But I'm sure that the self catering holidays and things like that open before. It's a bit. I did look last night. I was trying to sort it out because. Um, Ali and Marina want to come down to me for my birthday to give me a gift, my birthday present. I don't know if they're allowed to. So I was trying to looking at the rules of what when you could and couldn't do things. Anyway, 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 if you are uh, moving around, this is the perfect. It comes with a hard case. Hannah said, and everyone's told her that it comes with a hard case. It's got 18 stitches. It's got a buttonhole stitch on it. And it's just a lovely reverse stitch there. Lovely little machine for a basic starter at £249. And split pay, look, three split pays of £83. So this could be winging its way to you in the next couple, what day is Sunday? So tomorrow they'll start sorting it out. So in the next couple of days, this will come to you from Elna with a two-year warranty, remember? I know. Right, I'm going because we've got loads to do. Oh. <laughs> We're so safe. So I was playing kick the bucket, kick the can, wasn't I? Oh, now what's that? I've got. Oh no, I'm not reporting a comment. Sorry, I don't know who that. I don't know how that came up. <laughs> right, if you got reported, it was me pressing a button as I carried it. Anyway, I don't know whose it was. It was said. Anyway, anyway, come on, catch up. Not catch up. Round up. First. Ruler in the first hour in the book. I'm glad they've put out in the right order then. Here we go. Right. Here we go. So now, in the first hour, we have the Scrap Crazy Ruler. £19.99. It's the six-inch version. It's a different to the eight-inch one. The eight-inch one is nearly all um, columns, isn't it? This is a lovely one. Right. So you can buy that for £19.99. We then have two little bookazines that work directly with this ruler. Now, I never knew. I always thought, when I've sold Scrap Crazy Pool, I thought that was it. I thought that's all you could really do, which is this lovely. It's really, really lovely. But look at this, right? So this book then is, um, I think this one's 14 99 if I'm correct. This one's 14 99 It's got seven projects in, but you're never going to believe the projects. With this ruler, it only works with this ruler, remember? That's 19 99 Look at these, right? Look at that gorgeous quilt. Hexes, stars, that's that one as a table runner. You've got the one there, just daffodils, or just daffy. And then you've got these, there's seven projects in here. Look, seven different projects in the book for 14 99 Now, they only work, don't buy this book unless you've got this. These don't work otherwise, you've got to have that. However, because we've got the special deal on today, we also have this second book called Crazy For More, 16 99 this is because this is newer. This is more recent, I think. Look at these, look at these. Now, that's, that's Hannah's favourite there. And then I like this one here, the Offset Argyle. Aren't they beautiful? Right? So now, Paul had the suggestion in the first half, you buy this, this, and this. Now, I haven't got that many graphics. I haven't got that many graphics, but it comes to £51.90. So you could buy those three, but get £5 off. Use the code SPRING5. You can only use it once and it has to be on one transaction. So if you did want that, you could buy all three of those for fifty one ninety, and then you'd, you'd get your £5 off. Oh no, brilliant. Right, very quickly now. The early... No, no, where are you going? Cowhide bundle, which is this one. If you saw the leather hour we had earlier. If you like leather, right, so you get a square of the turquoise, you get a square, of, this is all real leather, this, you get a square of the tan, a square of the shiny uh, textured black and, a shy, uh, and one of the pink. Then you get a smaller square of the uh, mushroom, the silver, the taupe, the gold, the bran, the pale blue, dusky blue, and the dusky pink, or the terracotta. Now that's £84.99. If you would like to um, get your five pounds off that, maybe. That would take it under 80 pounds, wouldn't it? If you love your leather. Right. Yeah, then I've got leather scraps. 
Now, this one, now this is this, I can't guarantee what you get in here, but everybody that's bought it says there are huge pieces in here. £34.90, and it's always a bestseller. It's, now, I can't guarantee that you're going to get one with on it. I can't guarantee that you get what colours you can get. There's red, uh, in here, there's some red, right? I can't guarantee, oh, there was. You get two kilos, but look at the size of these pieces, look. It's so fun. It's like Hannah's been taught, right? Every time this bag comes out, she goes, the value is incredible. John, the value is just immense. The value, John. I mean, it is fantastic. Oh, there's some red. There's some red. I've spoke, I've talked about the value of no. Thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Now, I do need to warn you that's been flying out today. I don't know how many I've got left. Okay, lots of those have gone. Lots of those have gone today. Yeah, I didn't push the value enough on that apparently. Yeah, there will. We get an email later. Right now, shall I do faux? or synthetic leathers. Now these are not, these have no leather in them at all, right? So if you're thinking, oh, I, I love the thing, but I don't want to do leather. No, this is not a real animal. So for 36 49 you get a square of that, a rectangular. I love that one. I think if I was a snake, I'd be that colour. Then look at that one completely different. It's not even a, yeah, that's the snake that Paul would be, Hannah says, with all the flowers all over him. Then that's lovely, isn't it? Then there's this creamy gold one. Then there's the, this is called white opal. And then you've got the tangerine. So there's big squares of those. It's only two little squares. I thought it was more than that. And then a little bit of that one, a little bit of that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You get one more. You get one more because you get 10 pieces. Oh, yeah, the silver one. You get, you get the pure silver one as well. £36.49. That's no leather. That's not leather at all. Shall we do tomorrow's menu? Is it time to do the menu? Oh, yeah, let's do the menu. Right, it's Rebecca Reed tomorrow, everyone. So we've got... Oh, nice. Laura Ashley Oxford collection. Oh, I can't wait, but that's lovely. Then Jules Mayouf is in tomorrow, uh, all the way from London Town, doing the Creative Grid Show. 10 o'clock, we've got face overs. Oh, no, face overs. Face coverings, sorry. Face coverings. Then we've got <laughs> Elephant Cushion, which <laughs> it's, been a, it's been such a long week, I can't tell you. It's because I had two weeks off, didn't I? I didn't work in here for one day over two weeks, and suddenly I've done Anyway, back to the menu. Elephant could have done that. And then we're going to Yarn Lane. Now, wooden handled bags with Carol Ibbotson from Cool Wool Designs. Now, we had wooden handles on Stone Street the other day, didn't we? Oh, there'll be kits from Carol Ibbotson's Cool Wool Designs. So that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Uh, oh, no, we haven't. So um, I'm back on... Um, when am I doing? Tuesday. I mean, Tuesday, Wednesday... Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday next week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday. I'm doing a Facebook Live this afternoon if you want to join in for a gossip this afternoon. Because I normally do them at 11 o'clock on a Sunday morning, don't I? So you can join in. You have to just log in and chat away if you want, Hannah. She does sometimes and goes, don't read out my messages. Anyway. All the time, little bottle. All the time. Uh, anyway, 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 so, so I'm in on Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday this week coming. In fact, it's Easter weekend, isn't it? So are you and I on together at Easter weekend then, Hannah? Or is that the weekend you're having off? Okay, uh, the weekend after the pubs are opening, Hannah's having off. So I knew that, uh, I knew that Kat was doing one of them, that was all. Um, a little pub, are you in next weekend, little pub? Brilliant. Who's bringing the chocolate? Oh, Hannah, because she bet all of today's. All right, I'm going to go now. Thank you for your company. Make sure you check out. I'll just remind you once again, the, the code, the deal, the deal of the day, right? It's only till midnight tonight. It's not, it's not just about what I found on the telly. If you're thinking, oh, I want one of those Fiskars rulers with a rotary cutter attached to it. They're 64 99 Use that. Get your five pounds off. Takes under 60 quid, doesn't it? Uh, it has to be, you have to have 50 pounds worth of goodies in your bag. Uh, 50 pounds worth of goodies in your bag. Um, not including your PMP, and then you put in spring five, 
and you get five pounds. The only reason we've done it is because we just lost an hour's sleep. I know. So I hope we've kept you entertained. Uh, oh, Michelle says, I'll be there this afternoon. Right, I'll see you later then, Michelle. I'll see everybody. I'll see everyone here on Tuesday. Rebecca Reed tomorrow, don't forget. And uh, I'll see uh, little Paul next weekend, and I'll see Hannah on Tuesday, and I'll see you on Tuesday at 8 o'clock. Don't be late.